Okay, uh, I think everything's ready. <laughs> I really, I really need to start streaming more prepared. It's such a, such a bad habit for me to just not. But it's just, <laughs> I think it's funnier if I go in unprepared. If that makes sense. But yeah, so we should be good to go. Um, the general plan, the general plan or goal of the stream is just to beat my void rift um right here we're gonna try the new nemesis mount which is cool it kind of looks like a png right here i'll be <laughs> like does it not look like a png <laughs> also i i do have to preface um it's gonna be a scuffed stream and a bit laggy and my power might go out uh, there's a really bad storm where I am, so, uh, it's gonna be bad. Here. Let me just put that there as a reminder. So that if, if I dip and I, I, I leave, that's why. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna get into this fast, um, and then we should get one or two takeovers today. I don't fully know. Um. Also, my drop, my frames are dropping like crazy, and I, <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, but I, I literally cannot do anything about it. I'm doing okay. How are you? I also, um, I don't remember who wanted to take over, <laughs> who wanted to take over. I know someone asked me, but he hasn't gotten back to me because I assume he's not awake. We got another guy who it's in a couple hours and then like when he's free and then there was one guy who asked, but he hasn't gotten back to me as well. Maybe if Quaz around, I'll do something for him if he wants. Or maybe I'll do it for Frank. I don't know. You got Elder and have no use for him? Elder's actually really underrated. I think he's a lot better than people think. Also, we're going to keep an eye on how Nemesis works. I've heard some people say that he doesn't work. Um, like you, Jackson, you said he didn't work for you, but... You already did your void rift. If you use it now, what is going to happen? What do you mean? Nemesis? Uh, it only affects certain fights, so it won't do anything. Hmm. Yeah, Elder is very usable in Guild Guild. He's pretty solid in the new um, Stage 4 stuff. Because he increases Valk's damage while uh, Hard's only makes her more defensive, right? So he's actually better than Hard's? Sorry, I'm eating. <laughs> and then... um. Elder, you can use in a lot of North themes for stuff. You can use them in Arena. It's very fun in Arena. Ours is just one of, if not the most fun character in the game. He's one of the most fun characters, by far. And I stand by that fully. Yeah, I get your point. He's not the best lord. Like, for example, you could have had Sulkadins, who is unbelievably overpowered. Like, if you were there for the stream where I used it for a takeover, he did 10 mil against Lassir and one tapped him. Oh! Okay. That's kind of cool. I really like the animation, I will say. 
I can't confirm yet. We will have to test. But I heard it triggers three times every Void Rift. But maybe it's just fully random. Yeah, I, I get why you wouldn't use Horus. Um, but if you do have Ardia, he is insanely useful. Oh, sometimes even if they're not the best, you got to think of them as just they're fun. You know, he's incredibly fun to use. And I love you. I, I, he's one of my favorite characters. I would love to pull him, but no. Nah. One second, let me link this in the Discord, the stream. Because I think it would be funny to have people in. <laughs> if my power goes out, I think that would be hilarious. Even though I'm not being that uh, entertaining right now. One second, one second, one second. Okay, I, I'm getting ready, sorry. Alright, there we go, we're ready. <laughs> sorry. Um, I'm kind of hoping that Nemesis triggers like eight times, is my, <laughs> is my hope. But I very strongly doubt that Nemesis will even trigger at all. The size for Guilty Golden Grade 4, use from is very no minimal. It's actually not the same chance as Popper Valley. I think. Wait, no, it is. Never mind. Sorry. But yeah, all, all ancient exclusives are all 5% chance. Approximately each. But I feel your pain. Oh, yeah, you have ours too, so he's. He's worse. <laughs> you hate the new shards? You mean the, uh, you mean, <laughs> you mean the mythic ex extract shards? Those are very needed in this game. Just like how we needed, uh, reforge hammer shards. When are we getting legendary extract shards, guys? You skip Calypso and Baron? Yeah, you lucky bastard. How dare you come in here like that? <laughs> I'm putting that as a re reminder at the top that I literally cannot do anything about it. <laughs> yeah the thing that makes it so funny is first of all it's a resource everyone has too much of resource that everyone hates we already know that we hate it from guild boss and the argument that it could be used for early game players 
doesn't work because it's shards. It takes you forever to get enough to get one. So by the time an early game player gets enough to get a single mythic extract, they already have a hundred of them because it's, you get force fed them all the time. There's no way you got Sulkadins. I'm banning you from the Discord. And the chat. What does the Nemesis do? Uh, there's a small chance that it'll skip a run. We already got it on the second fight. It had like a graphic go across the screen. That said it activated and then it instantly killed the bot the fight. Like old soulstone shards, I think they should sell those for like. I I remember seeing a guy. Suggest something really really cool. And uh, the suggestion was that your excess blood after getting fifty k. Um, you know, because when you get 50k blood, there's no reason to go for anything like 100k or whatever. So someone said, what if you use your excess blood to, um, to buy things in like a special shop? That could be fun. And I think it would be. Then again, uh, the reason why they would never add that is because someone like Deegs would then become even more powerful. I do have to give the company props. A lot of the changes they try to do somewhat attempt to limit a lot of the whales so like the reason why the awakening shop doesn't have that much stuff in it is because they know the whales will buy everything and then they'll get too overpowered and the power gap will become too large that's like uh, that's a that's a big reason Solkadens, yeah Solkadens is my favorite Solkadens is my most wanted hero in the game let's put it that way i want him more than zilla too by far uh, the only reason why I don't name him is because, uh, first of all, I only used him for the first time recently, which is when I, I locked in that he was my favorite character. Um, or not my favorite character, but my most wanted. Silas is still going to be my goat, but I do think Solkadens might be my second favorite. Um, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a hard thing to rank. But yeah, he, he's my most wanted currently. And uh, I would love, love, love to have him. I already have A1 Twin Fiend, but I don't care. I want A1 Sulkadens. <laughs> mm. Are you guys ready to see the Destin strat? Is he better than Valderon? Uh, for some things, yes. For other things, no. They're such wildly different characters. That is hard to say. I think if you said he was better than Valderon, I wouldn't disagree, but I also wouldn't agree. So. Oh yeah, this is the patented uh, Destin strap, by the way, for this stage. The general gist is one DPS here, preferably magic based, one DPS down here facing up. You do vortex like this, he's gonna heal them. Uh, Medan will always cleanse, cleanse the poisons. I used vortex all early just because I wasn't sure. Um, and then you do your tanks like this so that they're only, the rocks are only ever falling on the people that I know will live. If Hollow dies, not a big deal. And then the reason why we have Silas is. Is purely for single target damage like here for example single target single target you'd think we would struggle right but we're just gonna have these guys we're, we're gonna play silas down and this is his only use this stage is a little bit of single target this is how you beat the stage really easily i don't think i failed it ever before <laughs> using this strategy um only thing is now we pull him and then make sure that Vierna actually gets heals. Boreas is clearing both sides, but the reason why we have Vierna is so she could clear it if she needs to. 
But we're kind of so overpowered that we don't really need to. Um, only things is managing your alt usage, and then it's easy. And then when the boss comes out, we'll get Silas back and we'll nuke him. You've gone and Elder, but you don't have any content for me to complete for you, but if I want to mess around with them. Generally, I would say thanks for the the offer, and I would take you up on it. But I have so many people <laughs> who say similar, and I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> so I, I'm not going to give you an answer. If I'm ever interested, I'll message you, but uh, don't ex <laughs> I don't know. I... I don't mean it in like a, a mean way, I just mean like, I'm unsure if I need it, you know? Three, four, oh well, I guess maybe it already had four. Um, and then we're gonna do this, we're gonna cleanse that. Remember to tie the salt and that's GG. Yeah, e everyone does the same thing. <laughs> I, I do appreciate it though. I, I don't want you to think I don't appreciate the offer. It's just, it's just, I know someone who offered, uh, for a video, uh, me being able to sell his gun. <laughs> he said, Hey, if you want to sell a gun, just hit me up. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I think that would be so funny <laughs> for a video. I should have done that for April Fools. Oof. I had a whole idea for April Fools, but it, the logistics side didn't ever um, pan out. Um, so I wasn't able to get it out today. Oh, there's only one Elder Guide? Yikes. Hmm. Yeah, that was a good suggestion, actually. The only thing is... I, I don't mean this in a bad way, but I think I would need to ask, like, a guild member to let me use him. Because... High-level guild v guild under te elder teams are the main endgame use for him. And I feel like I would need that sort of angle for a, an elder, a true elder guide. Because he has some nutty teams he can be a part of. I don't trust the left side. <laughs> and now two are going to come out and yeah, so we could uh, pull everyone. Just in case. The key here is just killing two of the last ones. Or at least just leaving it for one and then you're fine. But my hex can kill it all. Yeah. Building him seems easy. But there are just so many stats and play styles for him that you gotta take into account. So I, I agree. He can be pretty hard. Nemesis is not triggering very often. Why? Hmm. This is my favorite way to beat this stage, by the way. If you have either Hex or Comet, 
and you have either like Cetrum, Sargak, Silas, etc. You could just place them like this, and you win. That's it. That's it. That's all. What I did there doesn't really matter because these guys will kill him anyways. And then as long as you have Silas Salt for this wave, or Cetrum or whatever, you could just alt with them and they'll kill every single fire. And you just put any ground unit. I put Arrogance because he hits air really hard, as you could see. But Silas Salt would have been fine without it. Um. But yeah, so that, that's what I like doing here. You also A1'd him. <laughs> It's not worth, but yeah, it, it does look cool. It does look cool. Um, and since we have reset books, if you didn't use yours already, you could uh, always reset them if you need the soul stone. Like if you pull a Praetis or something. As you can see, Silas just kind of kills everything. <laughs> GG, easy. You do need a strong Boreas. Uh, broke here, sorry. Or you could maybe put like a Mari somewhere. I don't know. Oh, you did it on Boreas? Maybe I should do that. Oh, the reset. Yeah, here. Hmm. That's a good suggestion. I might do that. What does Nemesis do? Uh, it has a certain chance to trigger where it just insta clears the stage. Hopefully we'll see it activate one or two more times. But so far we had it activate on the second fight and we haven't had it activate since. Oh, you have to redo your autos? Okay, yeah, I'm never doing that. It's not worth it. Like, do you know how many skill crystals I'm sitting on right now? Because I don't have anyone I want to skill. I'm sitting on like 22 now. Alright, well, that's good. Well, I do some what, man? I'm not, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I was eating some, uh, you guys know what mini eggs are? Because I love them. So these are like Hershey's brands and they're really bad. <laughs> they actually taste really terrible. And the texture is off and it's just a mess. But Cadbury mini eggs or whatever the hell they are. Maybe not Cadbury. But you know that type of thing are some of my favorite things to eat. Those and um. Here, um, one second. Before we get into this, I wanted to show how much, how many skill ups we have. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send this to fast because I know he's always low on uh dust. One second.
Sorry. Mini eggs are indeed elite, yeah. Can you just retry it until it auto clears? Let me try that actually. That's that's a, that's a good suggestion. Okay. At at some point, I feel like it's best better to just beat it. <laughs> but let, let's try it. We're gonna do it like ten times, maybe. Give you some crystals. I don't have crystals. I wish I had meth. I mean, crystals. Honestly, I feel the urge to just play AFK Journey right now. <laughs> AFK, AFK Journey is probably my top three mobile games of all time already. It's so good. I very highly recommend it. I know I'm a watcher of Rome's channel and like, that's what we're all playing. But AFK Journey is such a good game. It's absurd. Like, Dislight was decent. AFK Arena started a whole genre. Like, th those are good games. They weren't anything insane. But AFK Journey is just like, it's it's really good. <laughs> I don't, I, I'm going to ask the company, like I'm going to email their marketing team if I can sponsor them. Because I have a lot of things I want to say, but I want to get paid for it. I want to get I want to get paid for me shutting them out, you know, <laughs> ideally. Uh, but yeah, it looks like it's not triggering. It was a good suggestion, though. That would have been exciting if it, if it actually did that. But I feel like if we sit here trying it... Uh, we could have just autoed it and beat the stage in the meantime, you know? We're gonna try one more time, uh, but then if it doesn't work, we're just gonna auto it. You know how it be. Also, sorry there hasn't been any videos out lately. I have been doing a lot of school. Buffering. Typical. Yeah, it looks like it's only first attempt is when it can trigger. Also, make sure to like the stream, guys. Go and like the stream. <clears throat> yeah, I agree with you. For sure. They need to crack down on making non legendaries better. Some way. Yeah, I, I agree. We need like an Esotericist healer. We need. I don't know. We need so much. We need just like an overhaul on everything. <laughs> Also, there's no way that guy lived by one. Okay, yeah, we have to manual this. This is by far... This is by far my least favorite stage in this phase. Um, that includes the boss. So we're gonna just kind of auto it until like maybe six kills and then I'm gonna take it off. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's based right there. <laughs> this is so funny. Yeah, Nightmare Healer would, would be sick. I would love to see that. Oh, we have Bonoma on this team? Why? I was wondering why Boreas was still doing a decent amount of damage. Turns out, it's because we had the freaking Lord. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, there we go. Silas all. Uh, we're gonna keep Silas down until he kills the guy right after. Uh, Hex, please kill him. Okay, that's fine. I think we're okay. Potentially, maybe, probably not. I don't really know. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> uh, this is falling apart a lot. It's always just the mages that are the issue. Generally, not much else. 
But luckily, Boreas is actually still good. I I was tempted to make a video on like Boreas's ass now, but Boreas really isn't ass now. He's still really good. No way, Hex freaking died. Okay, that's very disappointing. <laughs> I hate this stage. Okay, we're redoing the entire thing. Hey, what's up, Blitz? What's up? You're on this stage after trying it like 20 times. Yeah, this one is brutal. Uh, honestly, the only reason why me and more guys were able to beat it with epics only is because he listened to me. I had like the strat at the beginning. He refused to use it. And the second he did, it was easy. Um, If I had lot... Wait, because I have Elowin now. I can actually use Gluttony for this stage. You guys are going to witness uh, greatness right now. It's going to be a spectacle. Do we have another piercing damage dealer? They need to have it so you can sort by piercing DPS. I think. I have an idea and it would be sick, but I'm just missing Cetrum for it. Cetrum would make this such a good plan. I guess we'll use Hex or something. And maybe backup Boreas, potentially. It doesn't matter. If you focus on filling out more factions than new content, I agree. I do. I, instead of making a bunch of more mediocre uh, Infernal Codex stages, which honestly I don't like very much, <laughs> uh, they should just try to focus more on like usable heroes. <laughs> Currently, they're they sure as hell are not usable. Also, I think a Raka would have been better. I should have done a Raka. But it's whatever. Uh, yeah, we're having really bad wind, and occasionally it'll just, it'll just die. <laughs> when we have really bad wind, it'll just kind of have a stroke and die. That's just how it goes. So, it's more of just like a preemptive, if I do go, that is why. Also, I don't know why I play faced arrogance up. That's just objectively a bad idea. Not just objectively, that is just a bad idea. But whatever. X is usually the last alive. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, com Comet is good everywhere on any any stage in this phase. That's just a fact. <laughs> Comet's very good. A little OP, honestly. Maybe he needs a nerf. Especially because I don't have it. Gluttony, I swear to God, you are actual garbage, and I hope you kill yourself. Sorry. Um. Uh. I didn't mean it. I, I didn't mean it. But like, look, we're going to lose because Gluttony ate outside of his range. Like, sure, it's... He has, like, the range of a king in chess, but, like... See? Now we lose, because Gluttony's ass. That's why I don't like Gluttony in this. Because he just... He eats outside of his range, because they clip into his, 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 uh, his range. He eats outside of it, loses his ultimate, doesn't get it back, and then he dies. <laughs> That's what happened. Oh, I should have had mana spring on. Whoops. Um, I don't want to talk about it. Also, when are we getting like double gear space? Because with gear eight four, we need more space. But now it's just like rough.
Use hex bottom right facing right. Comet bottom left facing left. Procure toughness with Freitas. Hex, you can braid it. Hex is technically better for this, but yeah. Comet is amazing. Yep. I just don't like this stage, honestly. Yeah, we need more heroes. I do agree with you. I may maybe I'll maybe I'll make the a video of on that. I'll I'll I'll, call, I'll just call it like the issue of Watcher Realm. But I wanted to make a video like a rant video because my last one did pretty well, where I just title it uh, the issue with Gear Raid Four, because I have a similar issue as what you're bringing up, which is not enough variety of heroes. Um, there's only there's really just only two heroes that are like usable, technically three, but. You need Elowen too, and it's just like, it's a mess. It's Period 4 is such an ass piece of content for them to come out with in terms of hero viability. I like the content. I like what they went with. Um, I like the gameplay, but objectively, it is a shit piece of content. It's so bad. <laughs> um, in that sort of way. Um, Let's see. I'm thinking maybe I could do Hex on the left and then Silas will kill the right, you know? Um, that's what I'm going with. Yeah, let's see what happens. Also, fun fact, my uh, H8 guide in uh, the Reeve event uh, I released it early <laughs> because Mike needed it, Mortar Mike. He ended up not using it, but he made my thumbnail for it, for it so I could release it earlier. And then, uh, so it has no tags, which are useful to have because it makes people easier, it makes it easier for it to be found. It doesn't have, like, <laughs> a, an actual description. It doesn't... <laughs> It doesn't have anything that you would generally want um, on, a, on a video, but it still performed incredibly well. And it has like the most, it has the best like ratio I think I've ever had on a video. Genuinely. I don't know how, but I'm glad it does. <laughs> yeah, the gear you get from Geared 4 is so inconsistent and it's mid. But the left side gear is unbelievably overpowered as hell. Because you get like 35% or 25% from a normal AM set uh, of crit damage. Uh, AM being Annihilating Might. Uh, but they just basically come in and they're like, Hey, what if you want 40% crit damage and 10% uh, attack? <laughs> like that's ridiculously overpowered compared to that. Like Calamity is only 25%. I say only like it's a little, but y you get what I mean. It's the left side gear is very, very good. Nom. Nom nom. Gluttony's such a fat ass. I love him. <laughs> Sorry, my, my language has been a lot more uh, harsh lately. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's how it be. All right, there we go. And now we just kind of hope and pray that this is enough. For Senor Gluttony. This only works as Elum, by the way. I did it because when I made my guide for this these stages originally, I got insanely close. I kept dying on the last enemy. I think you need Elowin for extra rage regen. Power of Dominance on Void Rift. Honestly, I agree with that too. Um, the thing is, the reason why there isn't Power of Dominance is because of the modifiers. These are supposed to make it engaging and replayable. Uh, even though it doesn't really do the best job, it still does kind of do that. So, they're not going to change it because they want it to stay that way. Um, let's see. So, for our damage for the boss, this time, instead of using my patented Destin strat, which I really like using, 
I'm very proud of my strat for this. I'm proud of most of the strategies I make up, but, um, you know, my, my Volca, you know, you got Wrath, you got your DPS, and then you got gl Gluttony, and as long as you can get around 50% on the first half, you're, you're a-okay. Um, instead, we're just gonna kill the boss outright, because I feel like it. Um, I haven't done that in a while. Just nuking it. Just, let's just do this, why not? gonna be so corny I will still bring wrath though it's storming by you as well yeah, yeah it's very stormy for the future with guides and stuff it would help when we show us to pat any replacements that's what I do <laughs> I've always I've always done that every single time um, like, if you've seen my Geared 4 video, or if you've seen my, uh, like, my recent guide, I, I mentioned, like, five different things you could use. Because, it's, I don't know, it's normal to not have what other people have, you know? So. This is such a goofy way to do this. I just, I very specifically wanted to use Twin Fiend. <laughs> um. Yeah, that didn't no damage. You need Zilla 2 to use Twin Fiend like this. Uh, Zilla 2 is just so unbelievably busted that if you don't have Zilla 2, there's like no way, no reason to use Twin Fiend. <laughs> like, look at that damage. It's okay, but Zilla 2 would make that like five times more. It's so dumb how she works. But I mean, we should be able to kill it in time. There we go. Right, there we go. Oh, okay, yeah. It's, it's, sorry, I, I misunderstood, but for sure. I can, um... I'll definitely keep doing that. But, like, even if you go back to, like, my first guide ever, which is the, I think, you're a 2 one, uh, then you'll see I've always, I've always done that. It's not my thing, but it's, like, I always do it. Because I think it is really helpful. So it is a good suggestion. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh no, oh no, 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 oh no, 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 that's not good at all, we're about to die, we're about to freaking die, um, cause we do not have, um, we do not have Gluttony ult here, so we're hoping Twin Fiend can slow him, Twin Fiend actually slowed him enough to get the ult, that is, that is insane, <laughs> Twin Fiend is clutch as hell, uh, thank you, thank you Twin Fiend, you are the goat, I love you. Thank you, Daddy Twin Fiend. It, without the, um, because Twin Fiend has, like, a weird knockback thing. It's, like, a bit of stun, knockback, whatever. It's, like, an amalgamation of CC. Um, that actually helped a ton. You wish you could spend a month farming, but you have so much stuff to do in-game. I wish I could farm more, but I have too much space. Or, I don't have enough space.
Yeah, the space is a big issue. They they um they added what fifty percent more uh, artifact storage. I don't know why they wouldn't just add five hundred gear slots too, especially with gear eight four. Like, it, <laughs> there's so much gear stuff happening. I have nine hundred ninety three gear out of a, a thousand. Like, I need to make a gear lens video ASAP for both me and AJ. I think. Nightmare Void Drift is easy, you just time consuming, yeah. And that's that's what Nemesis was supposed to do, but we had Nemesis trigger on the second fight and no fights after. We've just been autoing them all. <laughs> like they need to make it like at least one a phase. There's no way it's not just one a phase. It's also annoying that you can't just auto the boss fights, because the boss fights are very annoying. Like especially the phase two on the other rotation is brutal. Make it so when it's equipped, it doesn't take up storage place. I actually don't want them to do that. Because uh, then it in incentivizes you to put all your gear on random heroes. And then you forget where it is. And then it's just, it's such a, it's such a mess when they do that. But you end up having to do it. Like, you you end up having to gear, your, gear all your useless heroes with random gear so that you can actually keep the gear. And it's just a mess. They just need to up, up the storage space. You got zero nemesis procs. I was lucky to get one, I guess. Uh, someone earlier said he get, they got three or something. Or at least they got on two of the bosses. Friggin' Misa. How dare you, Misa. Defensive as hell. Um, all right, well, hopefully we fly through this one with, come on, a, a, a nemesis proc, maybe? Like, a, can I get a nemesis? No. <laughs> nemesis, you're terrible. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? This took a month to farm, by the way. Took six weeks to farm. Got your third ancient RNG is too good for you. Yeah, RNG is because I sure as hell am not getting any ancients anytime soon. I get like no ancients in this game. My gear luck is atrocious. Did you steal all my gear? Is that why you have so much? Do I need to ban you? I'll be honest, I don't have any useless commentary to, to say right now. <laughs> There's nothing going on. It's so boring. Nightmare Void Rift is so boring now for me. Like, when I like doing Void Rift takeovers a little bit because it's an account I've never seen, right? But even that gets boring after a while. And it's just, they just need to make it better. <laughs> They need to change it. It was fun for the first few times. Like my first Nightmare Void of Clear was so fun. That was that was a lot of fun. I think I beat it for the first time, like the first or second week of the new phase. Um, you know, the Shadow Keeper one. So that was cool, but kinda it. Okay, thank God. 
the last fight that I can skip. But that's what happens. It does the animation and it skips it. And now we don't need to fight that. So that's like four minutes saved. So overall we saved like five to ten minutes. Not bad. Nah, you don't get to ban me, Blitz. I'm too cute. <laughs> yeah, a pod devoider would be nice. But once again, uh, it would mess up the whole modifier mechanic. So basic, maybe if it's like you've beaten it on that modifier before. I guess it would make sense, but then even then it's a bit weird. Yeah, the, the skips are nice, except uh, they need to be more often. Like, at least soft cap it at minimum one per phase, and then it's worth it. You're losing your mind and their inability to add simple things, yeah. But you do have to, you do have to think of it as, you gotta compare it to other games. Like, they came out the gate with a lot of quality of life that was really good. And they still add stuff all the time. It's just there's so many things they need to add. Uh, but if you look at something like Raid, Raid still hasn't added some of these really key quality of life things. Like, Doom Tower is miserable. It's far worse than Void Rift in like every way and they're conceptually pretty similar uh like that for example is kind of kind of rough uh and raid still charges you your entire life savings to remove a single piece of gear also i find it funny how in the um before you start it it shows you the rewards you can get and one of the rewards is uh, shards of skill crystals, and you don't get any. I, I haven't heard of a single person who's had any of those. <laughs> it's so dumb. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Volka I do like using, but I want to use Valeria this time, even though I don't think she's geared. If she's not geared. Raid is a full-time job, yep. Why? What the frick is this? <laughs> Why do I have this on? Let me swap this on a healer. But it's obviously supposed to be like... Um, I think this is supposed to be Elowin's build, but I think I fixed Elowin. Um... Um... auto equip because i don't feel like it right right whoa auto equip whoa that's how much gear i need to beat this stage it's i don't even need this much but this is just what i got The reason why I'm putting Valeria there, by the way, is because in her alt, she gets two range. Um, so I could do something like this. Yeah, you get the idea. Also, I did a takeover for someone at one point, and I put Lust here, and she just straight up killed that guy before he started moving. It was so funny. Um, I kind of want to. I kind of feel like it would be fun to do that again, but also I don't feel like it. I forgot to put Brook here. Whoops. Um, bottom is fine. Now we can go like that. I'm using my updated Torridor strat, by the way. Um, it's just pretty easy to do it this way. Maybe even easier. I don't even need to sell, uh, Olog there. But I just like doing it.
Oh, I failed it. Rip. Okay, emergency beating it normally. <laughs> uh whoops i i completely messed it up that was incredibly poorly done um but it's okay fun fact i've never actually beat the stage the intended way Not going too well. <laughs> let's, let's be real. I should have put a log right here. All right, well, GG. Easy. Yeah, background fights I is a missed opportunity. There's so many ways this could be better. I I completely agree with that. Hilarious solo is a boss. Yeah, I know, but she has no gear on. <laughs> I auto-equipped her with random garbage I had laying around. <clears throat> no ancients, typical. And then we get a bunch of garbage artifacts too. Bunch of trash! Alright, let's see... Let's see what we get. Hopefully it's actually something, but hard to say. Okay, first let's get the uh, the ancient shard going. Um, let me do this really quick. Boom. Just so we can get another one, and then we'll pop three ancients. I popped a couple off stream, uh, because Infernal Codex just went live, so I just autoed it and then redeemed a couple ancients. Uh, they were all blue. Nothing worth mentioning. A lot of Neros keep popping up. <laughs> I don't understand why, but... Okay, Raiden. That's an awakening, I guess. <laughs> that's, that's cool and all, but also... No. I'm good. Uh, let me just awaken these, and then I will pop my... Uh, what's it called? What is it called? I'll, I'll pop my forge thing. No, that's not happening. Um, that was bad, almost. Damon already awakened, okay. Uh, let's see. You barely pull, you just farm gear too much. You need to stop farming as much and summon a bit more. Hey, McFeely's a junior. Nice. You just missed, uh, the kind of strong disappointment of the Nemesis mount. We skipped two fights total. Sure, it saved like six minutes, but also it's not that much. Bloodbond Signet. Oh yeah, let me tell you about something. So I did a Void of Clear for AJ the other day, the whale guy. Um, and I pulled his artifacts. It's like seven artifact pulls. And I pulled him five exclusives in seven. We got him Cades, which is not that insane. He doesn't have Cade, but... Whatever. We got him Nyx. I don't know how good that one is. We got him Aelins, which is her best one. And then we got him Silas, which is also his best one. And then we got Cerberus as well. <laughs> no Hex artifact, but damn. For the past three weeks, no exclusives? Oof. Yike. Oh my god. Artifact storage. Stop. We, we should just have infinite artifact storage. So these are all the ones I have. Just a quick recap. Um, let's look at generic. So I have all of these. And then I have the equipped ones. So we got Hatsit. Um, Twin Fiend, Valk. 
Reeve, two of those. Laya, Volca, uh, Azor, I want to say, or is it Cratch? I don't know. Absin, Nyx. I also have Silas and Lust. I have Lust's exclusive, and I have Nocturne's exclusive. Uh, but I don't have any other ones, so anything new would be good. Oh, and I have Brokeers. I have two of Brokeers, actually, but I combined them. I, I, I forgot to clear. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, man. Um, Let's just look over here. I'm just going to erase all of these, honestly. Who needs those? And here, I'm going to solve most of these, because these ones are garbage. Uh, These ones are also kind of garbage. Uh, these ones are also garbage. I like to save at least one of each, just in case. Um, these are really good. This one's not bad, but I will sell it. Um, I don't know how good these are. These are terrible. Um, I've only ever had one of these, which is interesting. Um, it's like XP rate exclusive. Um, they, these ones are really solid, especially for early game. These are not good. That one has limited uses. This is not amazing. I like these, but I have one maxed already. Uh, whatever there. These ones are okay. This one is okay too, but it's not really necessary. These are not terrible. This one is kind of not good. <laughs> this one is garbage. This one isn't bad, but it's not ideal. This one's not terrible either. Idril's Gaze. Honestly, I'll save them because I want to build a second one. Uh, Rex's Vow were pretty good. I'm, I like keeping six, just because I might level them. Same with these. Uh, and Samsara. Uh, and this, Lucky Legacy, keep six. Um, and then just keep one of each of these. And that's already almost 100 space. Pretty, pretty cool. Hex Artifact, please. <laughs> I, I don't think I got an exclusive last time. Realm Terror I will take. Four more to go. Title ring, who cares? I don't even have Shamir. I need Shamir. This is not a bad exclusive, but it's useless for me. Like, 100% useless for me. Yeah, no, that's terrible. That's disappointing. We, we got hit with the disappointment. Is there any substitute for Laurel? Uh, For what content? Because the, the answer is no. Laurel is essential and amazing. Um, for everything. Uh, it's crazy. Elder Artifact would be great, yeah. Uh, someday I hope every Legendary, and even maybe most Epics, have an exclusive. I would love if Dolores got an exclusive. That just is like, when she's ulting, she gets 100x more <laughs> more attack. Make her make it so that she damage amps people to deal 8 million in one hit. Um, You would do things to your... Not proud to say out loud to get an exclusive. <laughs> I would do a lot of things for Hex exclusive. Here. Let's, let's, I did a temple because I had a temple. Let's do singles because I believe in the heart of the cards. Nah. Nothing. Imagine though. <laughs> Imagine Reeve in 10 shards. But yeah, it, it could be worse. I got a Silas, so I'm happy. Not amazingly happy, but I am happy. You've been stuck on gear eight, 119 for ages. Oh, for 119, no, there is no substitute for Laurel. You can do it without her. She's not needed. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you need help with with it, you could always schedule a takeover. Right now, we're just kind of waiting for the person I had to take over for. Uh, we might do Franks. I'm not sure if he's around, but we might do Franks. Take over. Uh, in a minute. But I'm just thinking, is there anything else I need to do for my account? I do need to farm this. Because I don't know if I can do the fusion. <laughs> we're in, like, emergency uh, farming mode right now. And I'm a little nervous, honestly. Um, what am I looking at? Hero training, I got enough. Yes, I did. Got palace I need to work on. And then I can get one from Duel of Champions. 
I can get one from Brave Conquest. And then there's one, two, three more I can get there. One, two, three, four. I have eight. Oh no. <laughs> That's not good. Um, we're going to have to hope there's one more at the end of this. If there isn't, then I think I'm, I don't get it. <laughs> oh, yikes. Okay, that's not good. I've been too lazy for too long. And now it finally caught up to me. Also, he's not pullable, I don't think. Let me check, let me check. Where's Gogran? I don't see him. Yeah, he's not he's not pullable, but Dagna is. Or not Dagna, sorry. Um Draga. I swear Draga's in here somewhere. Yeah, Draga. So if I pull a Draga, I'm okay. We might need to pull our gems today, boys. You got Draga, so you did it? Damn. Lucky bastard. You got your first cratch? Nice. Yeah, Gargan is a rip. I'm not getting him. Uh, <laughs> the Lord bonus is nothing. Rip. I'm going to message Frank, uh, try to get that going, uh, and then we should be ready there in a second. At least now this gives me some time. Also, do you guys want like a quick overview on what I like to do for gear cleansing? Because I need to do it, and this is the only way, re way I will ever do it. Um, first of all, these are garbage, so that's not happening. Uh, but usually all you got to do is you got to sort like this, <laughs> go flat stats, sell it all. I don't care what it is. All garbage <laughs> and then you want to sort by rarity generally and then generally you want to sell it all because it's all garbage I'm keeping no I keep this because it has good rolls just in case but yeah and then the rest is kind of complicated because um also what the hell is that nah I keep the ancient because I like ancients. And then it's all about just kind of finding out what's bad. You know, you might need to roll them things up. Uh, but there are some things to note. Uh, obviously, like, the newer gear is kind of important to keep. Like, this is amazing if I can get uh, a chest plate part. Um, but you need to section it off into, like, all the different types of damage dealers. Like, HP-based damage dealers, defense-based damage dealers. Uh, so you want to keep gear for those. You want to keep obviously all the good DPS gear, um, and then you really need to be careful of healer gear as well, and just any defensive gear. So I would say honestly, keep most of your guardian stuff. It's very very hard to come by. That's why I don't sell any. Um, but stuff like this, as you can see, that's garbage, right? Generally, if it's only one relevant substat, at least for where I am in the game, it's basically trash. This I could find a use for, but I'm not really gonna find one anytime soon. Uh, that I will keep just in case. Uh, there's a couple strategies for certain content to actually use a rage regen on a DPS. So I'll keep that just in case. Uh, but something like this is not ideal. This is a decent healer piece of a roll as well. Uh, HP base. But I'm at this part of the game where I would build them with Guardian or Ecleptus. So it's garbage for me. This is terrible. No crit rate. Um, terrible. Honestly. Honestly terrible. You know, you just kind of go through. Figure out what's bad, what's good for your account. And then axe it all. So if I did this on like AJ's account, for example, we would be getting rid of everything just instantly. Like this would not would not be saved because it's garbage for him. Uh, because even though it's three somewhat relevant substats, no attack speed is kills kills the piece because his gear his gear is so good. You know what I mean? That's just kind of the the main principle. I'm just gonna. 
do whatever. Also, something you could do, which I don't really recommend, is you could kind of just search by subsets that don't go well together. Like, I'll go like this. <laughs> and then we'll find, hey, that's not ideal. You know? You could just kind of find it there. Could be useful. That's not good, but it's a piece I don't have many of. This could... No, this is not ideal. This could be used on Abomination, but that's, or Torador, and that's it. Sure, it ascends, but like, when am I gonna ascend this? Infernal or, or could work with this crit rate and attack bonus is good, but it's also not that great. You know, this is not that great. I would only use it on Dolores. Like, yeah. Also, you could sell all your bad rolls. Like, the subs are good on this, but it rolled so bad at the beginning, I just don't feel like it. Honestly. Like, this is not terrible for a tank, I guess, but whatever. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just delete what you feel like is garbage. Like, that's garbage. When am I going to use that? When am I going to use that? You know? No. There's just a lot of uh, pieces from a bygone era, I guess you could say. This could be good because defense, HP, HP. Could be a good tank piece. A Kleptus, not bad. Same with this. It's not a tank set, but I might keep it because you need a lot of tanks for tank codex. That's not the worst thing I've ever seen, but... I mean, Mana Spring I don't get a lot of, so... For my account, I will keep that. I have a lot of these. I'm going to roll some of these up because these, these are all relevant um, for tanks, but... I'm just gonna do this, I don't care. Gotta get Crodor in two to three days. Gotta get three more Gogrins. I need eight more. <laughs> Did anyone actually pull on the April 1st banner? I pulled twice. <laughs> Got nothing. Uh, I know some people did because they thought the April Fool's joke would be that it's actually a good banner. No. Crash banner. Twenty-two watching and only seven likes. Yeah, guys, like the stream, you you bastards. <laughs> also, one of the viewers is my OBS. I've just I've discovered that one viewer is always me with OBS. I don't know why, but that's just how it goes. Um, I'll keep it just in case. Maybe good for. Might be good for a healer codex. Yeah, we're gonna gear, find some life force. We're gonna roll it up. Where's life force? There we go. I'm just gonna roll some pieces right now. Um, while we wait for people's. I'll just roll. Mm, is it even worth keeping? I'll keep it for the attack speed. I don't know if it's worth keeping, but we'll figure it out. Here, we're going to roll. This is kind of what you want to look for for a tank piece, but that rolled so atrociously bad that I, don't, I just don't think it's worth keeping. Um, Like, it's good. I should, I should be doing this when there's event on. Ooh. Is that better? That's a lot better, actually. See, already an improvement. This, I could see this being used for an abomination if it rolls well. That is atrocious. Very terrible. <laughs> Garbage. We're here. This could be decent. I'll keep it. Uh, I'm not going to use it on Vortex though, because my Vortex is one of the best pieces you'll ever see on a Vortex. Look at this. <laughs> This is a, a godlike vor vortex piece. That's not so much, but that's okay. Um, actually, let me look for a life force here. Do we have anything worth? I would like some healing effect there. It's fine. Um, I mean, HP bonus is all that matters, so I don't think we really need to well on it mm, 
Mm, let's see, let's see, let's see. I mean, this could be okay, I guess. It's not really worth it. There's no HP percent anyways, so my hopes were not very high there. This could be good, I guess. Yeah, I'll keep it as a case. Why not? Could be a good abomination piece. Hey, Aim. <laughs> What's up? Also known as Bushes. This is who I call Bushes, by the way. For anyone who's heard about him, but hasn't seen him. Absent and Nyx is not funny. Well, the joke is that it's a terrible garbage banner. <laughs> That's what the joke is. I think it's hilarious. I don't know why no, no one else thinks it's funny. I think it's hilarious. It baited some people who thought it would be a good banner into polling, and then it turns out it's actually garbage. It's just straight up a bad thing. Hey, Thanatos, what's up? Um, We're just doing... Uh, some gear cleansing for me because I know I'm not gonna actually do it. I'm not doing like intensive gear cleansing. I'm just kind of rolling things because I've been putting off. That's really solid. I'll definitely keep that. Um, this could be a good tank piece. I take it back. That's garbage. Okay. New leaks. Uh, one plus one this weekend. Possibly, yeah. Generally, the trend is whenever they do a good banner like this, they have a week where uh, they just do like either a 1 plus 1 or a 2x. Um, so that's what I'm expecting, but do not quote me on that. Uh, they've made it very, very hard to go into the files lately. They've been fighting us, so that's why there's not a lot of leaks lately. Um, if I find anything, that'll be... That's good. Uh, T, you could just... I'll just call him T. I'm not sure if he wants people to know who he is. He's like the, the really well-known coder. He's the guy that fast uses. He's on vacation, and the people like Rokanchi and Panther are kind of having issues with certain things. Panther doesn't know how to de decrypt uh, text files because it's really hard. Um, and Rokanchi still is able to find some stuff, but uh, nothing. I really have enough to make a video on right now. So, if I get any banner news, obviously I'll make a video as soon as I can, but... Uh, what was the one I just rolled? This. Eh, I'll, eh, I'll keep it. It's not good, but... But... Could be a good abomination piece. No, 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 no. <laughs> Next Afton literally have a circus background? Exactly, it is funny. I think it's hilarious that they were like, what are some of the worst characters we could put? Because obviously they just, they sat in a boardroom. They were like, well, no, they didn't sit in a boardroom because it's an April Fool's thing. One employee was just like, hey, we got to do April Fool's. And then the company was probably just like, yeah, just make something. And then they were like, what are some of the worst heroes in the game? Hmm. And then they were like, wait, absence garbage. And then they just made an like, absent banner for like, when's the last time you had, we had an absent banner? This would be a godlike uh, abomination piece. Okay, I'll, I'll keep this for sure. That's perfectly fine with me. Um, abomination, come here. Come here, bum. So I have this, right? But the attack speed makes this better. Boom. Better for a bomb already. My bomb is not geared properly. Uh, he has one of the worst sets for him, <laughs> but I do not care enough to change it. I don't use Abomination much, but he has some viability and some content like Guild v. Guild, so he's worth keeping in mind is what I'm trying to say. Oh, damn. Okay, I'll keep it. Why not? I I'm curious how well defense, defense rolls. Is it better? How much HP do we? No, this is so high. Cool roll though. Looks like everything is a good bomb piece. Well, because with these specific sets, I kept everything that was a good bomb piece. Um, so that's why you're seeing it a lot. Generally, you won't see that very often. <laughs> These abomination is very specific. You want them with HP and offensive stats. I should probably be looking for a Medan weapon as well. 
This could be a good abomination piece. Oh no, it's bad. I mean, we're actually clearing stuff, which is great. You think they made this banner more for the epics, Dolores and Maul? I think we just baited people in with those, honestly. <laughs> I think they were like, hey, let's actually give some good reason to pull this banner so that people pull on this banner and we still make money. You know what I mean? It's like a, it's a bad banner, but not one that's bad enough for them to lose all their money. A bad banner would be like an Azor or Cratch or something. Although this one's pretty bad. Nyx is not terrible, but you would never pull for a Nyx. Nyx just appears. He just arrives. I'll keep it, why not? I like high rolls. I I very rarely hold do high rolls. Um I'm surprised 20 people are watching me the do this BS. Like, how is this entertaining, guys? This is what the gear cleanse video is gonna be. It's just gonna be me rolling a bunch of gear saying, wow, that's garbage, and then tossing it. You're happy with your new Dolores and Maul? Your assumptions? Yeah. Yep. That's the, that's the joke, you know? They sucker you in. They give you a legendary. The legendary is trash. And then they, they go, hee hee ha ha. And that's the whole thing. <laughs> they're not going to, they're not going to make some crazy April Fool's thing. It's a company. They're not going to jeopardize the company. They're just going to make something stupid for a day. Oh wow, and then they're gonna they're gonna let it sit. A wild Nyx appeared. I wish. I I would take a Nyx, honestly. Anything but an Absin. I just know Nyx banner I'm gonna pull an Absin. I'm gonna cry myself to sleep. Oof. Well, I'm glad you guys think this is chill. We need a, a defense-based healer. I think that would be so funny. We we need an attack speed healer. Like, one that heals more based on attack speed. That's what I want to see. And then again, that's kind of like hollow, honestly. But, whatever. You saw the weird-looking meteorites on a leak video from two months ago. How far did leaks go? Uh, it could be anywhere from next week to five months in the future. We don't know. The thing about leaks is they are in the files. They are not known to be released. You know? You know what I'm trying to say? Uh, I just show you guys what could be coming. I don't tell you guys how it will be coming. Because I do not know. No one knows except the people in charge. Like, they could release it at any moment. You know? Because it's already done. So I assume they'll have like a further stage of Void Rift in the future, like maybe in like half a year, and then those will be there. This is really solid. Actually, let me enhance this. This is worth a, a max. Mm, uh, I'll find a use. Dolores might be the best character in the game. It's debatable. She's in the conversation. I do think she's the best epic because she's required for content. Um, but... I mean, you could argue that Silas, Boreas... Well, not Boreas anymore, but you could argue Comet is in the conversation. Uh, you could argue Pre Praetis. I, I think Praetis is the best just because he has so many things that no, no one else has anything close to. Uh, he also gets content designed around him. Which, oh. I think it's ridiculous that they actually just design content around him. Oh, that's not what I wanted to equip. Um, is it? No, it was this. Okay, that's better. Um, I'm very bad at menuing. It's so, so bad. I'm really not good at it. How did this even slip through? No, that's not what I... That's not what I want to do, man. 
Let me sell it. It's trash. Oh my god. Komodo. <laughs> who let you have this? I know it was me, but who let you have this? Ew, 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 ew. That is disgusting. Honestly, Afton kind of deserves that piece, but it's it astounds me that uh, that is locked. That might be one of the worst things I've ever seen. You got read? Uh, of course you did. Next one plus one, probably in the next two weeks is my guess. I can't confirm anything, but probably. Imagine you open the free legendary card for finishing the gear raids and you get absent. Uh, I actually, so there's two separate times this happened. Where uh, back when I was still active in uh, the main discord, I was, I'm still number nine in overall messages. <laughs> Fun fact. Uh, but back when i was in there some people were like i'm gonna pull uh this or it's like i beat all the 18s now i get to actually try it and i basically was like okay you're gonna get absent and two separate times they got absent as i said that i've only told someone they're gonna get absent like three times <laughs> so all these poor souls I don't know why it's making me do something pretty specific for this, but I just want to delete that piece. Uh, so yeah, it would be soul crushing. I got arrogance in mine, which was hype as hell because arrogance is very, very good. Um, at the time he was like the most versatile, uh, fighter. And now he's just even better, so. Dolores is a Lego, yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, McFeely got all the epics. He got Olog. He put like five Ologs on that banner. Um, and then he got Hollow. He got Deimos very recently. I, I don't think you ever sold Iona, so you're good on that. Iona is the white whale. If you're not a spender, you will never get Iona. I pulled a single Iona. I pulled as many Iona's as I've pulled double legendaries in a temple. And I, I've pulled very few double legendaries. <laughs> um, your luck was gone after Hatchet Banner? Yeah, everyone's luck went out the window this week. It was very, very sad to watch. And also be a part of. <laughs> like, it was, it was just brutal. No, thanks. I keep like clicking slightly off and then it's just booting me completely. No, I want to delete it. Oh my God. You got a Vierna on the 18th on our anime weekend. Interesting. Uh, fun fact, uh, you can't pull Vierna on our 10X. <laughs> You never pull her on her 10x. It's so strange, but that's just how it goes. It's like she's allergic to her own 10x. Or I guess it's 15x now, but... I've only ever seen, like, one or two people pull her on her banner. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> she just kind of appears. She, she just arrives. Yeah, Jackson has some atrocious luck. Um, I kind of feel bad for him, but then again, he kind of deserves it, so. 
Poor Jackson getting bullied. You recall someone mentioned Allura Awakenings and then you pulled three dupes. Yeah, I do. We were having like a conversation or something, either on stream or just in DMs. And we were we mentioned Allura at some point. And then since then, sh she's your first day five. <laughs> You've pulled like four of her in the last like month or two. It's It's so funny. You guys have to realize my power to jinx you is insane. And this is why you like the stream okay if you don't like the stream every time you hop in a stream and you're not subscribed or anything you get the worst luck ever and i promise you you will not have a good time yes this is a threat i'm tempted to put that on abomination abomination hey abomination abomination A little bit less crit damage, but it's all good. Hmm, not really good enough. Um. Eh. No ancients once again. Rip. It's just like a routine account cleanse. But like just alone from that, we've cleared out like a hundred slots. Yeah, Jackson has insane ancient luck, but the rest of his luck is trash and garbage and terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if if you don't watch every one of my streams to completion, uh, you will not pull anything. Why do you think McFeely has dev rates? It's because he 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 basically sits in my stream twenty four seven. He hasn't really recently because he's been busy, but like I remember I remember when McFeely was in the chat for ninety nine percent of it of the stream, but like every stream. Uh, I just kind of autoed this, but. Oh, come on, why can't I do the fights? Anyways, what I want to do is I want to get a couple more coins. I want to get one more ancient and I want to pull it because I'm a degenerate and we're close. Uh, also, tomorrow I will get this pipe. Uh, I got these just because bash rings are always good to have and I like collecting exclusives. Um, also, what else am I going to buy? This shop is garbage. <laughs> I know my language is very harsh, but like this is the only thing I think I would ever really want to buy. I don't have that many of these. I skill up a lot of epics for both videos and also variety of content. And they're not very easy to get. Also, reset book, I have not used yet. I'm holding on to it forever. Yeah, Jackson has six lords, so he can't complain about his luck. Ever since you subbed, which is right before Lust Banner, you've had this luck. <laughs> well, maybe I stole all your luck. Or maybe I'm the reason you even have luck. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh oh we got a we got a, a summon. Wow, this summon on Reeve Banner. Yeah, no, nothing. Oh, it's Laurel. Dem <laughs> Demonic is <laughs> Quaking in his boots. <laughs> Demonic doesn't have Laurel yet, and it's really hurting him. <laughs> He's starting to feel it now. Uh, so shout out De Demonic. He's not in here because, you know, he actually ugh, has a life. Um, but yeah, Demonic is suffering. Also, we need more things. Like, sure, we need more things in Awakening Shop. Cause what? What am I even supposed to buy? But we need more things in guild shop. I, I constantly have three to 5,000 guild coins. And it keeps climbing. What am I going to get? A gold bonus? I have 40 mil gold almost. Well, I had before this. But uh, I don't need a gold bonus. I don't need this. I mean, I could buy these. But like, 
what the heck? This is like two runs. Or maybe more than two, but you get the idea. Um, demon soldiers. These are all the rare demon soldiers. Honestly, spiders are kind of decent. But you're buying just a single shard. It takes like 300 shards to level these guys. Like, let's look. Let's, let's look. So my demon soldiers are below average in terms of levels. At least for people in my level. My thing is level 7, right? Also, you really need this for a video. There's a video I'm going to have. I'm going to have more Guild of Guild content out. But look, 300. If I buy that, that's 300 coins. And I get 3 shards. <laughs> like, I'll buy it because I need them. But it's 3 shards. Are you kidding me? I need th I need to buy the I need to buy three hundred thousand worth of those those chests. To even level it a single level. This is terrible because at, at where I am, you don't need it. Once again, gold is useless. So this is just like half of the shop is useless. You pull these now. This one's decent. This one has is so niche you're never gonna use it. So I guess I'll get this, but like, there's nothing to buy, man. I don't even need the skill ups anymore. I just, and in terms of artifacts, I really just need, like, Wailing Skull or something. As you can see. Um, I would like to level this, actually. But yeah. Um, whatever. Once this is closer to finishing, or we get to here. Right as we get to here, I'm gonna swap over to probably Frank's account. I didn't ask him, but he asked me to do it a while ago. So I'm just gonna log on. I assume he's asleep. And we're gonna we're gonna do that, and then I'm gonna hopefully have the guy who wanted to take over come in pretty soon. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, McFeely has ridiculous luck. Um, he has dev rates. <laughs> it's so dumb. The the only thing I will say is, what if his Ghana one was a Praetus? Then it would have been nice. Like Harz is good. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Harz and Demi are both really really strong. Um. Morrigan has uses, but if you have Demi, you don't need Morrigan and vice versa. Torador is meta now for a lot of content. He's amazing for Guild v Guild. He's amazing for um, a lot of boss fights, a lot like a lot of content. Um, Aim has um, Torador once again is really good. Venoma makes Boreas and Comet good, so therefore he's good. She's good, but you have Cyrus, so Venoma's not that great. Um, Arak A1, her A1 is not that impactful, but Arak is really good. Uh, and then Morrigan. I mean, McFeely wins, but you're close. Harz is pretty solid. He's not bad. But my only issue with Harz is when he doesn't have a shield on, which is fairly often, uh, he is like paper. He's like paper. You just die. <laughs> He just straight up dies. I can't let's hurry up, man. I just want an ancient, but we're not getting any ancients. What am I, who am I getting? You don't have lust because of me? How do I not? How is it because of me, man? Y you should have saved 250 for the guarantee. That's not on me, man. I'm, I'm bored of waiting. There's nothing to do apart from summon when there's background fights. I still need to do my codex. Too. No. <laughs> Not even an epic. I should have probably pulled on Reeve. <laughs> Whoops. 
Come on, Reeve. Come home. Come on, baby girl. Come on, baby girl. That's buffering. Why does it keep buffering? Ugh. Not Venom. Ew. We got Venom in the chat? That's disgusting. Sorry, guys. Stream is cancelled. Venom's here. <laughs> Or spend, yeah. He doesn't have a thousand one hundred and fifty yet, so he's kind of broke. Honestly, bro needs uh, bro needs a donation. I thought that was a legendary for a second, and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> my my brain is literally putting trick like pulling tricks on me. Cars Hex Zealous and you got Reeve 20 minutes ago. Damn. Yeah. All of those but Zealous are good. <laughs> Zealous is not good. I'm sorry, but that's just the truth. He is not at all. Ugh. I shouldn't have let this go until the last day but i did also i realized i realized now that we act, this is like the first time we've ever had a hero training and a corridor event at the same time that's nutty i should probably level them more more than okay who do you guys want to see a guide on out of any of these guys do you want do you guys want to see a claw guide do you want to see a cade guide even though i don't have physics actually fast is really excited to do a cade guide maybe i won't uh i should probably level more again but who cares same with araka you guys want to see some razak content i need him for the pelagius boss apparently i don't know how it works i haven't read the kit yet but do i level like an area for faction trials do i level deimos <laughs> Do I level my second Dolores for videos or Esme? Is Claw any good? Claw is actually highly underrated and really, really powerful. Yeah. Um, he's a lot better than you think he is. I don't know what you think of him, but he's a lot better than anyone thinks he is. Put, put him with a good Sova and Arcana set and he shreds. He can hit like multiple hundreds of thousands per attack in like Arena, for example. Yeah, Venom's gonna actually try to save up 2,000 um, before he pulls them. So, uh, yeah. You, you were mad and Cope pulled, got you harves. Hey, it was worth... You're curious how many diamonds and ancient somebody could get in a month free-to-play doing all events at tourneys? Uh, well, I'm 90% free-to-play, so I can say that you get about maybe 50 shards, 40 shards a month, approximately. Maybe a bit more. It depends on how many events you actually win. But with I win like maybe one in every four or three or something. Uh, how do we feel about Esme? Esme's good from what I know. What's the A3 hex fuck? Mine is A0, so I don't know. You pulled Gone and Claw within 20? Yeah, you're, you need a ban. You need a ban. You peek and can't pull again. Yeah, you're never gonna pull anything that good again. Uh, I'll level Claw right now. Why not? I like Claw. He's a lot of fun. Oh, but we need to level some food. Okay. Rip my XP. This is so much energy worth of XP. It's like a couple of, it's like a thousand or two. 
2,000 maybe. I don't want to use the psychic powers because we got to level them anyways. Carnage, passive, whatever. If you used Hex Ultimate back to back too fast, you wouldn't extend his ult on the second one. Interesting. Let me translate this. I don't know what this. I don't know what that says. I only, I only speak English and a little bit of Spanish. Yo hablo espanol. <laughs> am I Dutch? No, I am not. I'm Canadian. I am Soy de Canada. <laughs> I don't know why I'm speaking Spanish now. Uh, my my Spanish is so bad. It's embarrassingly bad. Here, let me dust this guy. I might full skill claw right here, honestly, but I'm kind of tempted to uh, see how much, uh, how many crystals I can accumulate. Do I think his utility is worth his, worth his cost? Uh, I think if you want to have a fun time, then yes. <laughs> he's a lot of fun. Uh, he's not meta because Ardea exists and Valeria, but he's a lot of fun. I do recommend trying him out. Daggy dag no. My accent isn't totally apparent until I say some things. Yeah, I hear that a lot. I'm from uh, downtown, not downtown, but I'm from Vancouver. So I get a lot of variety in the people I meet and the languages that are and accents and stuff uh, to the point where I feel like mine are just basic as hell. <laughs> Obviously, I am Canadian, so it does show, but not as often as you would think. I'm actually going to level to get these two sh two shards because I'm a degenerate. Generally, you want to level the lowest people up. Uh, and you could do something where you level everyone like slight. That's food, like right here. You can level them all a couple levels. And that is optimal. Kind of similar in raid. Uh, but it's such a boring thing to do. Okay, perfect. We can stop now because I got I got the Gogren before the event ends. Hope I'm really hoping I can finish the fusion. If I can't, I will be very upset. Here, let's see what we got. I will take a spring. Molly, pretty cool. Um, Molly is actually not a bad rare. She's pretty decent. She just. Why would you use her over the the guaranteed epic you get on your first pull? Right? There, there is no point in using her. Let's see. This. Not good. Yep. Garbage. Who cares? Generally, you want to look at everything, but I don't feel like it. Um. Now... Do you guys want me to just go do Geary 4 takeover or do this? I, I might save the codex for a different day. I want to do a video. Do you guys think it's a good idea? Um, I want to do a video going on probably AJ's account and title it like what, like either title it something along the lines of, uh, like maybe something like what end game codex looks like or like. How to get SSS in all codecs or something similar. Obviously, there's only like two accounts in the world. Venom can't even get SSS in um the uh, the frost thing. Where in Canada am I? Uh, Vancouver. <laughs> Canada's not a real place. You're thinking of Australia.
My accent sounded like a Dutch speaking English. <laughs> I don't know how to take that. Um. Oh, how do you contact me for a takeover? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, one second. You could either message me here on Discord. Let me put it in the chat. Feel destined. Just DM me there, or you could join my Discord and find it there. All my pricing is in the Discord. It's nothing too crazy. It's about what War Guys <laughs> charges, honestly. Um, but he's he's out on a trip, so you're not gonna find him. <laughs> Canadians are people too, I guess. You're thinking of French people. French people aren't real people. Um, opinion on the reef skin. Uh, I don't like how drastically it changes the entire theme, but I think it, as a standalone skin, I think it looks really sick. I think it's a really good skin if you think of it like that. But if you compare it to what his original skin accomplishes and is trying to go for, it is objectively one of the worst one of the worst skins in the game, because like this is just a a, a one eighty from what his original design is. It's like he's a different character. It's very strange that they went that direction, but I do think it looks good. Um. Family tree and addresses? Nah, that get me to a hundred thousand subs first. <laughs> All right, sounds good. I could probably do yours now if you want. We're just kind of waiting. <laughs> We're waiting for the person who who wanted to take over to contact me. So, <laughs> if you want, I can just I can just hop on and do yours now. If you're fine with the prices, of course, because I'm not. I, if you, if you don't agree with the prices, of course, uh, then I'm not, I'm not going to, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, you, I, I have to write it down somewhere in there, but usually I discount based on if you get multiple things done. I gotta, I gotta change that. Like for the gear aid four stuff, lots of people wanted, um, those. And I forgot to write down that if you get multiple, then it's like a little cheaper. When are we hanging out? Uh, when I'm at a hundred thousand subs. <laughs> you prefer my attitude? Uh, I appreciate that. Um, I mean, wait, why? Why would I appreciate that? I, I don't know what words to use. <laughs> I don't know what you, words to use. You know what I mean? Like, uh, thanks. <laughs> That's what I mean to say. Um, I uh. <laughs> I'm a little lost. Actually, let's do some arena. Guys, do you want to watch some uh, essentially PNGs battling for nothing as I use Boreas, who's not as great? Still better than Abomination skin? You don't like toothpaste? Come on. Alright, no worries. That sounds good. What What the hell is Brekka? I don't know what Brekka is. All right, Venom, what do you want to need to take over for? For you, the rates are double, though. You have to pay do double. I know you have the money, so you better not you better not back out. Venom's like the richest Watcher Realms player. No, that's Ray. Ray Ray is probably the richest Watcher Realms player. I take it back. Sorry, sorry, Venom. Some brain numbing content coming up. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be brutal. That's for sure. Venom needs a summoning tutorial. Oh yeah, Venom, I could I could pull all your shards for you right now if you want. You know, I'm, I'd be happy to do it. I'm too expensive for you? Okay, sure, bud. <laughs> I'm like the cheapest content creator for it, man. What are you talking about, man? Are you are, are you off the perk again? There's a bunch. Yeah, I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what those. <laughs> I don't know what those are. <laughs> why do I keep wheezing? I don't know. I don't know why my laugh is a wheeze today. As you can see, Boris ha isn't actually hitting the fish, um, or at least he didn't for a little while. Which is kind of interesting, because generally, 9 times out of 10, he would. He would hit the fish. Alright. Boreas, please. There we go. That's a GG.
You play Marvel Contest of Champion and a guy for the Christmas event wired 200 grand to the company directly to buy crystal summons to get first place reward. What? <laughs> what? So are you, what do you mean? Like, why wouldn't he just buy them in the game? Did he just like, was it too big of a purchase to buy through mobile or what? Because that is ridiculous. Maybe I should make a game. Would you guys like me to make a game? It'll be like, have you guys seen Flying Gorilla? Like, the game Flying Gorilla? I'll make something that quality, and then you guys can play it and give me money. How, how about that? Although, iOS takes 25%, or 20% of all, all purchases. So, big yikes. It's a good bakery? Alright, I'll look it up. In a bit. I'm like that Canadian that doesn't really know much about where he's where he lives. <laughs> It's bad. Um, all I really care about is where the nearest Indian place is. Like, Indian food place. You must resist the urge to open the shards. Not yet. Yeah, you, you have to wait. It's like, if you had maybe 50 shards, I think it would be fine to pull today. Um, but the fact, like, you have so many where if it's not a raid up on something you want to have multiple awakenings of, uh, you should never, ever pull them. It's at that point. Eventually, when you have so much, it, there is no point to summoning anymore because you gotta wait. Uh, check the prices. Humble prices, good attitude. I yeah, I try. <laughs> I do. I do have to say, um, though I don't get enough business to raise them, nor would I raise them. So, but like the way I see it, it's a game, and uh, just being able to make money from a game from playing a video game that I enjoy. Takeovers don't make me... Up. Like, take, I could be working at McDonald's for a 9 to 5, or I could charge reasonable prices. Sure, I, I don't make as much as I would minimum wage, because I only have 2,000 subs, but, like, I enjoy what I do, and I think that's a fair price. Because, like, I don't know. I'm not... I don't, like... I don't think it's insane for someone like everyone uses fastidious as the example so i guess we'll use him as an example like he's a great guy especially uh behind the scenes he's one of like he's he's one of the nicer people i've ever met online um i do genuinely mean that but i will say his prices are kind of crazy <laughs> it's always 80 bucks but like he he's been grinding gear eight four takeovers for like 30 hours the last two days. I think it's close to 40 now in the last three days, if not more, because he gets so many, so much business charging that much that I do, I do agree with him that if he didn't charge that much, he would get too many people and he would have to decline people. <laughs> like he has, he gets so many people asking him for takeovers. I know people say his prices are insane, but people pay that and more. He, like every week he gets like three people wanting full account takeovers which are like 300 bucks or something like that it's crazy it's, it's ridiculous how, how many people pay him which is like good for him good for him i just in my mind i'm like what how do people have so much money <laughs> it's like because i'm so used to just like like this is like the first i don't know 700 dollars i've ever made you know which is how much I made from takeovers, by the way. Just full, full, full transparency. When McFeely pays me, it'll be seven fifty. But you know, <laughs> I'm not making anything because of the Saturday stream. Yep, exactly. Uh, I make about. Well, I don't make it because <laughs> YouTube's being kind of gross with my monetization. By gross, I mean they're just <laughs> I'm having issues. <laughs> but um. What's it called? Uh, what, what was I saying? Um, oh yeah. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so the average stream from what I've heard from other people in this space, uh, I don't remember who told me. I talked to a decent amount of content creators. I, like, five of them. <laughs> That's not very money, but you, you get the idea. Um, apparently, people make like $10 for a thousand views on a live stream, approximately. Um, so, but maybe that's the wrong number. I don't know. Sorry. Let me read the chat. <laughs> you would think you get a happy ending. 
I, I, yeah, happy endings come free with uh, big takeovers. Why do you think? <laughs> nah, I'm not. I'm not gonna make a joke at a, at another person's expense. I was gonna be like, why do you think I have so many reoccurring customers? <laughs> um, if you're hungry, you're not paying twenty dollars for a sandwich. In in Canada, that's how much you're paying for a sandwich. <laughs> Let's be real here. Um, Boris, you're you're killing me here, man. You sent that PayPal the morning after the takeover. Oh shoot, I think I didn't check. <laughs> one second, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second. Oh yeah, it did. <laughs> oh, it did so long ago, <laughs> I think. Did it? I don't even know. But yeah, I got that. Oh yeah, I got that so long ago. <laughs> it's just it was pending. It's pending, so I didn't see it go to the balance. So I was like, he didn't pay me, but he did. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm at about uh, 700 something. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> PayPal is such a bad way to pay. Watching 40 minutes of music videos may have caused those problems. Possibly, yeah. Also, um, so. Uh, if you don't know, the way YouTube pays you for YouTube is through something called AdSense. And when I did it, I'm uh, like I made my account, and the info was wrong. I looked it up, and the only way to fix it apparently was to delete the account, wait a month, and then make it again. So that's what I'm doing. So it should be only another like two weeks, I would hope. I don't even remember when I did that. Boreas, you feel like you're trying to grab something with your foot that you dropped while sitting down and you can't reach it. <laughs> I kind of get what you mean, yeah. Like, when when they're over here now, I just, I feel like I can't, <laughs> he can't even hit them. It's so funny. Also, make sure to like the stream, guys. Um, I need those likes to feel uh, accomplished in my life. Um, I need the self-validation for, uh, <laughs> for my, my, I need the dopamine, guys. Uh, like it for my, uh, my very shallow reasons. Yeah, that's one of the funnier um, analogies I've, I've I've seen, Jackson. <laughs> um, um, actually, you guys should like the stream. It's very important. <laughs> I do a lot of weird stuff with my voice just for fun. Uh, I know Bilbo isn't in the chat. He's a guild member of mine. But I've sent him some really weird voice messages lately, and it's so funny. Wait, here, let me play one, let me play one. I think I can play one. Um, one second, one second, one second. Uh, let me find Bilbo really quick. Bilbo T. Baggins. <laughs> this is what I sent him. He asked me for a... I, um... <laughs> he asked me for, um, like, an alarm. To record an alarm for him or something. Or a wake up thing. So. Oh, wait, no. Discord is muted for me. One second. <laughs> Sorry, technical issues. Um, okay, one second, one second, one second. I gotta raise the desktop audio. And now, here we go. Wakey, wakey, Momo. It's time to get up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I sent him, I sent him that at 6 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> he asked me at 6 a.m. and I recorded it. Wakey, wakey, Momo, it's time to get up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know.
<laughs> Imagine just a, a sleep deprived <laughs> YouTuber, you know, <laughs> just all of a sudden <laughs> sends you that. Like, are you are you kidding me? Like, imagine the <laughs> imagine how weird that must be. Imagine if someone like I know I'm nowhere near the level, but like imagine someone like PewDiePie, for example, just all of a sudden sound sound to that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um <laughs> sorry blitz <laughs> i keep forgetting you're always stoned <laughs> we should we should watch some more uh trip sitter videos did you like the last one we played you have a guy at work who looks like <laughs> that might be the worst way you could look no offense to him of course I i'm sure he is a nice guy but uh, being described as Gollum might be the end of end of my life. Yeah, Elowin's mandatory, and then either Valkyria or Comet. Uh, but of course, uh, we got to nerf Boreas. Like, I, they could have nerfed him in Arena. That would have been it. Uh, but I will always say that he was too overpowered. But, I mean... I get why Silas isn't nerfed, but also Silas deserves a nerf too. <laughs> but he is kind of two characters in one uh, to reach his full potential, so maybe he doesn't. Damn, when I played the um the voice note, we lost 10, 10 viewers. <laughs> People really were just like, nah, <laughs> we're not staying for this, man. Rip. <sighs> what did this guy send me? Who's Croxy? Is that... Is that you? Um, I feel like that's Jackson. It gives me Zach Jackson's vibe. Oh yeah, you just told me that was you. Okay. Well, we're listening on stream, so enjoy that. I'm incredibly terrified, though. I don't know what this is. fucking <laughs> bitch. Is this a stitch impression? A little hobbit says, Well, tap your fucking bitch. <laughs> I am. I'm. I. I, I am intimidated. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it sounds like Stitch. You know, from Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, they ain't about this life. It's not a true destined stream without it going off the rails, so they're missing out. Cringe. Hey, tell that to Jackson, man. <laughs> You're calling NASA? I genuinely wouldn't be surprised if Blitz knows NASA. Like, people from NASA. I would not be surprised at all in the slightest. I fully expect him to... To be about that life. It's so weird seeing hats that have almost as much damage, if not more damage than Boreas, considering I'm using a Boreas team. Yeah, it sounds like Stitch. Not a Destin stream without copyright claims. The music I'm playing right now will probably get claimed, honestly. <laughs> Blitz, what the frick are you talking about, man? I'm s <laughs> I don't know what's happening anymore. I think we've all collectively uh had a seizure and we're all just flailing around on the ground saying random stuff.
Do 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 do. I love races. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Um, let's see what happens here. Sargak is so fun. He's one of my favorite characters by far. Um, he's a blast to use. <laughs> Blitz is stone, so he thinks aliens are coming down after your stitch impression? Well, aliens are coming down. That's it, it's popping the hell off. Off to bed. Have a nice day. Thanks, man. Have a good. Have a good. <laughs> what am I saying? Have a good sleep, man. <laughs> you have uh, you've witnessed horrors beyond your imagination today, aka a, a destined stream. My streams are always insane. <laughs> That's why I usually make the thumbnails as bad as possible. Lately, I've been making them like average, but in the past, I would make them as bad as possible because. Uh, the Destin streams are always insane. Like, acid trips. An Elder exclusive that allowed him to throw his hammer for tiles. Yeah, but the game would get sued by Marvel. Slash Disney. So they can't do that. Face Reeve is wearing a Tricorn pirate hat. Technically, the Reeve skin is also a Tricorn pirate hat. Reeve skin burn confirm. Face drowned. <laughs> what? Maybe it's just the same hat. Maybe the Reeve one is him when he goes to hell. Because Reeve for sure is not going into heaven. I'm delighted to see my uh, my auto holding up. Also, Arena's been getting a lot harder lately. Which is kind of interesting. I, it makes a lot of sense, but I just... I haven't been plat 2 in a long time. Hmm. I just want to get the divine. I'm going to instantly pop it, even though it's the worst time to use a divine. And then, uh, I'll yoink someone's account who I didn't ask if I could go on, but he asked me to, so therefore it's fine. Um, and then hopefully the guy who wanted the takeover will do that. If anyone wants a takeover, feel free to ask, because I don't have that many people lined up today. Fast dreams are cool, but that's his dreams just hit different. He's more professional than I am, although he does kind of lose his mind halfway through like I do. So I respect that. If I pop it, you'll do what? Never a bad time to gamble? Exactly. McFeely, fun fact, pulls uh, off banners occasionally and he'll just like pull a Boreas. Like, the last time he pulled on an off banner, he pulled a Boreas. It was so dumb. Uh, you like when I stream late because you always get bored waiting for reset? Yeah, that's fair. Toe curling Boreas nerf. <laughs> Ghost, your messages are are just so random. I don't I don't know how to, res how to respond. 
Oh, you pop one as well. Okay, I thought you were asking for takeover for some reason. My brain is fried. Ugh. Oh, shoot. Boreas, alt. Alt, please. Okay, well, we won. Come on. Promotion. Promotion. There we go. Perfect. Perfecto. You pull a lot off banner, you have zero control. I can tell. The good thing is you make enough. I don't know how much money you make, but you make enough to support your gambling addiction. Slightly. <laughs> Yeah, nothing. I mean, a Mali is still some thing. If we push Overlord, I can pull even more, so maybe I should. <laughs> Alright, now we're, we're down a little bit. Alright, let's pull it. It's not a legendary. It's an Aatrox. Okay, garbage. <laughs> Does this game hate me, man? Why does it hate me? Uh, 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 uh. I don't know what noise I'm making, but um, let's do two more arena fights so I can pull one more shard. The the, the degeneracy knows no bounds. In the movie, he he gets Shrek to sign a thing. His toe scroll is crashing hand or something. Giving context <laughs> makes it more weird. It, it, both things are weird. You got Medan. So technically mine was better, so I win. Bill's first, then Gamble. Fair. <laughs> McFeely, you should be saving and investing in your future instead of buying things in games. But also, I get it. There's some people who can't um use normal methods to pay so i'm just like just send me an apple gift card and then i'll i'll buy some, i'll buy in game stuff <laughs> am i becoming a whale too i'm tempted to buy things in afk journey the prices there are very fair so i kind of want to i don't know i'm really enjoying the game i i've been up kind of late the last couple nights playing afk journey I, I genuinely, I, I'm really, really considering, um, making content on the game. I don't know what content to make though. That's the main thing stopping me. And I also don't have that much time, but after I'm done school, at least for this little bit, um, I should have time to make two channels. And also AFK Journey is already double the size of war in terms of player base. So I would make more money. So... But there's no, there isn't as much of a takeover opportunity. Take the takeover market for Watcher of Realms is crazy because it's such a hard game strategy wise. Um, yeah, I sound like you to your grandparents. How AFK is AFK Journey? Uh, well, the main leveling source is uh like accumulates over time, so it's less AFK than AFK Arena. It's but the fights you can auto completely. Uh, but there's a lot of strategy in how you place things. How the team's synergies work. All of that fun stuff. So that's why I like it. It's a, stra a strategic. AFK, that's away from keyboard is what it sounds for. But AFK is like, uh, in terms of mobile games, is a franchise or whatever created by Lilith Games. Who also made Dislight, which is also a good gotcha. Um, that, that gotcha has so many quality of life things, but it's just, I didn't play it very long. Um, yeah, you gotta try OK Journey, it's really good. Well, you do have to play it, but yeah, I get it. Um, the main appeal of the AFK games, or the idle, quote unquote, idle games, is you don't need to be playing them constantly. So you can progress while, like, actually having a life is... Kind of the appeal. Um, and I get it. 
AFK goes away from keyboard, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I like AFK Journey a lot. It's a lot more hands-on than you think by the name. It's just AFK Arena single-handedly basically created an entire genre of idle games. Um, so it's kind of like iconic and very well known. So the reason why it's called AFK Journey is although it does have some AFK mechanics, um, where you like accumulate awards when you're rewards when you're away, it's not really that AFK, you know, in terms of the gameplay. There's a lot of story. It's like story that I can breeze through. All right, so after this fight, we're gonna do Frank's thing, and then I'll I'll remind materials. Who's the other guy? Uh, to help me log in. <laughs> You're hoping it was really AFK? No. That's just what the game is called, man. Has some AFK features, but like, it's still a game, you know. And as I've said multiple times, I would like to get sponsored, ideally, possibly, if I can. I think that would be sick. Uh, also, I need money. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Nothing. Garbaggio. Okay, well, let me swap to uh, Frank's. Here, guys, enjoy Jedian. Woo! Jerry in, Jerry in. Um, do you guys think it would be fun if I made merch with Jerry in on it? <laughs> would anyone buy that? Is that a bad idea? I feel like it would be fun. Yeah, you should try it. Give it a go. Yeah, I get it if you don't have time for it. I don't have time for other games either. I've kind of stopped playing Infinite Magic Raid so much. Um, I still check in on it like every day, but not for very long. So I just, I don't have time anymore. Um, but yeah, so here, here we are. We are on this guy's account. You know how it is. Uh pretty goaded account and we will be doing um what's it called sorry i gotta clear these it's bothering me he already did the fusion by the way uh but we will be doing some gear Raid four it's gonna be fun uh so let's just go through it i'm just gonna speed run it <laughs> honestly uh so this is the team he was using which is interesting but i do think i can make it a little bit better first of all let's look here do we have we will be probably using these guys. Okay, whatever. Um, or we could use Comet. Do I want to try the Comet strat? Because we have Artemis. It depends how leveled Artemis' skills are. He's max skilled. Let's do Comet strat, I think. Eh, but I like the Arana strat. Let's see. How 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 leveled is this Greed? Hmm. Now nah, we need Dolores for the top. Yeah. Okay, so let's do Comet for the bottom. Uh, uh, let's bring in an esotericist lord. Esso the racist. Oh, we got no Elowin. That's not going to be good. No Elowin or Laia. Ooh, that's going to be rough. We could beat five, I think, but six is not looking possible. Let's bring in the hollow. So instead, we got to get our Valkyria. We got to get our northerner lord. Uh, which is going to be a soul, the, not, wait, what? Um, and then we're going to get, so we got the damage there. We need the anti-heal. He's the best anti-heal. Through you this year. Um, and then we need the lore, 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 the Lolo is what I meant to say. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Um, and then we got two slots. Oh, we need another tank. Whoops. What it was. Frodor could be fun, but I think he'll get shredded because he has a lot of block. Um, and then the last unit is kind of 
whatever you want him to want it to be. And I'll bring Crodor when I actually I take it back. Let's look for Guardian. Guardiano. Nope. I'm just going to put whatever is available. I know it's not the best way to gear it, but he's not going to be a staying offender. He's just there in case we fail. If that makes sense. Um, make sure that Comet is geared. Okay, Sylvander Comet is a lot better for him. Uh, we need as high of a tier of Twilight as we got. It's not very high. Let me let me level this for him. It's so worth it. Yeah, Greed A5. I, I might use Greed A5 later, but I think we will need Dolores for Valkyria. You don't have the right gear for Crotor, no, but he, he's not going to get placed. <laughs> Gary and pins and stickers, that would be funny, yeah. And maybe I'll put it on like a mug or something. Eco-terrorist, <laughs> now nah, that's his thing. Maybe I'll do like take the overs on a shirt. <laughs> I don't know if anyone would buy that. I know Qua has said he would buy that, but that's the only person I know who would buy this. Uh, Kira Twilight, you have so many now. Uh, I would highly recommend maxing this as soon as you can. Just make sure to keep, like, three copies total. That's definitely worth it, especially for these stages. Um, if things go wrong, I will swap the left side stuff. A little bit. Also, I would reforge this. Honestly, I wouldn't even buy the Ancients. In the uh, in the Infernal Codex store, I would just buy um, I would I would just buy a uh, Reforged Hammer for this because this this is the best piece you could ever have for Sylvan Arcana. It's just the rolls are garbage. So I I would do that. Can I actually do that now? <laughs> would you be mad if I bought that now? You haven't even tried. Let's, let's just get that, and then maybe we can um. All respect to Dan, but his pronunciation is some of the worst things ever. Maybe that's <laughs> maybe that's why he, maybe that's why he's so good. Are re recast hammers that good? No, but imagine if it rolls properly. Im Reforge hammers are kind of a scam, but in the off chance it gets better, then they're godlike because good gear is really important. Ancients are gonna give you like thirty gems, you know, and you're probably gonna get the ten ancients at the end anyways. I think. I'm just gonna auto auto fight this because why not? Honestly, I could probably get you SS or something. My only thing is I wouldn't put Aatrox there. I would move Abomination to the right and just put Aatrox in the middle. But that's kind of the main thing. Uh, but this is honestly a better setup than mine. <laughs> Your Conqueror is far better than mine. I got thirty percent. Of course, half the people weren't geared, but like. So many god substats that you had trash because you never get the hammers. Yeah, I don't get the hammers either. But that's just because I don't get good subs. <laughs> I don't get good subs and, and they also don't roll. Okay, never mind. This is not doing better than mine. But, like, the setup was better. You want to see Crotor in action? Okay, I'll try to use him. I'll swap him in uh, Soul Day's gear. And I'll use him in uh, Geared 4. But here... Presuming that you had a couple points left over because they do transfer. We could get two. I'll try one. And then we're going to get two. Worst case, you'll still get a bunch of ancients. So it's not a big deal. Um, the only thing is I just don't like attack speed mains here. If we can help it. Um, hard to say though. Boundary. Oof. No... Recast. So we're gonna look for this right here. Here we go. It's pretty expensive, but come on, open pray. We gotta we gotta pray in the chat, even though we don't have um I need to make channel emojis at some point. I might actually like I might genuinely either ask Rowdy if he'll do it for free or I might commission him <laughs> to to make me channel emotes. Um because Rowdy makes really good stuff. Use your codex points for ancient summons. Yeah, that's all I do. But 
I mean, if you if you hard focus Codex, you'll get all the ancients probably, or at least most of them. Yeah. Hammer rolled into your best chest piece, Hammer, and the other twenty were a waste. Yeah. Pray to Pope? No, we're praying to Jarian. Jarian, Almighty Beast, I come to you with uh praying. <laughs> Please, please give us something good. I don't know how to pray properly, okay? Uh, people in chat could probably pray better than I can. Uh, but anyways, uh, give us something good. <laughs> okay, let's see. If it doesn't roll well, we can get another hammer, so. What? What? This one's actually better, which is bad. Um, So I think we're going to reforge it again, because I do think it is worth it. It, for this piece, it is worth it. So, uh, rip your singular ancient. I mean, you're giving up 30 gems for a chance at debatably your best piece. Or at least, like, your best set, you know? Potential. Well, we will see, we will see. I think it is still worth getting. Is all I'm trying to say. Yeah. Let's let's pray to Praetus. We gotta pray. Praetus best hero in the game. Um I I I, I love I love Praetus. <laughs> I don't know man. I, I just wanna roll something good for you, man. That's it. That's all that's all it needs to be. Oh whoops. Boundary, let's go to recast, let's find this. W peace and now please roll okay. It was worth it. Easy. <laughs> GG, that was so worth it. That was so worth it. That's like an eight that's better than most ancients you would get. <laughs> that's insane. But yeah, so more attack, we got so much more crit damage. We lost a tiny bit of attack speed, but the interval is about the same. Massive W's. The only thing I would say is... I mean, this is like perfect. I don't know how much better you could even get. Only thing is, crit damage could be higher here. Uh, and attack bonus could be higher. But like, it's really freaking good. I'm just going to look if we have a higher crit rate roll. Because you're running a piece with no crit rate. Um, it's going to be about the same for Silas, but it will make a difference here. So, I think. I don't even really know. We're just trying things out at this point. Trying to get it to go well. Yep, I think that works. Uh, boom. That, that was insane. Yeah, I, I'm on the right one, Dory. Could have been Valderon. <laughs> nah, it was worth it. Yeah, the the fat gray man. It it was it was a collective um effort from all of us to to pray for uh better things. Also, you're gonna need to farm the rest of your keys before this ends. The keys do not transfer. Um, I do think the shop transfers over. If we can beat stage five, I would recommend getting the infernal roar one. It is bugged to be the same role for everyone. But the roll is not bad. It's purple on every single one, except crit damage is very slightly below. So I would recommend getting this. Uh, this one's cool and all, but like, you already have decent tank gear. Gear recast, we don't need it anymore, I don't think. This could be fun, though, so. Yep. Uh, but yeah, so let's go. We're going to swap this with Soul Day's gear just to get some use. I mean, a Soul Day doesn't need to be built very well. Just be real. So, what the hell is, what the hell? Why is this missing, man? What's missing? Um. Yuck. 
Yeah, that's fine. We're, we're mostly just in it for the main stat at this point. Uh, no. No. Also, Guardian is always good. That's pretty solid. Your stats are always really good on your defenders. You're just missing Guardian stats for everyone. But, like, does it really matter? Nah. No, it doesn't. Favorite video of all time was Mabuckus review of Poke and Bellagio. Sad to see him gone. Yeah, it is. He was a great content creator. I didn't really watch him too much, but that's purely because uh, he was kind of gone when I started. Like, I started around when he kind of left. So, I am a little upset he's spaghetti to see him gone, but... I mean, it, w it was bound to happen. I've talked to him briefly in the past. And he definitely, um, you could tell he was on the verge of quitting after that Moonton twip trip. It wasn't anything Moonton related, but you, you could just tell that he like, he was sick and then he just kind of like, didn't feel like making more content. I forgot to put Bastion Ring on Crodor unless you did already. So we're hoping that this increased block will come in clutch. Okay, well, it, he, Comet two shots the waves. The thing is, we're uh, we're doing it in a way. Uh, we're doing it in a way where um, we're planning for the end, you know. Also, I didn't need Dolores. Dolores should be going up top. That was a mistake from me. <laughs> Valk is not geared at all in any way. Yeah. You had one extra green orc lady, so it was easier. Yeah. Y you got him early. Lucky bastard. <laughs> you haven't done the fusion? Neither have I. I might not ever get the fusion done. Sad, but true. Um, Here, we're going to look for this gear. Since when did you get a good Infernal Orso? I don't remember you having this. Since when did you get this? Did you have it last time? I don't even remember. Like, that's a really good chest piece. I would prefer this having attack speed, but like, 200 is already perfect. Um, and then for her, what artifact we got? Nah, that's not good. We need to get this in this round there. It's a high level round there, which is perfect. Um, and then we're going to place Dolores up top next time. You replaced one part. Uh, nice. Nice, man. It's a, it's a great piece. Or great set. You get what I mean. Oh, he has Bash Ring already. We're fine. Feel like he was a grandfather of the game. He kept everything in check. Had communication with the devs. Yeah. It, he was always really wholesome and community. He had a good dynamic with the devs. Uh, recently, it doesn't seem like many people are really enjoying the devs. Oh, wait. That was out of order. Whoops. Well, I didn't mean to put Dolores down there either. Whoops. Whoops. You skipped Volka's storyline to do the fusion. I kind of respect it, actually. That's kind of impressive. Um, that's definitely the better thing to do, because Vol a Volca storyline never goes away, right? Just need three more Gogrounds? Yeah, you got this. Uh, Ghost started pretty recently, from what I've heard. He already has a Lord, though. So. I'm, a I'm only a little salty that he started instantly with a Lord. Um, yeah, Comet's not having issues at all. We're gonna wait for the Crimson Moon. We could place it. Um, as long as the bar ends, you could place whatever. Uh, even if the attack animation is not out yet. I forgot to ult with that. Whoops. I think Crodor, you want to build more emphasis on defense. Um, I didn't realize that. Like, I've read his kit before, I just don't remember.
Yeah, you could tell how uh, big of a difference this makes with no Elowin. Um, we might need to bring in Laurel. I don't want to, but we might. Because we're doing fine since it's only stage 3. But the second we get to a harder stage, this becomes near impossible. With no Elowin. Oof. We'll be okay, hopefully. If you're following a guide where Comet goes bottom left. And then Brokir on top of Comet. Zilla 2 behind Brokir. Interesting. I guess it could work. Um. Yeah, it's a struggle. No one's getting any alts. <laughs> I mean, we're relatively chilling, but also, I don't know how we're going to fare in the harder stages. Yeah, Hex is an amazing start for you. Look up on Nation, the free legendary things for Gear 8. Yeah, best of luck, man. Three weeks is insane for that amount of progress. Um, Artemis beside Comet, Hollow on the right platform, Fox beside interesting yeah that works uh but also i like doing it this way so through your guides Ugh. your gear is never good enough you need more no you need better heroes for guild boss you could hit 50k with those with better heroes i was forcing you rip bam 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 garbage yeah that's garbage <laughs> You're never going to use that. Alright. Stage 4 is a go. Um, but instead, I think we need to take out Corridor. I'm sorry, but we need the slot. Um, Corridor's cool. It's just, we need the Lord bonus, and Brokir is a better tank. Just a little disappointing, but that's just how it is. You know how it goes. But you could definitely use it with a lot of other other content. <sighs> yeah, it's... I did not mean to click that. No, 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 no. No, wait, we're doing this. That's what it was. Also, I think Goddess Grace is better for um him. It's a fun fact. I started playing at Global Release and it was the day you had ACL reconstruction surgery and you stayed up for three days straight grinding. That's honestly a good way to spend your time for sure. If you're crippled, if you're crippled and you know it, play Watch It Rumps. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's probably very inappropriate to be saying, but uh, yeah. Bulka, Bomb, and Geary things are your next legendary goals? Uh... Yeah, of course. <sighs> Those are good go- 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 I'm losing my goddamn mind. <laughs> We're gonna wait until now. Boom. As soon as it comes up, I'm gonna click her alt, just because I really need her ult to be up early later. I'm gonna see how far we can go with no vortex. I did not mean to trigger Dolores Salt yet. Whoops. Um. Yeah, now she dies. Huh. Okay. I guess we'll just trigger Laurel early. See what see what happens. Also, generally we'd start with a tank first. Um, but I know she'll live, so it's not a big deal. Oh yeah, you're welcome for the hollow build. I don't remember how I built her, was it? Was it with Invic? 
I do so many takeovers. I don't remember any anything I do in them. <laughs> I just I do what I be doing, and then I go, "Wow, I'm done." <laughs> like <laughs> it's it, it's too much to remember what I what I do. I, I just do my best when I can. Love tearing your ACL. The fat center back side tackling you in the knee. That sounds brutal. And a lot of fun. <laughs> also, Valk is not gonna get the extra range from her ult. Okay, well, this is not going well, is it? Really scuffed run, huh? We don't even need Dolores until stage 6, by the way. I'm just having there preemptively. It's probably not a good idea, but it's the one that I'm going with. As long as she kills these guys. Yeah, that was a terrible idea. But my idea was she was going to kill this wave next, and then we would have won. Because the last wave, we... I don't know. It's a mess. Let's just not use Dolores, and instead use the Rage Regen. Or actually... Nah, we can't do that. Never mind. I just won't use Dolores until later. We should be able to beat five without, but with no Elowin. With no Elowin, the stage is hell on six. Yeah, stage six basically requires Elowin, yeah. It is doable without her, but you need, like, Lya. <laughs> and Lya is more rare. So, I never thought I would ever get Elowin, and I, I pulled her, so... Who knows when you'll get her. And yes, I am flexing that I own Elowin. She doesn't get as much use as I thought she would, but she is still the best healer in the game. Easily, bar none. Alright, enjoy your invig. Boom. And then we will be putting down Vortex. I'm planning on just triggering her ult there, by the way. That's why she's just kind of sitting idly. As you can see, she's getting her ult. I feel like your Vortex, your, your Vortex could have a better build, but it's hard to say. I didn't need to Vortex Alt, but look at her. <laughs> sure. This is fun. Fun to watch. Uh, after she kills these guys, um... Boom. Now on the bottom, we just gotta try to stay alive. You know how it is. Valk really needs a shield. Shielder! Shielder! There we go. Boom. GG. You think you know what your next takeover is? <laughs> if you want a Gary 4 takeover, I could literally do it for you right now. I do not mind. 
Yeah, Valk exclusive is amazing. All your healers are in Invig? Nice. That's that's how they should be. Either all healers are in, in Invig, or like I guess Vortex should be in, could be in something else. Like a Kleptus or Guardian, but like that's specific. Feely needs a promo raid takeover. Nah, I can't. Uh, especially melee raids are by far the hardest, um, the hardest content in the game. You did it without Elowin, but one idiot walked through your broke here and you haven't been able to get there since. Yeah, but that's stage five. I'm confident we can do stage five, but stage six is a hellhole. Uh, just because Valk needs such good gear and, like, alt, alt up time and stuff, uh, and she also needs Dolores. Um, I'm confident in the bottom. Worst case, I would just use Vierna Greed Strats on the bottom, but on the top, I am not confident. If you had Elder, I could do it, <laughs> but uh, no Elder, so therefore it's impossible. Here, let me get my mini eggs again. I, I have, I also have mini, mini eggs. No, they're called Robin eggs. They're by the Whopper, they're like Whoppers as well. Why? I don't know. I guess I'll try them. What the frick is this, man? I mean, I like mini eggs, but these are just mini mini eggs. They're just rebranded mini eggs. I don't know. I'm having trouble opening it, though. Oof. I kind of like Whoppers. I know people don't like Whoppers, especially because they kind of shred your mouth. But I like Whoppers. I very rarely have them though, so that's probably why, because I'm Canadian. I just, I really like weird things. There, you can get these things called, uh, what are they called? They're like yum boxes is what they're called. And basically every month you get a box um, with snacks from across the world. So one month it'll be the Philippines. One month it will be something like Russia. One month it will be like Australia or something. And they'll find uh, all the snacks that are like special or whatever um, that you would only be able to buy there. And then they send it to you in a box every month. And there's different tiers. So it's not that expensive if you get the cheaper ones, but the higher ones have, give you more snacks. I got that for a Christmas present one year, and it was great. Huh. I kind of ate glue a little bit <laughs> from getting the tape off. But I don't know if I feel sick because of that, or if these are just some of the sugariest things I've ever had. Out of your current roster, Valk's the only one who needs better gear? No. It just means you need Dolores. <laughs> but we don't have enough Rage Regen for her. It's possible. I mean, your Rage Regen is higher than mine. <laughs> but never mind. The thing is... She doesn't need the stat rage regen, because the stat of rage regen is garbage. She needs more, like, actual rage. Stage 6 with you restarting the match 5 seconds in, because everyone had to be perfect. Yeah. I mean, I struggled on Aegis' account, which is a guy who hits 80k guild boss. Like... The guy is an A3 Valk, and I was still struggling to kill the top. He is maxed of every single artifact you could ever think of, except the exclusives. And I was struggling. Oh, damn. You gotta be kidding me, man. Well, they are trash.
But I can't do this because then they'll die. Can I even place them fast enough? I mean, it's possible I could just place them earlier. I feel like they had, she attacks later. Because I wasn't able to do this before. Weird. That cringe W gold moment when $30 would be one W gold away from the reskin and you'd have to spend 35 <laughs> Oof. Oof. That, that's a very unique issue <laughs> to have. You still like Whoppers? Whoppers, yeah. Wait one second. Yeah, we have more cost now than before. The last level was much harder in terms of cost. Please kill one. I feel like these guys at the top are nerfed too. The reason why I'm vortex salting is because the bigger her shield is, um, the more damage she does. So I'm a little worried about her not doing enough damage, so therefore I triggered the shield, and now she's dealing criminal amounts of damage. Uh, so that's fine. Luckily, you're a Valkyze too, so she does a lot of damage. Um, but I was just worried, and now we're gonna get a Laurel again, so I'm not at all worried. Um, you just have to play really weird around the cycle. <clears throat> the only thing is, if we can't kill them, um, on stage 6 by doing that strategy, we cannot beat it, is what I'm thinking. Also... She doesn't have a shield at the top. Oof. Bruh. Please kill him. There we go. We're good. GG. You're off to bed, see you next stream. Wow, you're not staying up until 4 a.m. again? That's kind of that's kind of cringe. <laughs> no kidding. Thanks for stopping by, man. Hey, trigger your autism when you bite into them and the wafer texture. <laughs> well, her gear is good enough. It's not a gear issue. It's a no Elowin issue. As you can see, she did great. But... What you gotta understand about stage 6 is it's double the HP. That's not an o that's not an overstatement. You will literally see comets doing the same thing I'm doing here. Doing 90 mil. Because that's what they have to do. Valk has to do double damage. As you could see, we were struggling slightly because we didn't have ults up every single time. It was just a bit- it's a bit brutal. Like, look, 80k, Valk is doing double what we were seeing. Oh, we're here. Like, that's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. 
Like, look. This team doesn't have Elowen. But they have two legendary lords, which we can't emulate. He's doing Vierna Greed, Morrigan for the bottom. And Dolores, I assume, for the bottom too. And then Comet is at the top doing God's work. Um, Or maybe it's vice versa. Maybe it's the opposite. Actually, it might be Comet on the bottom. No, Vierna on the bottom. But I point out, this Comet is doing more than normal because the enemies are healing. He's just doing so much damage, he's killing them through the healing. Because he has 18k attack. Like, brother. And the legendary lord. He's just recalling Laurel, getting the 25% more damage, using his beefed as hell Comet, and winning. This guy's using Ajax, so props to him, but. Ajax is just there to help Valk. Hmm. Yeah. Hey, Michael. What's up? I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. We might need to swap tank gear though, because Brook gear died last time. But we lived because Comet's so goaded. Here's a really good Comet, by the way. Your gear has impressed me by how fast it's improving. Sorry, I'm eating. <laughs> I'm always eating. Oh wait, broke here. We have enough damage. Okay, we're so close. Either... Either you need a better tier of Twilight, which will let you kill them. Or you need slightly better timing. Are we almost finished for tonight? We're... We're getting there. Oh, Michael. That's you. I wouldn't think I would end with you. If you're okay with that. Yeah, I think Comet Banner will be in the next two weeks, is my guess. What they tend to do is they'll have crazy banners followed by 2x events. So I think maybe next week it might be a 1 plus 1 slash 2x event. Um, don't take this as fact, by the way. It's all speculation. But yeah, I think the Comet New Hero Banner will be the week after. Yeah, let, let me, let me try one more time. Hmm. We need more attack. Okay, what we're gonna do, I'll swap it back after maybe. Actually, no, Comet should have more attack in general. Oh, but this, this is gear for arrogance. Never mind. I'll swap it back after, but. For now, let me try like this. Hmm. Eh.
More attack might be better. Yeah, hopefully it'll be easier. You might need to move slight gear around, but... I'm not doing what Fast does, where he spends an extra 5 hours on a single person in order to make the auto reliable. Which, I respect that he does that, but I just don't have the energy. Because that is an insane thing to do. If you had Elowen, I would make it so Dolores isn't in Vortex range, so he's not risking giving her a shield. But she's, she would die. Because we need Elowen Sprite to do that. Um, now at the bottom... Yeah, so if, if, our, if our rage is good, we can clear that. The thing is, no Elowen makes it really hard. Oof, but even then, we're struggling to clear it. We can, but barely. Huh. I guess maybe if she... damage please god damn it <laughs> damn it what is happening this is so stressful okay oh frick i was not paying attention come on <laughs> that's a good thing i swear yeah no because right here we don't have enough and then vortex doesn't have his ult so we can't give her a big enough shield um hmm it's pa it's so close. Yeah. Well, it's 80 bucks and then this the stages are um It's 80 bucks and then 20 for every subsequent stage, I'm pretty sure. But yeah. With me, your autos will work if you put okay gear on. <laughs> I'm not going to put garbage gear on and try it again. Because I don't have the time. Or the energy. What gear should you put Lassir in? Honestly, I'll just put, I would just put him in like a wisdom set or something. Try to get him to do a bit of supporting damage. And you're going to be good. Hmm. If there was even just one more freaking Raid Regen character, we would be fine. Because we're so close.
We need two tanks, actually. I'm realizing. Yeah, no worries. Just, I'll, I'll, I'll look at it when I can. Yeah, Dr. Eden Rage you done, but I mind building him for a damage. He does actually do damage, and it'll help a lot on this stage, specifically. Oops. The good thing though, um, Frank, is your uh, your Dolores is built just to barely live uh, the AoE that the boss does. So I don't actually really need to be rebuild very much. I don't even know if I re I built them myself, but you know. <laughs> oh, greed is not geared. Um. Carnelian's ancient exclusive, that's why they're rare. All the ancient exclusives are the same rarity. Carnelian is amazing though. Easily one of the best chaotic and the most underappreciated. The thing is, I need him to do damage. Because I don't know if Yerna can do this without Morgan. Even with Morgan, he, she would struggle. Hmm. Why is the timing so tight? <laughs> it's just such a small thing. Oh, Viren is not in a tier of Twilight. Yeah, debuffs and m mainly the slow. When he's A5, every ult he does is a slow. And it's a big slow too, so. He's there for some damage, a slow, and making it so that you don't need a tank. I would like more attack speed though. I need to swap uh, comic gear onto Virena. Yeah. Tax speed's a bit high for a Virena, but like, who cares? We're just seeing if this is even vaguely possible to test, or if we should just stick with the comment. I think we should stick with the comment. But this way, we can actually have, um... Floral up top. Generally, you pair this bottom start with, a uh, Dolores, so... I do not think it will work. That doesn't work. Um, I 
Yeah, I don't think Vierna's gonna cut it, because mine does a lot more than this and barely made it. Oh, damn. Yeah, nah, this is not gonna work. <laughs> yeah, no, this is not gonna work, I don't think. No, not at all. Yeah, comments, comments a lot better. A lot, a lot better. You're thinking about using a soul stone for Valeria? Where the hell are you going to use Valeria that you need a, her A5? It's not good enough just to, ju to justify. Yeah, you need some very good gear for this. Yeah, 75% slow is absurd. My foot fell asleep, oh no. <laughs> Wow, that feels so strange. I hate when your limbs fall asleep. Always terrible. Good thing about Artemis being here is he'll heal Brooke here. Oh wait. <laughs> I I realized. That we're not doing that strategy again. Will a soul day live? Probably not. Okay, we clear the bottom just fine.
so close. The bottom we would have killed. That's literally the last batch we had to kill, I think. Oh, well, there's one more after, but... Yeah, that was, like, the last batch. This is... It feels doable. I just think I need to Valk ult earlier. So she gets that ult earlier. And she also always needs to be basic attacking. So, actually, what I'm gonna do, Frank real quick is I am going to increase your attack speed by a lot if I can that's a little rough over here but the thing is if we increase the attack speed and don't sacrifice that many stats then we're good right can we manage this Uh, the crit rate rolls are not very high over here. Yikes, that's not good. This might make us win, honestly, A3. Yeah, that's useless. Um, that might help. Try it. Hey, what's up, Arku? We're just struggling real, real quick over here. I think is, <laughs> we were. I was only asked to beat like three, <laughs> but now we're on six. So it's a bit rough. This is what happened last day over too. <laughs> This is what always happens. I'm always just like on a harder stage than I need to be. Because I mean, realistically, stage six is not that big of an increase. Not even that important, but. I'm sure it's all gonna get it done. Even if it kills me. He's right there. That basic, those basic attacks are insanely clutch, and honestly, kind of essential. I'm hoping these guys live a little bit longer. Otherwise, we will lose. Good thing is, Isolde gets one more block or we would have lost there. 
up here we gotta get that boom boom and then okay Dolores is kind of lacking and all though <laughs> yeah no it's not possible <laughs> it's very close though Yeah, upgrade to Tier of Twilight, and it's not about the gear, it's just per it's just purely that we don't have enough rage. If we had one more, uh, if we could place one more unit down, we would win. Um, just to put it simply, we basically win, but it's not enough, apparently. Which is a little unfortunate, but also, it's fine. Here, let me let me swap this stuff back. You know who to swap it back to, but yeah, just for reference. And then this was something else, I think. Yeah, this was over here. All right, everything should be somewhat in order. Uh, and you should be able to auto five. I don't think I should hard commit for trying to, to do six. Um, yeah. I tried. I. It's purely just a rage issue here. I'm not going to buy that. You could do that. Um, I'm going to do your spins though, because screw you. Gambling is my specialty. Whoa, let's get some mythic extract shards, sh shall we? <laughs> what the f- why, the why does that exist? These are such bad, bad rewards, man. Gems or ancient shards are all that really matters, and they don't even give you very many. Wow, you actually are getting really good luck here with the ancient shards. But, uh, make sure to do your treasures of the deep, by the way. You gotta farm them to get these. These things, man. You gotta, you gotta do challenge mode, man. Go through challenge, beat challenge mode, man. Just watch my guide and it should help. Um, but yeah, so. <laughs> you were saving them for me, of course you were. Uh, Michael, you wanna go next? Here, I'm gonna go get it some water. I am a, I am very thirsty. Um, and then Michael, if you wanna, uh, DM me your login information, that would be great. Uh, and then I can go in and get that done. And then that should be the end of takeovers today. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, if you do them all starting by now, and you get to the final stage. Uh, you will be able to get the chat bubble if you don't buy anything but the chat bubble with the special ones. Um, so you you just you gotta go for that um, if you can. Or I'm not even sure if you can buy it, but it, it, you'll get close. All right. Michael, just uh, DM me the login stuff so I can log in, and I will be right back in a minute.
All right, I'm back. Uh, let me log on. You didn't manage to get three done. Well, if you need a takeover, you know who, you know who to ask. Yeah. <laughs> um. Here, let me get the VK going. Blah blah. I like the um. I like the password. I'm not gonna say any hint to what it is, but I like it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Does it work? Does it work? Does it work? It's the question. VK is the most reliable method. Like, just straight up, VK is by far, in every single way, the best login method for this. It It's only ever failed me, like, once. <laughs> the other methods do all the time. Uh, the new void mount, I got two levels skipped. So I skipped the Baron boss, and I skipped the, um, the second fight. So I saved me five minutes. But it seems completely RNG. Jackson, uh, he's not here anymore, but he said he didn't get a single proc. They need to make it, like, minimum, you'll get one per phase or something. <laughs> you definitely didn't make the account for it. Well, I... If you did, hypothetically, I, I would appreciate that. <laughs> but yeah, so here we are. Materials. <laughs> Brother, nah. <laughs> nah, I already see two lords, so I'm kind of impressed. Uh, I just have to clear this because it pisses me off. That one specific... That one specific dot is far worse than the others. Um, just looking, so you want, what did you want again? Um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, so you wanted guild boss and gear cleanse, I'm pretty sure. Is what you wanted, right? It, if I'm not wrong. Uh, you just bought some summons, now you have 110, you're saving until you get to 300. Yeah, save for sure. Also, it bothers me that this is not max guild. I would, I would max guild this. Silas is so worth it. And the, this is, a, this is a pretty important. I don't know. I, I would. It bothers me. He's not max. Max skill your Silas. Max skill your Zilla too. Max skill your Hex. Max skill your background. Uh, Boria should have a max guild too, but it's not as important. Okay, good. She's her ult is max skilled. I'm I'm not gonna scream anymore. Uh, lust. She's kind of skilled as much as you need. This is good, but like, whatever. Like I I would recommend you max skill this, but there's no way your Nocturne's max skilled, but your Stylus is a brother. Why are you doing this to me? Hey, you got the number recently though. That's hype. I mean, if you want to hop on voice chat, I've never done that for a takeover. It's up to you. <laughs> like, it, it's up to you. I'm down if you want. Just don't say any slurs and we're good. <laughs> yeah, I can pull your 300 for sure whenever you want it done. You got your arrogance? Hi, nice. Oh, you got to max on the first Pantheon bonus? I'm almost at max. <laughs> You're a cheap beach? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Reserving monies, that's good. You just got the heroes of the week this weekend? Really? You got an A1 Silas and Zilla 2 this weekend and Hex this weekend? Damn. Still, I will scream at you if they're not. Also, how is your lust A4? Did you soul stone her? Cause you need to get her her A5. Her A5 is so much better than the rest of her awakening. Yeah, your account is stacked. I think we can get close to 50k. <laughs> you haven't paid yet, man. You're paying later. <laughs> uh, the others, the others. Okay. But yeah, um, 
so we're gonna try for guild boss worst case i think we'll get you close like we're definitely gonna get a lot more than this i would say my only issue though is uh zulu 2 is not max guild her ultimate skill up is very important can i just skill her up here and hope for the ultimate or because 40 percent damage and i mean initial rage doesn't matter much but which is insanely useful and i think it would be great to have that but yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna do this now. Let me just claim your your uh, W gold shop. <laughs> this is only PC, so. Uh, also, did you redeem your code yet? I I do this for everyone. I gotta, or if I remember. I'm kind of all over the place today. Okay, you got it already. Good. Um. Let's see. Okay. I mean, damn. Oh, I thought I thought you had 40%. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> 40k? But nah. So I think we're going to do pretty well here. This is a pretty good comp, honestly. I don't have any issues with this. Um, If you had Arrogance, I would make a Nightmare comp. But Arrogance is so important for Nightmare comps that I do think... Just put that in the back of your mind. If you get A5 Lust, it's so worth it. If you have Arrogance too. And if you ever pull Deimos, that would help a ton. Because you could run Wrath, Valeria, Lust, Arrogance. Or you could run Wrath, and then Wrath, Volca, Lust, Arrogance, or something like that. But I do think this is probably good. Let me double, just double check. Alright, just, just call me then. I'll try to... I'll, uh, I'll do this. I've never done this before, so I will be incredibly awkward and tired. You're testing with Valeria Lust Lyo with this comp? Interesting. Yeah. I think that, will, that could be cool. I do think it would be better to do either this. I do think this would be better. Hard to say. Whatever, we'll figure it out. Um, alright. I'm a little nervous, but we'll, we'll be fine. <laughs> I, I don't know if the stream can hear you, so give me a second. Okay. Alright, yeah, it, it should work. It's it's so distorted on Discord. It's gonna be so funny. Uh, can I can I skill your Zilla two up a little bit to try to get this all? Yeah, yeah. All the crystals are going to her till she's max. Like I didn't have enough crystals to max yeah. them, so. I would give you one of my 20 plus, but. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I saw that picture. You had like 21 and like quite a couple thousand dust as well. Yeah, like I'm at like 2.3k dust and 21. And I haven't even maxed out Corridor yet. So I just, I don't have anyone to use them on. <laughs> All my heroes are maxed or I don't use them. So. Yeah, bad, bad roll. Sorry, I'm not very talkative right now. I don't, I don't mean to be like awkward, but um, yeah. No, that's good. I just, I just don't like typing. Oh, I, I get that. Uh, I'll send people voice messages at night when I'm just too tired to yeah. type because it's just it, it, typing is kind of draining sometimes. If we're being completely honest. Um, yeah. But I do think it's I, like it's easier to answer your questions. Yeah, I, I agree with that. So, um, this is the first time I. I think it's the first time I've had anyone else on call on stream, period, let alone on a takeover. What's that? Um, yeah, uh, so I, I pulled a Racha this weekend, uh, Hex, Zilla 2, um, Raza Copy, uh, Valk this weekend, obviously Reeve. What about Valk 2? Yeah, Bo Boreas this weekend. Oh, um, <laughs> You're so yeah, it was, it was insane. So it was insane summoning. Yeah, it was insane. I'm a, I, I'm kind of mad at you now because I want that one. <laughs> like you could probably. I'm not, I'm not gonna. I, I'm not. I'm not gonna tell you how many ancients I, I I used to get two lords. Oh, which ones did you get? You got Cyrus and you got Laya. No, I got Venoma. Oh, I forgot Venoma. I got Venoma and oh, Venoma. Uh, Aracha. I oh, got yeah, them she, both. She's over here. I got them. 
I got I got them both within sixty inches. That's lucky. I uh, I'm not so mad about the ancients though, because I've pulled like six legendaries in a hundred ancients, if not less. Three of them are lore. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah. Um how how many normal summons are who's asking? Uh I think like I think I just hit four thousand this weekend. Um but total, but total for the weekend, I think I wrote it down. Four thousand two hundred. Um, Four thousand two hundred. So nine hundred summons. And you still have more. <laughs> That's ridiculous. But like, there is no reason to pull anymore, right? No. I mean, I'm saving for the comet. Yeah, I really wanted comet this uh, because I couldn't get stage six done because mm-hmm. I just don't. I don't think I have the gear yet. Really. No. <laughs> I just. I don't mean to be rude, but there's absolutely no way you have the. Gear. It's like the hardest stage in the game. Yeah. Like Frank barely had the gear and that was like barely. Yeah. Like it was close. Like you need like double the crit damage to get that going. That's more attack speed. I mean I'll I'll try to see what I can work out here, but I, I do think your gear is good. Like initial impressions, your gear is really good. Really really for the guild boss stuff, I just want like the right comp set. And then I can just like tink and like you build them kind of thing, and then I can tinker it whenever I get upgrades. Is really what I'm looking for. Like I don't, yeah. you know, I don't. I'm happy with with my autos right now because I just do two runs anyway. Like you know, what's an extra couple thousand going to mean when I'm already hitting forty mm-hmm. on auto? You know. Yeah. So this is more for like direction to get to fifty k. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I don't yeah. think we'll hit fifty k, but I do think we'll be close. I think if everyone is max skilled, you would potentially. It would not be an auto. But I think with like Grandesis, yeah. you could, um, with good timing. Um, but I do think you're missing like a little bit gear wise to get fifty k. Fifty k is really hard. Gear. I don't have fifty k consistently. <laughs> yeah, the gear is what's lacking on my account. Artifacts, no, because I have pretty much promo five on the the best the best stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you already have like two max spirits. So you could get two max spirits siphons. I would save us yeah. this one for like Cetro, unless you have his exclusive. Uh, uh, I do. I do not. Yeah, his exclusive isn't that good for Guild Boss, honestly. His exclusive makes it so that you can't put him in Laurel range, or he's ass because <laughs> he's like immobile ninety <laughs> percent of the time. Because uh, it just increases his immobileness, so it's like he's either alting or he's not doing anything. Um, so honestly, it's probably good you don't have it. Something, something I'm kind of testing with because, like, I saw the Gear Lab that they posted on their Discord about Hex using a, a Bloodbound Signet instead of Spirit Siphon if you don't have the exclusive. And it actually, according to their test, that it did better than Spirit Siphon in a Guild Boss scenario. I don't so been... know if that's true, but I could. Yeah, I, I, like, like I said, I've been testing it. Like, I haven't really. Uh, found it to be any much of a difference i mean your gear is pretty good this is like not bad at all i'll see if i could improve it but i mean the main thing is this looks like curry bangle yep uh, it's not ideal but i yeah. do definitely notice that we don't have that much in the terms of bangles in terms of angle uh, but yeah that's definitely a really good place to improve i would say yeah just... um <laughs> the, the wisdom and the Soulbound. I don't have too many good bangles. This was a good main stat that would be solid. Uh, but yeah, th- I mean, this is good for a, a for a crit rate main stat. This is good. I'm sure you could find like a no crit rate left side piece though. But I'll, I'll go over in a second. I'm gonna go in order of the most important. I would say Zillatu's not gonna do the most damage because she's not max skilled. But I'll try to yeah, get her to that's... be like top two. Yeah, right now my Salus is doing like one fifteen. Yeah, that's not, that's around how much mine does. Uh, I'm not gonna strip his gear at all. I think I think this looks really solid, like high attack speed, yeah. high crit damage. You know, may, maybe technically if we need like the weapon, like because we need the attack speed for someone else, I could just have no attack speed on it because it's already so high and he's a one. But if I can help it, I'll keep it exactly the same. Because I, I don't think this is that improvable. Um, apart from maybe... I mean, 
this is not improvable. I kind of <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Silas is <laughs> yeah. I, a man after my own <laughs> my own heart, having the best gear on Silas. I respect. What was it. funny though? What was funny though is that that perfect piece that they gave us in the Gear Ray Four shop wasn't even an upgrade for this build. Oh yeah, because uh, Silas is far better with um, crit damage. Fun fact: uh, I don't know if you caught it when I mentioned it earlier. Um, this is actually fixed, so the rolls are the same for everyone who buys it. Yeah, I've noticed when I because like I'm I'm pretty active on Discord because uh, mm-hmm. I like to like I'm a big information type of guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, I did see a bunch of posts about that being the same rolls. Well, you'll get that later this week, probably. I'm noticing. If you grind arena, maybe you can get another skull as well. Sorry, I, I got sidetracked. But yeah, um, I haven't been on the Discord in forever. I send like a message a day, <laughs> like one message a day. I'm ninth in there still, number nine <laughs> for total messages. <laughs> And I haven't said anything in, like, this month. It's been so bad. Uh, sorry, I keep getting sidetracked. I gotta I gotta actually do the takeover. Hey, kid. Um, okay. Because the only, uh, so before this comp, before I, before this weekend, I was running, uh, like, Wrath, Lust, uh, Valeria. Um, who else was different? I can't remember. I have to look at the it, it stream was a when it catches comp, up. Basically. Yeah, it was a nightmare comp because I didn't have Arasha and or whatever. But before you didn't have Araka before. I, you got Araka too this weekend. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, dude. Like this weekend was the best summoning weekend I've ever had. It was it, it was insane. Um, I'm, a, I'm a little <laughs> salty, but you know, this is fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Honestly, I might go with the attack speed here. Hard to say. Uh, I'm gonna build the rest of it and then see where to go from there. Like you've done a really good job. There's not much more I could do with this thing. I would say Setrum's less important. So I could put that on. Um, sorry, I keep I <laughs> see I keep going off topic. I'm like delusional. No, no, pay, no, no. I'm just here to answer questions, really. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm Canadian, so I have to apologize for everything. It's okay, I'm American. I can just tell you to move along. Wait. In a polite way. In a polite way. Okay, yeah. Silas is... We're taking off his weapon. <laughs> That's not happening. This <laughs> this is one of the best weapons I've ever seen, by the way. Uh, that is absurd. He doesn't need more attack speed, right? Because his attack speed is so high. Now we get, we get like, we got more attack, so much more crit damage. So he's, we're losing a little bit of attack speed, maybe a tiny bit of crit rate. But in exchange, he's going to hit like a truck now. But it's a good, that's a really good weapon, man. I'm jealous. I don't have a piece like that. Okay, I see what you're saying. The stream just catched up. Okay. Oh, I, I should probably screen share on Discord, actually. So it's not. No, no, this, this is fine. It's like, no, it's like five seconds behind. Okay, okay. Yeah, because I, I can't screen share without uh, making it windowed. <laughs> For some <laughs> reason. I don't know why. Discord just doesn't screen share it. Certain games, it just can't handle. Um, So here we're going to look for this, ideally. Yeah, let's just put this on. This is a really good piece, even if. The other one's better, and now I mean, I kind of want to use it. Huh. That crit damage roll must have crushed you. I'm looking at a piece that has 4% crit damage roll, so the rest <laughs> is amazing. That's That just hurts to look at. <laughs> I feel bad. Um, We we will probably have to build a warlord set. If we can somehow get the attack speed up to par, that is by far the best best piece. What I'm thinking, um, I don't know. Let's see where we're at, and then I'll. My 
my method for making uh gearing is very awkward so uh it takes me a, a little bit to get it together so if we do attack speed and then i find and then i don't need to find an attack speed weapon then we could just find the best thing here that's really good um let's look for warlord and then um This is really solid for an attack speed main. Um, 16k. <sighs> crit damage is way too low. Uh, but if we look over here, we could put the crit damage on, and then we have no attack speed. So maybe if I put this on, it might work. But... I really don't have a second good Infernal Roar set. And I don't even have a good one uh, Soulbound yet. But you're close is the thing like this is not a bad yeah, it, yeah um but yeah definitely a better infernal roar for Zilla 2 uh i'm if your Zilla 2 is max skilled i honestly might just swap her gear with silas because she's that good <laughs> maybe you had a twin <laughs> day one I, I would do that uh but for now we're just gonna put this on i do think we need the attack speed so although the crit damage kind of falls off a cliff uh, you could just kind of fix that after the fact, I think. I'm not too worried. <clears throat> but, um, I mean, I would farm a bit more. Gear Raid 1 and Gear Raid 3, I think, are the main things, obviously, as they generally are. But, like, your your gear is good. It's just you need a little bit more. And then you'll have yeah. 50k for sure. That's not bad. I mean, yeah, I feel like the the biggest thing holding me back is the skill ups for sure. If this rolled just a little better, bit. This would be godlike. It's already really good. But... Ooh, max wailing skull. That's hype. Okay, you're you're like the first person I've taken over for that has a max wailing on Azilla too. <laughs> <laughs> that got me more excited than uh. <laughs> Yes, I was, so I want to say maybe a month ago, I was really struggling on trying to finish uh, 121, and I asked Fasty, and he tried it, and he says that he just had a little bit better artifacts. I think I did, like, a little over 1,500 runs, and then he he was able to do it. Yeah. And so, I, ever since then, I've been, like, just farming the hell out of artifact majority. Yeah, I can, I can tell. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's crazy that Fast wasn't able to do it. He's like, he always says he's never failed a takeover. But ma maybe he just, so like, did, it we, wasn't like a full actual takeover. It was just like seeing if he could do it. We did we did it within like a day and a half. So because he was saying if I could get that done, he could get it done. So I was like, okay, I'll just spin my diamonds and see what I can get. Makes sense. Uh, I'm going to try... This is really good, <laughs> but I, I do think I'm going to look for Annihilating my. I, I keep forgetting you can't see what I'm looking at immediately, but uh, hopefully you <laughs> you know from context. Uh, yeah, I'll just rewatch <coughs> the stream whenever I'm re or rebuilding if I need to. Yeah, hopefully that'll help. Um, I, I do wish you had a slightly better second annihilating my chest plate because i don't know oh wait we don't need crit rate what am i doing you have one with no crit rate i mean that might actually be better no crit rate it's hard to say um I, i'm just trying to piece it together do you okay i do think we are going with warlord on this one actually um but I gave Hex the best warlord pieces because of the crit rate uh bangle. Yeah. Because uh, the ch the chest plate doesn't have crit rate on crit rate, it. Yeah. I saw. But it's like perfect aside from that cuz you know yeah. attack flat. Attack bonus could be higher cuz it's only 15%. Um but like 6% attack is not going to make a big deal when you have the attack flat. Uh it kind of makes up for it. Um it's just we have so much attack speed and we don't even need a weapon with crit rate. But 
You just don't have a weapon with no crit rate, so I think we will just actually keep it the same. Thinking. So yeah, that was a <laughs> that was pointless for me to try to change. I was just curious; it would be better. Um, so I will see if we have. I'm gonna look into your soul fund. <laughs> Um, Trust me, there's nothing there. I, you don't waste your time. <laughs> okay, yeah. I mean, I, uh, no. <laughs> no. There's there's nothing there, bro. I'm telling you, there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I can't I can't get if I can't get any pieces in Soul Down. Well, this is a good piece. Reason. This this you're gonna keep for a while. Obviously, crit damage is not very high. But like this is you're not gonna find an ancient that rolls much better than this. Like this is like an ancient level piece. Um, really, the only thing is the, I think the bangle. This is not bad. Sure, you're missing some attack, but like who cares? Mm. So I it it's just the bangle. Do you have a wisdom bangle that you could ascend? Because no, I do. I do. The 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 next best wisdom bangle that I have is also a crit rate <laughs> ancient piece. No. I think it's on Pyrus right now. <laughs> I think I put Pyrus in the best wisdom. That's that's unfortunate. Isn't isn't that fucking hilarious? <laughs> that's unfortunate. <laughs> it's so funny. The, ga so the funny. game shafted you. They were like, like the thing is, you don't even have that many. I mean, you do have a, a couple actually, but like most of your your ancients for bangles are not. Right, right, but the only ones that matter are <laughs> like this one. <laughs> I don't know, it's so sad, <laughs> but it happens to everyone, is the thing. Um, I keep going in like a loop. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, what do I do? <laughs> Cause you you geared them so well already. Like I I made your Silas better, but I don't see myself making much else better. Okay, I guess we're going back to this. Yeah, still do could use work, but I think it's fine for now. Hex we already covered that I can't do much for. Um, and then Cetrum, Cetrum honestly, actually. Maybe Zilla too would use crit rate, crit damage bangle better, but the crit damage bangle she has is better for subs. Um, but Setrum, I might actually recommend you don't use an Infernal Roar set. Um, just because I think, although it's not bad, I don't see it being better than like a an AW or something. Which you're actually, I don't know if you can make an AW. Uh, Ageless Wrath. Uh, Wrath or a. Maul has my best uh, AW set. It's not it's not very good at all. The subs are really bad. Unfortunately, I have three really good bangles for Ageless Wrath, but the rest, Amway and the Ring, aren't too good. Yeah. I mean, I have them. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, maybe Infernal War is best. I, I might try... I might try a Fracture set. And then if it's not better, I'll swap back to what you had. It uh, look, look at my hot, look at my hot suit. Yeah, yeah. She has the best fracture set. Your suit is pretty hot indeed. This is so bad. <laughs> um, <but> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Attack is not bad. I would like more crit damage. Um, usually, usually what I do, or before this weekend, I would use hexes or a. Uh, Hot suits gear for Cetrum. Like I would make that switch when I did go boss. Mm. Is usually what I would do. Yeah, I I would say that was probably the best thing to do for sure. I'm so sad this rolled bad. This would have been so good. Crit damage. Like sorry, it, it's the warlord piece I'm referencing again, where it's four percent. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know the piece you're talking about. Trust me. <laughs> Uh, but honestly, I might put Pyros's thing. It's just the twenty five percent or thirty five percent, respectively, of the Calamity slash Warlord or the Annihilating Might sets are so hard to pass up. 
Um, <laughs> even though your whirlwind pieces are good, it just it just hurts to see whirlwind. I just don't like whirlwind. It's just not good. It sure. definitely falls off in the late game. It for sure falls off in the late it game. It falls off so hard because you're you're just straight up losing twenty five percent attack or thirty five percent crit damage. And even now that there's a better set for left side gear, which is forty percent crit damage and ten percent attack, it's like yikes. You know, it's just such a big difference. But I do think this is probably the best we're gonna get. Um unless maybe we can find more attack speed, but like I kinda doubt it. Nope. Alright, I do think this is probably the best, although I will double check your um fracture. This is an amazing roll crit damage. Whenever I see high crit damage rolls and everything else lower, I always go, wow, that's lucky. <laughs> um, yeah, typically, my crit damage rolls low and the flat attack always rolls the highest on the piece. That's typically what is on my account. Well, not the one I'm looking at right now, because <laughs> that is... <laughs> I might swap it, even though crit damage is better for guild boss. I do think this is so much better. <laughs> Like, roll-wise. Not so much better, but just that flat attack and the insane crit damage roll. Sure, we lose some crit rate, but Setrum actually doesn't need crit rate. I might just straight up lower his crit, crit rate. I know this is your hat secure, yeah, but... That's true. Um, for guild boss specifically, I would be fine with cutting it down another 15% or whatever. Um, but maybe left side stuff I could swap off. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me see what we can find on the left side with no crit rate. Bonus. Um, let's see. I might level the. <laughs> we're we're gonna see how well these two pieces that you have roll. That is bad. Okay, I'm not I'm not rolling that. It, it didn't roll well. Just <laughs> okay, stream, okay. stream delay. And then the next one rolled insane on HP bonus and not on attack bonus. Um, It might still be worth using, though. Oh, but Pyros is... Pyros is really good gear, huh? I guess I'll try the Annihilating Might and then we'll look for Annihilating Might on the other piece. Okay, so I can lower your crit damage a little bit, give a lot more attack, or, let's see, we can get about 15k, and then, so we're gaining about 15% crit damage by this way, but losing some crit rate. I mean, I think I'll just go back to the whirlwind, honestly. Uh, it's not enough of a. Maybe that would be better, actually. Is it? No, it's not at all. Never mind. I saw a gold roll and I was like, maybe that's better. But nah. It's not. Um, I'll just swap back to what you had before. I do think that is probably the best thing to do. So, although the crit rate's a little high for Cetrum, um,. Actually, wait, 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 wait. So fifteen k. So, okay, let me let me think about this. I could lower your crit damage by about ten percent, but give you about two point five k more attack, or I can raise your attack by about four hundred, and then raise your crit damage by about fifteen percent. I do think that is better, actually. So we are going annihilating might. I I changed my mind again. <laughs> I'm just flip flopping constantly. Um, we're trying to, we're trying to, we're trying to maximize what we can, and then, um, so, you know how you have a bunch of, you have a spare, uh, spirit siphon. I would personally say that's better than Angel's gaze, or even I think I'll put a max blood bond signet is probably better than a base spirit siphon, and then Hatsit should already just have Angel's gaze anyways. So let me just put that on her. Uh, is that really her best in slot? 
Uh, it's either that or her exclusive, but her exclusive needs to be level generally. It's just hats. It the reason why her A two is actually a good A two, because generally heroes have terrible A twos because it's a flat uh, bonus. The reason why her A two is so good is because her her attack, although it seems okay at four thousand, her attack is nowhere near high enough for most of what she does. Um, so you well, it's four thousand with the A two. Sorry. Um, but yeah, so she she um struggles to deal significant damage without either Idril's gaze or like enough attack. So. Um, the reason why people build her really high attack, with like Ageless Wrath or something in Guild v Guild, for example, um, is because she just she needs that attack. And Idril's Gaze just helps n not need insane attack, if that makes any sense. I don't know what I'm saying, but <laughs> I, I use Idril's Gaze on her or her exclusive, generally. Your chat wants you to say hi. Yeah, sorry, chat. It's only Blitz talking in chat. <laughs> He's very <laughs> jealous of your artifacts, by the way. Um, so am I. I don't have a max failing skull. We'll put 30,000 stamina in AMR and you'll have what I have. I No. <laughs> no, that's so much stamina. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's worth it, man. I like it. It really changed the account. I didn't think artifacts made that much of a difference, like promo levels. But I mean, it went from you know having all twenty ones complete, you know, gear and artifacts speak for itself. Yeah, artifacts are very often neglected, and <laughs> you're an example of what happens when they're <laughs> when they're not neglected. It actually ends up being <laughs> good. I mean, I think you're pop. Can I even make your pyros better? <laughs> I don't know. It's I, I don't think I can. Honestly. If we're trying to get wisdom on him. Do you what comp would you think would be best suited without friend assist? Without friend assist? Yeah, because I'm I don't really, I don't really care about doing friend assist. Like I have a few people that have Laya, you know, but I don't really care about diving into my friends list to find them yeah you have to like remove half your friends list to do friends yeah yeah I, I did remove a bunch of people i'm not gonna lie <laughs> yeah i i felt so bad removing like 80 people <laughs> the, the one time i did and i've been friends with someone named, with lyle he's a mod in the discord server he has an a3 lyle i've been friends with him for like four months i haven't seen his lyle once <laughs> it's in the bottom I can't find it. Also, hey, Skywar, welcome to the stream. <laughs> um, yeah, so what I'm thinking is Laia is probably better here. Because Laia, I will cycle, I'll cycle Laurel, and then I'll cycle Araka. Um, and then Invig, Invig, Invig. So that's three Invig. Laia's an Invig, that's four. That's enough for the DPS. And if Hollow, I can get an Invig too. That's Invig for, yeah, you have her in Invig. I'll double check all those builds later, but I mean your gear is really good. Like it's 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 what I mean is you did an amazing job at putting the gear together. I do not think Thank there's you. much more I could do. You know, the only thing that I'm seeing is 25k is nowhere near enough for your gear and your comp. So I think maybe it's a timing thing because you just got Zilla too. Um, yeah. So I, I agree. I could either try to maximize how much blood I can get, but the auto might mess up, or I'd, I could try to focus on the auto, or I could do both, I guess. I'm fine to do both. Well, well like I said before, I, I didn't think currently I was even even remotely have a shot at 50. It's really, I'm just like making sure that I'm building my guild boss team correctly, because that is literally the last thing I have left to do besides state six of a uh, gear rate four. Yeah, There's nothing yeah. else for me to really go for right now. True. That and like Infernal Codex is the only really end game stuff. They need to add oh, more content true. for this yeah. game, for this game. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, content's coming out pretty frequently. I just wish it was more often. Um. Obviously, you could put the Max Tier of Twilight on Pyros just for Guild Boss. I'm not going to because it's like four percent attack and then a little bit of base stats. It's like four percent plus two hundred attack or something. It's not the biggest deal. So I just don't think it's worth swapping right now. But like. Wait, depending, like, obviously, I swapped your Setrum gear just because your third Infernal Orb was not really it. 
Um, and I'm curious how much better it'll do. I do think it will do better, probably. But you were already doing this. Like, I I can't really optimize it as much as I as I generally do because yeah. you already you have such a good grasp on the game already. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's what I would say. Your wisdom rings, shockingly, are your best wisdom pieces. <laughs> Which is like, it's shocking because all of my rings for every single set I've, I ever have are all garbage. <laughs> it's like, wait, why are your rings decent and my rings are ass? Um, I wish I could use this, but I just think you need the attack speed. Um, by this I mean the uh the four substat bonus wisdom piece it's it didn't roll amazing but i just i i freak out over four subset stuff because i only have like four four subset pieces on my account uh i need to farm more gear um but so i got the dps it's basically the same i i, I tried but i only made silas better and then i made hopefully Cetrim better but it's hard to say hollow I was looking okay, but I would actually like to swap it up a bit. Um, just because I feel like more attack speed, less attack, and more rage regen would be better. Um, but you got the rage she regen sh- in big ring. She should have. She should have a hundred percent rage regen with Pathion. So it, I don't think she really needs any more. That's the that's the soft cap is a hundred percent. True, but it's still it's still is surprisingly beneficial. I I feel crippled when I don't have a hundred and sixty percent rage regen on my hollow because although that sixty percent is lower, I just it maybe it's a Mandela effect and it doesn't actually do a jack, but I just feel like <laughs> it does actually do something. I don't know. It's hard to say, but yeah, I didn't even think of the Pantheon because. It, it, with him, with Pantheon, my hollow is two hundred percent rage regen. <laughs> I would still like to hopefully get more attack speed though, um, because although it's only like one attack interval, I do think it might actually make a difference. Um, hard to say though. If I can't make it better, I won't. Um, because it's already looking solid as hell. Hmm. <laughs> Is it worth this? No, it's not. I would rather have a little rage regen. Um, on the left, can we get some maybe whirlwind action? The thing is, you don't really need calamity for hollow, nor do you really need healing effect for guild boss. Obviously, for harder content, you do want calamity, like Curate Four, for example. Um, but I would honestly rather just build a whirlwind on her. Attack speed, and then I guess attack bonus. Um, let's see what we can get. Rip Iona gear. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Iona's. Yeah, I I knew you're going with Iona's because she has rage regen on her chest plate. Yeah, it's by far the best. Your attack speed is a little too high, but like, it's not a bad <laughs> issue to have. We barely lost any attacks. So that it feels worth it. We lost a bit of healing effect along the way, but. We want her to heal less, ideally. Although we're using Lyo too, and like, she heals crazy in her all anyways. But yeah. Uh, someone asked you a question in chat. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you're like you're watching the chat from for me. Yeah. <laughs> Blitz is is googling your account. Blitz has better better gear, but he he he's like a degenerate when it comes to gear. Most of your ancients is attack speed. That's yeah, that's un- that's unlucky. Uh, but at least you're not like me with a bunch of glacier pieces. <laughs> that's just my entire account is just glacier pieces. Um, look at my glacier pieces. Look at my amulets for glacier. It's um, exactly the same attack speed. <laughs> <laughs> I feel for you, man. Yeah, another glacier there. Two glaciers here. I still have more glaciers than you, though. <laughs> It's shocking. I'm only. I'm not even hundred days in yet. 
Do you spend? I assume you spend if you're asking for a takeover. I, I haven't met a single person who doesn't spend who's asking for a takeover. I do have disposable income. Hey, that's a W, if you ask me. <laughs> uh, is this <laughs> Friday one plus one? I don't know. I think it's in the next two weeks, probably, but I cannot say anything. Last time it showed a one plus one, I talked about it, and then it didn't happen. So anything could happen. The devs have become sneaky, is what I've realized. They're like, they're like kind of hiding things <laughs> better. That's why there's been less leaks. Just a fun fact. Well, it's not fun for me, but. Just rip, rip my views, man. <laughs> I get more, I get more views from leak videos than most. Although I, I, I don't want to be known for them purely, but uh, it's it is what I'm known for. Yeah, I was about to say I do find it funny. That, like that's like kind of like the the niche of your channel is that everyone comes to you for leaks. <laughs> yeah, it's just like brutal. Also, why couldn't the HP in attack mode be flipped? Uh, sorry, on this piece I just rolled. Uh, but yeah, so uh, that is the niche of my channel. Um, but I, I kind of want to be known as a little more something else, <laughs> if I can. Um, this is better. It, it, the attack got decreased because it's not it's plus 16. Um, but yeah, I, also I want to kind of try to do more Guild v Guild content. Um, yeah, I would that would be, be very helpful. Not too many people do that. Yeah, yeah not too many people do that. I know, like, there was a mad guy who got kicked out for leaking things in the mad server who did some, but he didn't do a lot. But, like, I want to do, like, endgame strats and also just, like, everything. So I want to cover my, my next video on Guild v Guild. I'm planning on doing bomb strats, which is, like, a really end game. It, it's a way to counter, basically, uh, the defense I made a video on, it's like the only way, mm -hmm. unless you have insane BP, like cripplingly high BP, it's like the only way to do it. Um, so I would like to cover that. And luckily, because of friendly face offs, um, you can actually what's it called? My brain is short circuiting. Oh, yeah, because of friendly face offs, I can actually record things properly. The reason why there's no Gilvy Go content, I think. It's just because it's impossible to record anything because you only get eight attempts. Um... Yeah, your Dolores. I mean, once again, yeah, I can't my, fix my your Dolores. Pieces aren't, yeah, my big pieces aren't spectacular, but they they get the job done. They're they're like my big pieces, I would say. Um. For your Laya though, we're fixing her. Yeah, I will say your Laya build is not it. <laughs> no offense, of course. Well, that was pretty much just like a kind of a, because like I don't really use her ever, which is so sad to say for like a a good really good mm -hmm. Lord Ultimate. You know, it's it literally she just has the basic invig. I didn't really. I gave her like the worst shit. Her stuff. Sorry, I don't, I don't know if you cuss on your stream. Nah, I don't care. <laughs> as long as I don't get demonetized, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> or or as, as long as like my general thing is as long as it's not like saying slurs is what I keep saying so just mm -hmm. you're fine I just don't swear because I just don't <laughs> um wait that's the wrong thing um but yeah I, I get it because you have Elowin so you don't need Laia at all because Elowin is just so good and she does Elowin global rage regen the only reason you would use Laya is for the Rage Regen, and apart from Guild Boss, Laya is generally not. Like, uh, like aside from Guild Boss, Laya is just not as good as a healer, um, which sucks. Yeah, Elowin just out Elowin just outclasses every healer for like everything, like Void Rift content. Yeah, literally, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> outclasses for everything. Like, she a... only she only gets outclassed in Guild Boss because of her range. That's it. Yeah. Uh, well, they have the same range. It's just Laya is better for quick rage regen as bursts in, well, I mean, in a cycle. Well, I mean, I know Laya and her. I was more saying, like, because Hollow has, can cover everyone uh, yeah. while she yep. can't. Yep. 
Yeah, for sure. Um, <laughs> they're both just not as good because Hollow's just goaded with the range. Hollow's just goaded. I don't know. Hollow's like a top three healer in the game, and she's an epic. So, I know there is a soft cap for Rage Gen, but Live's entire purpose is to get two alts off and dip for Guild Boss. Yeah. So, we're trying to get Rage Gen as high as we can. Um, although, I would rather keep the hollow Rage Gen piece. Um, <laughs> why is this funny to me? You have a. A rage regen and deadly aim. I didn't know you could get rage regen as a substat on weapons. Um, without it being an ancient. That's that's shocking to me. Wait, what? A non ancient oh, piece I, with rage regen? Yeah, I don't know where where this deadly aim two set came from because they both rolled for uh Oh it's storyline gear. Oh, okay, that's they're, yeah. they're guaranteed to roll at least purple. Um, and you get two of them, uh, but yeah. I didn't know you could get Rage Regen on the, on, on a non-ancient piece. Is that even, is that even freaking possible? Is, is this because it's a storyline? Sorry, I, I'm baffled. I did not know that was possible. Yeah, I didn't want to throw away that piece, even though it's, uh, you know, a bad set, kind of, or not an optimal set. Yeah, on my account, I have three pieces, three weapons with Rage Regen, and they're all ancients. I don't know why this is possible, because <laughs> I'm I'm I've been told by many top players and like just by like the it's like a fact of the game you cannot get rage regen on left side like on weapons <laughs> without them being ancient but like it, it is so I don't know how to feel it would be probably better to build a a whirlwind set but I want to use this because it's funny apparently apparently it's from vocal uh, storyline. Yeah, the the storyline quest. Um, but I mean, this is such a bad set to build, but like I I feel like doing it. She doesn't need any stats apart from Rage Gen, right? So Yeah, she's can, literally yeah, she's literally just uh yeah, the old yeah. Mm-hmm, exactly. And like you you have the best thing skilled up, so that's a okay. Um Yeah, I was very happy with her skill ups. Very, very happy. Uh, especially because now you need as many skill ups as you can you can get uh this is like the perfect skill up basically perfect perfect order or not order you, you know what i mean it's perfect skill ups i'm I'm so discombobulated <laughs> um but yeah i think i mean i couldn't do much more i couldn't do much better like Silas, all I all I really did was Setrum got a, got a different gear set, and then I made Silas better. So we're gonna see how how well we can do. I do expect close to forty k, even with these skill ups. But that's like if I try to squeeze it out. Um, but if I try to auto it, or make it like autoable, it it wouldn't be as much, obviously. Um, yeah. But uh, just a general tip for everyone watching. Um, I, if you can, I like to place, um, quote unquote, the most important people within Vig first. Um, so something like Dolores and Hollow generally. Um, although muscle memory makes me put Hollow last all the time, which kind of sucks. Um, but you want to, you want to just, it, it doesn't make a big difference, but you want to try to get, uh, whoever will be the most impactful with their ult at the beginning going. Um, and generally, Dolores Salt comes last, so that's why I like placing her. And then Hollow makes Dolores Salt come faster, so it just helps with Laurel Cycle. Um, also, Zilla 2, I will be triggering last, so I'm going to place her last in terms of DPS. It's like, it doesn't make that big of a difference, but also, it might matter, you know? Also, I said I'd place her last, but I'm not placing her last. <laughs> um, and now... Do as I say, not as I do. Sorry, what do you say? That common phrase, do as I say, not as I do. Or however it goes. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, don't listen to me, but don't don't follow what I do. Is basically <laughs> what that means. Yeah. And I think that reflects my channel perfectly. Because 
I would never recommend anyone do what I what I am currently doing. Um, that turn we're not gonna have in Laurel range because uh that would be brutal, and then we're gonna put Pyros off the side because he doesn't need the Loris boost, uh, to do similar damage. Um, because the damage is from the units that are getting his Lord skill. If that makes sense, it's not his damage. Um, so generally you don't need him in. Oh, I should have follow ulted earlier. I don't know. Wait, we're experimenting, man. <laughs> it's it's scuffed for a reason. Uh, let me just solve that. Just get this going. This is a scuffed beginning, but um, I'm just trying to get a grasp of the team before I actually like get it going properly. Generally, it takes me like a couple tries to get it down. Because every team and gear is different. It's kind of hard to immediately get off. Um, also, a quick um, thing is, like, generally you want 13k before the boss gets up if you're going to hit 50k. Uh, we're hitting about 10, so it does kind of look like it's going pretty well. You're, ta you're referencing you went 13 by the first shield? Yeah. Uh, when, he, when he gets up after being knocked down from the first shield, generally approximately 13 is a good baseline, is what I would say, um, for a good amount of damage i think i need to redo this because i am uh very all over the place but we're, we're gonna see how far we can get here first and then i will actually like lock in and do do the full run so, see generally as long as you're getting two pyro salts or twin fiend or whoever you're using in one zilla tool then you're you're fine um, and I'm going to experiment a little bit with triggering Zilla 2 early. Um, if Pyros has enough rage regen for that. Because, I mean, the run's dead anyways, because I messed it up. So, we're just going to experiment. Um, so, a proc so I do need to time Zilla 2 with Pyros. Good to know. And then... Also, I think Lya gives a damage boost. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think she does. So that also helps a she lot. Does. Yeah, so Lya is a she lot does. better than Volca if you can. If you can use her. Um, usually I just use Volca like on my team or whatever. But uh, Lya is so good for guild boss. She's, she's better than I assume you use her. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Like... I do think she's better than how she seems on your account, but that's just because you have like all the good healers. So. Um, this looks a bit brutal. Yeah, no, that's not good enough. Okay, so already we're hitting 30k before the third shield, so we might actually hit 50k. <laughs> we might hit 50k, but we're going to get damn close is what I'm seeing here. Because uh, at the third shield, that's around what I get. Basically, Silas is already doing 100 mil, by the way. I expect him to do 130. <laughs> uh, Setrum's not doing as much as I would like him to, but I'm going to do a full run before I see if he's actually being used well. And I'm also not timing him very well because I don't know how to time him very well. It's like the one thing I got to practice on Guild Boss. From what I noticed with Setrum is if you are ulting with Setrum, while you're ulting with Pyros, he will not shoot. So you have to, I think you have to ult with Setrum when Pyros isn't ulting, is what I've yeah, noticed. They get the most think, Especially for it's the breaking. Sure. Yeah, and it's the opposite of Zilla 2. Zilla 2, you want to pop or ult with Pyros. Yeah. Exactly. So it's like the opposite, yeah. Yeah, so in, in my mind, I always want to use them together, but probably Yeah, of course. Too. And then maybe Infernal Roar, your Infernal Roar is better. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out later. <laughs> uh, no, this is about, I mean, whenever I would do a full run where it would go all the way to the end, this is about how much he had with Infernal War. I think the highest I had him was like at 24 million. Oh, so it's Cetrum. so much better. Yeah, so right now it's it's performing better. That's good to know for sure. Uh, <laughs> so it was a good change. That's great. And Silas is doing more, which is nice as well. 
I don't know if you were using Laya before in your Guild Boss team, but and I, I was t doing multiple different tests with with that with that spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, no, no I mean, wonder. I, that's why I messaged you. Like, put a lot of effort into it. Yeah, that's why I messaged you saying if the, if there's a way you can come up with a, a comp or whatever. I I just I think Laya is the best option for you right now. Is what I would say. Um, and. I think that was really the only change I could make, um, if I'm being honest. And just like once again, slight gear stuff. But overall, I think it's just I don't know. This is gonna be like one of the. It's not gonna be a takeover where I'm tripling damage. Is what is all I'm trying to say here. <laughs> I had one takeover where I think I increased the damage by like thirty x, and I was like, well, okay. So here's something funny. So when I got Lus from that weekend, obviously I got her to A4, which was incredibly fucking lucky. Yeah, I that's think my absurd. Damage... I pulled like zero for viewers. So I didn't have Hex then. I didn't have Zilla too. I didn't have a bunch of the heroes that you see on my account now. My damage when her, when I got her, I think it went up literally 25k. And, and, and blood. And we're not and even using her, which hurts. Yeah, and what also even hurts worse is she's not even bonded. I don't have arrogance on this account. Yeah, that's why we can't use her. She's not freaking yeah, bonded. No. She's single. We pulled so many, and she's still single. No matter how um how how like good she is, <laughs> she'll never find a she'll never find an arrogance. And I already know what's gonna happen is if her event comes back, which I'm assuming maybe in six months from now, uh, I'm gonna get her to A five before I get. Arrogance. I already know that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> that would be <laughs> just, that's so just, funny. I already, I already know that's 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 happening. It's already in the books. Yeah, it, it it's it's been written. It, it's destined to happen. Haha, <laughs> funny pun. Um, but yeah, it, <laughs> there's no way that won't happen. So, uh, rip, um, <laughs> rip you, I guess. Yeah, like I I pulled like maybe two extra lusts out of the many thousands I pulled for viewers, um and it it's just it's shocking how how few I pulled and like anyone pulled I'm pretty sure fast didn't pull many for viewers I don't think, um like I know maybe two or three people I guess three now, uh with you who pulled a lot of lust like the number two guy pulled. Two lust, or maybe it was three, but he didn't even a five his lust, and he spent many thousands of dollars. It was it was crazy. It was I, it was I, so funny too, cause he just came in and he was like, "I'm number two, um he was number one for a bit. He was like, "I'm number one or whatever." We were like, "How many lust did you pull?" And he was like, "Uh, three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on on the lust banner, I pulled six legendaries. One was Nocturne for his A1, and then Lust, obviously, I pulled her five times. And then that weekend, I got Vienna for the first time, and I got her to A1, and then I got mm -hmm. Silas on my last Divine. Oh, damn, that's... For so that cool. weekend. Yeah. Is that your first Silas, too? Yeah. I just got his A1, I think, uh, the Trust weekend, actually. Oh, interesting. I, I got uh, Silas A1 two days ago, actually. Oh, it's A2, sorry. So it, it's interesting how he disappears. Also, we got 43k yeah. already. Um, but that was with bad timing and Dolores died at the end. So I, I think we can get 55, 45k uh, with no friend assist. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Just what I'm guessing. How? What was your record before? Um, with, with this exact comp you're using, mine was about uh, 42. It definitely hit 42. And then with the mm -hmm. Nightmare comp that I was using before I got a rush and all that, it was 43 without gear optimization. Maybe it would be better to go to Nightmare, actually. I think it's just Zilla is mean, not max skilled. If she was, this would be easy, like 57. Uh, 47, sorry. Like, definitely the highest I've seen Silas do. It's the highest you've seen, <laughs> highest you've seen Silas? Yeah, because I, I made him yeah. a little better, so... Your yours is more goes... than mine does, cause uh, you're using Laya, probably. My Silas is slightly better than yours, but not by much. 
your wise. Like, well, see, Snuggles, like, I know it's very tempting to do the A5 for Lust, but it's just like, you're, you know, it's like mandatory that you save one for, you know, Twin Fiend or whatever. It's just, you know, mm-hmm. it's, it's very tempting. It's, it's, it's like, I don't, it's like my account, like, won't benefit much from an A5 Lust is where I'm kind of at. But if I get pull Twin Fiend, you know, but I don't even have a Soul Stone, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> yeah, this is all hypothetical, right? Uh, yeah, this is very <laughs> You still have your reset book or did you use it? You use For it? oh no, I used it, yeah, I used it. Did to you get use something it? back on Aspen. Because he was my second Lego that I pulled and I built him very high to help me progress and then I was like, Man, this was totally a waste. Did you skill him too? Uh he only had one crystal. Okay. I personally I would have saved it. Just so you could have a five lust until you pulled Twin Fiend, but like Absin deserves to be reset. Absin's so garbage. You never would have used him for anything. <laughs> like I, I completely get that. If it, it kind of feels wrong to put it on lust, even though like I noticed, like I'm not using her nearly as much now that I pulled much much better heroes. Hmm. I was using her in everything, and now that I'm getting the better heroes, I'm not really using her, which feels uh-huh. pretty, pretty, pretty bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get it. I feel like if her rage regen wasn't uh, also on a, a chance, like if it, if she hit a hero, that hero got rage regen. I think that would change her kit tremendously, because that that's the part that bugs me the most about her kit is that. There's a chance to hit a, a, an ally, and then there's also another chance to give the rage regen. Like that to me doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's like RNG best. Don't they? There's just too many RNG. Yeah. Uh huh. I mean, same comp we're hitting. We're actually hitting six K more than it was. I know you probably play tested it, but like your highest score. It does but... it a lot. Um, and in your best records, your highest is 36k. Oh, yeah, I only tried it in playtest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it, it for the records, I just hit auto, I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, an auto, if you had lust a5, I think you might actually be able to make a nightmare comp, uh, to hit 50k because it's so good, but then again, you don't have arrogance, so I don't even know. I haven't used lust with no arrogance, so uh, because he was my 18 clear. When the uh, mm-hmm. 18 achievement came out, I had all of them done. So I got Arrogance, uh, which is great. And then I pulled one on the banner, and I got a Soul Stone for him. So he's almost day three for me. Sorry, kind of. <laughs> I don't mean to it's like okay. flex on, <laughs> on you. But... Uh, no, no, dude, I mean, no, flex on, flex on me. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just, I'm curious how much you can get with this. <laughs> I mean, you can try doing the nightmare comp because, like I said, I just did a I did forty three k on auto without gear optimization with the last comp before this. That's true. It might be better because your lust is so <laughs> your lust is a four. So like, it's unprecedented I mean, territory she, for me. No, so I don't know how she would how she 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 would always perform number two after Silas, and then Hex would be every once in a while he he'll be over her because he had you know a better the I full do. hit or whatever yeah yeah. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong, A four she's still fucking pretty strong with even not bonded. It's just not having that on top of everything else with uh because she's already almost max skill. She only needs two more. Yeah, like, you're missing out on 20% damage and burning. Yeah. It's 20%. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, 20% is a lot, yeah. Especially in the ultimate. She's getting a lot of rage from hitting everyone. So, it's, it's such an increase. Um, I, I pray that you pull Arrogance soon. Because Arrogance would hit you 50k. I think this might be slightly better. Potentially, just because you don't have another Infernal Roar set for her, that's super good. I don't know. Now that you have Zilla two, I would rather stick with the Zilla two comp because she they're not skilled, and the fact that it's mm-hmm. doing around the same means that if you yeah. skill Zilla 
two and Silas, I would skill Silas to the max and Hex. I do think this would be well, better. But also, the only reason why I've been holding off on Silas is because I have the most important of his upgrades, and his passive that needs upgrading is only for kills, and you can't kill the boss. So it's like that's why I've been uh, holding off on yeah, maxing him. That's true too, actually. I'm just I'm thinking because I always have his exclusive on, so I thought it was important. I, I would just do it for general content because you're always going to be using him for yeah. everything. Yeah. For, no. Yeah, I agree for sure. Yeah. I mean, maybe full skill Zilla too, then Hex is ultimate and basic, or just as ultimate, and then I think you're good for those two. Because um, Hex doesn't need his other passives, they suck. <laughs> well, yeah. the, the skill yeah. ups for them <laughs> suck, and they also do literally nothing for good boss. It's just like a slight, it's like a little bit more stun or something, and then it's like, it's not even that good. <laughs> it's not worth it, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, Hex is pretty borderline when it comes to, like, he's just, his kit is just so fucking good that, oh, I'm sorry, I know you don't really care. Oh, no, I don't care. Uh, Trust me. Where all you want. Silas exclusive better than Spirit Siphon. Um, from what I've seen, Navi, uh, Silas exclusive at base is as good as a promo 2 or 3 Spirit Siphon. Yeah, it's probably not as good, but I like using it more because it's an exclusive and it's fun and it's cool. So I would yeah. recommend purely because it's more in interesting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's maxed. It is far better though. I will say. I wonder if they'll ever introduce ways of like crafting artifacts. I mean, there's a there's another forge material in the files as well, so. That might be interesting. Because the only exclusives that I've that I have is Hot Suit, Aspen, and Kate uh Cody, Katie, how do you say his name? I call him Cade. Uh, Cade. Probably yeah. not how you say it, but I mean Yeah, I have no idea. He's kind of he's not that important, so Yeah. It doesn't it doesn't I, matter. I, I don't even have him, so it's it's useless on my account. <laughs> Yeah, I I pulled it for someone else. Uh, who I pulled five exclusives in seven pulls when I did this void rip. Um, and uh, I pulled the Cade for him. And I don't have the Cade one, but I pulled Cade. So I've technically pulled his artifact and him in the past little while, just not on the same account. He's not as bad as people think. But he's not good. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Yeah. He's like, he's like B tier if you have gone. For reference, um, my timing here is a bit off. I mean, there's a way we could tune this a bit better, but I don't think it actually makes a difference. I'm gonna keep Laurel down just for the pyrosol, and then I'm going to pull her. And then lie it down. That room's not gonna have his ult, but we're able to clear it. Um, we're already around twenty k, which is pretty good. Um, let's see how well this does. Hopefully, we can get Pyros in Zilla to ult. Uh, it's very close, but we did it. Um, I'm gonna save Zilla to for a bit. And now, hopefully, Lia will be back in time before Laurel. Uh, she will be a little bit um the perks of having your own laya is you can actually build it with rage regen there's so many laya apprentices that are just built so garbage um i probably should who else should i have Sorry, who else should i have on my who else should i have on my apprentices because i have her and then i think i have elowen i think maybe uh, i would do laya I have Volca Elowen, maybe. Uh, just in case someone has Laya and they want to borrow a Volca. Like what we're doing right now. Because we're using, <laughs> we're using Fastidious's um, Volca right now. <laughs> which is so strange. Like, I'm not even on his friends list. Like, oh, so I can, I can flex on you? A little, yeah. Although, it's, oh. maybe it's actually better not to have him. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually a curse uh to have him on your account oh wait we didn't break it 
There's no way we didn't break that. Uh, we hit 3k more on the third shield, though, using just the Volca. Because you're, you're using two cycle units frequently. Yeah. So just that yeah. reduced 15% makes a big difference. So I, I think we can... <laughs> I don't know if we can, but I think we'll be pretty damn close to 50k if you use friend assist. So, uh, okay. like, I'm sure you could probably do it on your own, but if... If you get better gear, like just a better Soulbound Arcana, um, or Infernal Roar, or Zilla 2, and you skill her, um, I could go on and like just just consider it the same takeover, and I can get you Ma if you want, even though Ma's kind of bad now, um, with the friend assist thing. Um, yeah, sure, whatever. Because usually, um, if I can't perfect it. I'll just say it's part of the same thing if you just need help or like if the auto breaks because there's literally nothing I could do about autos and it, it bothers me to no end but like I, I've seen people with yeah. perfect autos fail like uh, for example the whale person I know who I reference a lot uh, his auto will go from 69k down to 51k occasionally same God, that's such a yep <sighs> It's so bad. Like people generally say, if you have about five k more than fifty k, you're generally safe. But you have to still babysit it because it still will break. Like he once said that it went under fifty k. I'm pretty sure, uh, he, despite him being al able to almost do seventy k. Uh, like <laughs> no friend assist. It's ridiculous. It's it's worse if you use Twin Fiend too or Pyros, and it's <laughs> it's absurd. It's so bad. I, I don't know like, how the game I've, is so terrible. Like, I've noticed, like, I'm not even referencing Dolores, which I know her, she has RNG in her kit, but, like, even other uh, heroes just sit on their ults on auto. Like, they won't trigger them, even though I know I sure as hell would be triggering the ult at this moment. Yeah, it's like, you're when you did it originally, you probably clicked it, but uh, apparently yeah. you didn't this time, so <laughs> uh, it just... It, I don't understand why it happens, but there should be just a setting where, or they should just change it so it's like in this general vicinity, just auto click it, you know, like instead it feel, it just, I don't know how autos work in this game. It's, I think how confusing. autos are is it's based on time. I think it's just like at this time, good, the, good the person press it, the auto, this button at this time, and then that's when we'll do it, is how my guess. Because that, that's what I've noticed with, because that's what I noticed with arena autos is whenever I auto, I notice that they just auto. At yeah, certain they do moments, auto which on it time. Seemed like... right. Someone else told me that a while ago, but I wasn't sure. But I think that makes sense. Um, it's weird that it does that though. You'd think it would just. I don't know how else would they even make it. I don't know, but I feel like there's just better ways know. to do it. I think how they could fix it in arena is make it to where um it's uh like where the do, enemies are they, or whatever. Exactly. Where it is on the wave. Like if yeah. he pressed it at this moment on this wave, then we'll press it or something like that. Yeah, I don't yeah. know how the hell you fix it. There there might just be a bug with other autos that can go boss. It's it, there has to be so I, don't it. <laughs> I don't think the devs are admitting <laughs> that it's <laughs> I don't think they're in the business of admitting <laughs> that it's broken. Um, like, it's... I, I heard like this company was very good with, with like being open and whatever. I'm like, this company is pretty fucking quiet, dude. <laughs> oh, this one's not good at it. It, it. it was at the beginning, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Those, those sure days were great. Um, but it's been kind of downhill downhill since. Uh, like, uh, there's so much stuff that goes behind the scenes. I don't think I can tell you. <laughs> Like, I, I don't yeah. think I'm supposed to tell you or anyone in the chat. But, like, uh, you know, from the some people I know, uh, I'm, not, I'm not naming any names or specifically hinting at anyone. I'm just saying that I have heard of some horror stories. <laughs> well, they're not, like, actual horror stories, but I've just heard of, like, kind of ne negligence or a lack of communication in a lot of different ways. Yeah. Um, already 43k. I know it's with friend assist, but. No, twin Zilla 2. Ugh. I should have waited longer. It's okay, though.
Um, I mean, all things considered, you're hitting 47 with this run. So maybe if I get the skill ups, I can do it with a friend assist. Friend assist, skill ups, and I mean, like, they're not bad, but your second Infernal Roar set and your second Soulbound Arcana set are not. Com compared to what normal people d need, I don't know why your account is so good, but like with max artifacts or whatever, I mean. Um, <laughs> most people have worse artifacts, but much better gear to hit 50k. Um, yeah, your gear's yeah, not yeah. bad, what? but for 50k, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Bro. <laughs> what the fuck? That's absurd. I, I've never seen... I, my stylist doesn't do that. Well, uh, now we know how how well your stylist can do with friend assist. Yeah, that's, that's pretty fucking high. <laughs> your hex does a lot better than I thought. Zilla 2, once again, her, her, her all her skill-ups are so important that I think... What skill-ups am I missing on Hex? Because I can't imagine he's missing too much. He's missing two, on, he's his, missing... Uh, two on his ult. Two so on his ult. He's okay. not ulting as often as he could. But also, since you're using Laia, he's he doesn't need it as much because he's still reaching that cap pretty often. Because his ult takes so long to get... Like, it, it lasts so long. Uh, I think... Using friend assist, I mean, it's still close to pull off time. So, uh, oh, Dude, yeah. Hitting 47 was is incredible. I didn't think that would be uh, reachable with friend assist. Like, I thought, I thought, like, as much you could get was 45 with the optimization. But nah, you're, I could probably do 48 with better timing, but there's no point, I don't think. Yeah, there's no point. Yeah, there's no point. Yeah. The only question is, well, obviously, you didn't save the auto. Uh, the only question is yeah, if they break yeah. the third shield on auto, but also you do like 30k before the shield breaks, so no matter what, your auto will last, <laughs> even if it breaks at that shield. But I could try to work it out to break the shield on autos if you would like. Um, I think I probably uh, should. That is that. Is, this is something I can't really uh figure out if it's worth it or not. So I just do the one of nightmare four and three. Is it worth? The extra uh, two hundred diamonds. One on each. Don't do extra diamonds, in my opinion. It's like for, for the fifty k chest. It's not worth it. Uh, I did it. 50K I did it. I did chest it for like is like a very slight chance to get better things. Sure, you get one more reward, but uh, the rate. Um, what people I don't think understand is the rates. Um, on the fifty k chest is actually lower than the twenty k chest. You just get more chances for it because you get three each. Um, so it is better, yeah. but it's not that much better where I think it's justified because you're using 6,000 gems a month just on extra attempts for a slight yeah. chance of like an extra stole stone or something. It's sure because that was my understanding as well. Because there's also, if you look at the chest, there's a they'd have the Lego Awakening thing also in the 50k chest that's not in the 20k chest, and it's like only like five or something. So it's like if you get that, you'd be like extremely upset. So that's why I stopped doing it. I did it for like a couple of days straight. I'm like, this doesn't really feel like it's I'm getting anything different. Yeah, it, it doesn't. Because I've done that a few times where I'll, occasionally from daily login, you'll get another one. In which case, <laughs> is it bad to say I think I would do an, a run on Nightmare 2 before 50k on Nightmare 4? <laughs> but uh, I have done max 50k chests on Nightmare 4. And honestly, it feels worse. <laughs> Maybe, obviously, it's a tiny, tiny sample size. That's not at all what it works. But it's just first impressions from the few times I've done it. It just it feels so so bad and unworth it. Not worth it, I mean. Yeah. Well, if you want to go in and just clean up the auto and then yeah, call I'll, it a night. I'll do this that. Is, this, is, this, is, this is exactly what I was hoping for out of this takeover anyway. Yeah, I mean, you're second in your guild. For sure. There's no way you're getting first ever, I don't think, because A5 side How am I second? Impossible. How am I second? Because this guy did two attacks, so it doesn't count. Um, He's at like 30k. But for right now, maybe some people who do better, 
um, would get better. But, I mean, he uh, hit like 43k with no friend assist, right? So I do think that... Yeah. I do think you're better than this. And this guy is A4 Zilli, A1 Twin Fiend, and A3 Silas. Damn, so... he's got a... A five, dude. Silas's awakenings are so good, man. I want. Uh, them he so is bad. like top top five awakenings in the game. Like, like every single gear. awakening gear is, is such an upgrade. The gear is some of the worst Silas gear I think I've ever seen. <laughs> like, all due respect, <laughs> wisdom. I, I mean, whirlwind with six hundred attack speed. Like, oh, you, <laughs> you soulbound on on Silas. The Soulbound sets better than yours, I will say, but barely. But like, well, it doesn't take much to get better than mine, that's for sure. <laughs> and your hex still does 100 mil with it, so uh, you can't really complain. Well, that's with friend assist. Yeah. It would do like 80 with that, I think. Maybe mm-hmm. more. But like, it's, you need to tell this guy how to build his things better. Because uh, he should be hitting 50k. Yeah, I just joined this guild literally today, so I don't really know anyone. Why swap the swap twin fiend and Silas and that's it? That's fifty k. <laughs> it's not fifty k, but it's close. And this bothers me on, a, on, a, on such a high like. <laughs> at least Zilla two is good. Zilla two is not bad. This this is a decent Zilla two. This is a bad roll, but this is a decent Zilla two. Why why is this twin fiend like? Oh my god. This was this is like a perfect silence set, set. This is like similar to your Silas, basically. In terms of gear. But then he has this <laughs> brother. <laughs> I mean, this is not bad. Maybe he just autoed this and it auto the auto broke. Because he should be hitting more just with with the bad Silas gear as well. Um This is not good. <laughs> he could do better here, I think. Judging by what I'm seeing here, sorry, I I don't mean to criticize one of your one of your guildmates for a while, but yeah. Uh, anyways, let's clean it up. No, I mean I like to look at how people build things. You know, I like information, so yeah. Uh, build your Zilla to like this, basically. You could do better because he's using Curry Bane, but also these rolls are good. So, mm-hmm. I mean, this is a terrible roll. Actually, no, these rolls are bad. You could you could do better. Uh, but Zilla 2, it's pretty easy to build her with 400% crit damage, honestly. And then, because her base attack is so high, you don't actually need to build her with that much attack. Um, just because attack has, like, a just calculation with defense, and the guild boss doesn't have very high defense. So, in something like Geared 1, for example, they have a lot of defense. So you need to build a lot of attack. Why Tier of Twilight mm-hmm. is by far the best, uh artifact for that that stuff i mean it's the best for every everything but it's especially yeah. best there um but in guild boss crit damage is better because you can reach that requirement to deal the most damage a lot easier than most content um and silas ignores defense so he doesn't he doesn't care no matter no matter yeah, what silas, the defense that the guild boss has uh he would always be built the way that he is silas is, is probably my favorite hero He's my favorite hero too. He's he's so cool. He's so fun. Uh, I love him. I I hate his skin though. I absolutely hate it. But I don't want to be not using, even though the stats don't matter because it's so small. But mm-hmm. I just don't want to be like if I had the skin on that I would have beat this content or whatever. I mean, I could do this <laughs> if you want. <laughs> you lose yeah, eighty two yeah, so, yeah. VP. But I will say I agree. But. I, I'm not in the same boat where I dislike it. I like his skin, but I just think his yeah, base I, skin is so amazing in his every base single skin way. Is perfect. It's, it's perfect. It's perfect. It, it is perfect. I don't think there's anything I see that would would be better. Like yeah, I like I like his new skin. It's just I just it, it's, it's so not as good. it's so clean. It's so clean on the other on his default. I wish I could have the effect. The only re- the main reason why I use this skin, although I do like the base one more, is because of what, the effects. I like the but effects I think more. What they should, um, but I think what they should do with, with skins is treat it as like a bond skill. Like if you have it on your account, then you unlock it. So if I have the skin, then I unlock the stats for the skin without yeah, but, having to wear it. But then the that tells everyone uh, that it's intentional. <laughs> it's, it's intended to be a benefit to... Pay to play players. 
Because I mean, like, well, Reed, uh, you're just getting a stat booth with money, and I know it's a gotcha game, but people don't like that. Well, and I, there will be backlash. I only, I only bought the Reeb skin because it's the fucking best skin in the game. I'm sorry. The animations I, on it is spectacular. While I don't agree, I do think it is top three probably for me. The only reason why I yeah. don't like it too much is because it's such a 180 from his design originally. But yeah, it is a I, really I sick like, skin. I just like the animations on it. Oh, I haven't seen it's the animations. Okay, we're tr we're trying yeah, new I animations see. real quick because I haven't. Okay, yeah, yeah, go go at it. You, you you'll change your mind as soon as you see it. You'll change your mind as soon as you see it. I do think it won't change my mind about Virna and Setrum though, because those ones are good. But we will see. I don't know what he looks like normally either. Ooh, that is kind of cool though. Um, yeah, because it's like a, cause he he like has effects when he's standing already. I don't know. My, I don't my main thing is I will compare it to his normal skin, and then because I do actually take that into account for my thing. Yeah, okay, that's pretty sick. <laughs> I will admit, y you you have a point. <laughs> it it's top three. But Vierna's mommy, so I can't say no to to Vierna being number one. I I am biased, by the way. the The reason why Vierna's still number one for me, though, um, is because her original skin is not good compared yeah. to this. I think it's just such a much better skin that I'm more likely to make a skin I don't like very much better than a skin that's really good better, even if it's amazing. So you. So you rate skins based on how much of a difference it is between the default versions of themselves rather than just the skin as itself. Yeah, partially. Because okay. Okay. Uh, I have to think of it as... I do have to partially think of it as why why would I get the skin if the base is already amazing, right? You know? Mm -hmm. Because it's like not that much different. <laughs> you know? Uh, if that makes any sense. Because something like... Uh, Setrum skin, the reason why it's below Vierna for me is just because Setrum already looks so sick. Um, and the skin, although his effects are the best, which is why I think it's number two, it's just like, the, it's the same character. So, I don't rate it as high as other people do. Um, mm -hmm. but like, Zillatus makes her look worse, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, so I do that's not like why it's skin. ass, because <laughs> it's, it's yeah. a good skin, it's cool, but it also... Compared to this, Her it's garbage. Skin, yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, and Hat says it's like the same. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> but this yeah, is it's just this is the best game. skin in the game. Let's be real. I don't, yeah. I'm not really too fond of putting uh, skins as... Well, the ultimate leaderboard rewards need to be... Removed. ...to be looked at, but... Yeah, it's because it's such a big like we want you to spend as much money as possible to fight for only three positions. Like that to me, that's just so. Well, it's fifty percent. Yeah. I, or, yeah, first skins. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. I get the hero side of it. I do think they should give out rewards for people who do that, and I think heroes are okay. Obviously, that's controversial, but um i have more issues with uh, skins and cosmetics being up there because you're basically straight up saying hey you got to spend 10k for a skin and it's just like that's unreasonable and yeah. it's just camouflage behind that but like you could yeah. pull any hero they're just they're just saying hey have some free heroes but it's not free obviously but they're just like hey if you if you try to summon for them you'll get one you know like it's a guarantee so no matter how much you spend, you're guaranteed to get it as long as you spend a certain amount, you know? I just don't like how it's like a competition and it's only for three people. I think it should be for top 50, you get the hero or something. Because it, it's a hero, who cares? When you're spending for top 50, you should be allowed to get it guaranteed, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, when you're spending that much, of, when you're spending a, a family yeah. vacation uh, for mm -hmm. a weekend, for, for, for a game like this, like, yeah, you should, you should get the, the damn thing. Yeah, it's like if you're basically handing the company 10k, sure you're getting the normal stuff, but like if that's on, you should be con you should just be given it. They should just have like a if you spend a certain amount of money, you're guaranteed to get the <laughs> ultimate leaderboard reward. So they're just straight up like, "Hey, uh you spent a lot. We appreciate you. Have the skin. Um why not?" 
you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what if the ultimate leaderboard was spend 10k and you automatically get this kid? <laughs> yeah, so it would be like the top, however many, you know, it, 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 it wouldn't make a big difference. It would still be the same principle, but I just feel like yeah. it should be for more people, in my opinion. For sure. Because I don't sure. have an issue with the skins being there. I think it's lame, uh, but I don't care too much. Because I mean, they're just cosmetics. Uh, yeah. So the stats don't really, don't really matter too much. And if I you spend that much, you direction. deserve to get something. I genuinely believe that. <laughs> if you spend a house, 100%. you should get something. Yeah, that much. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, like you should get something exclusive. I think the borders are a great idea. Borders hundred percent should be there. I think borders should be for a couple more people. Maybe have like the top three have exclusive ones for like gold, silver, and bronze, and then the rest are just the mm. normal borders. It's just a reskin, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. If like you're get second, you get like nothing but, compared yeah. to number one. Like, it's such a big difference because number one gets an achievement to display, uh, but number two just yeah. gets the exact same thing, but like no, nothing special. You know, I know it's a small thing, but I imagine getting second and getting sniped like that sucks. But you don't. Uh, get if I was or... if I was spinning that much and I was in second or or if I was in first, I would make sure I wasn't getting sniped. Yeah, but uh, I, I, I know yeah. a guy who was second. He was first for a while, and then Trance came in with like a, a thousand ancients or something. Trance is a mad guy, by the way, and then he sniped it. Yeah, ancients give the most points. Uh, yeah, and the guy was like a level fifty with like three less copies <laughs> for being number two. <laughs> I felt so was... bad when I saw it, but he got like every That's lord funny. in the game, so it was fine. What's what's funny? There's a count called Bus Lust. Uh, yeah, Bus Lust. Always, they're always up there. It's so he's, weird. He's like his, his accounts probably started around the same time that I did, but obviously he spins with the top spenders, and I always like look at to see where he places. I, I don't know. It's just because like he was like number one or something like that for the Lust uh, leaderboard, or, or not number one, but he was up there at one point. Yeah, he's been top ten uh -huh. on every Ultimate leaderboard except maybe one in yeah. the past while, uh, but. I will say, <laughs> wait, what was I? What was I going to say? I, my brain just short circuited. Oh my god! Oh yeah, I, 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 I like looking at his account to see how how having a ton of money doesn't make you good at the game, <laughs> because he yeah, has some of the worst gear and builds trash. I've ever seen. <laughs> it's yeah, like he yeah, goes I'm on, he pays. And then he leaves, and that's it. It's like he only does <laughs> ultimate well, leaderboard, and then he he just stops. He just... <laughs> Brother just dips after a while. Also, I realize I was not preparing for the auto, so I will need to redo this again. But we'll get it done. We'll get it done. It's it's fine. It's fine. Right. Um, we're, we're I always do this. Okay. I always do it. Venom, you want the Zilla two skin? Damn. <laughs> oh yeah, Venom's like a a top. I I call him a top twenty whale of the game. Uh, he's he might not be, but he definitely is for shard ancient shards. Um, he has yeah. almost a thousand. Yeah, he's yeah, it's, yeah, it's insane. He's kind of sick in the head though, so don't mind him. Well, I always like seeing when the the Omega Krakens are also into like YouTube and Twitch communities because you don't see that too often. Like yeah, like, games like all the mad guys. Well, not all the mad guys, but like Deegs is pretty active in the Discord, and um, Venom's trying to start YouTube. Ray has a YouTube and whatever. Well, he doesn't have a YouTube, but really the entire Dragon Slayer's YouTube is just Ray. <laughs> He's like their <laughs> their their golden boy, you know. He he might have the most money in this game out of anyone ever, by far. Like I think it's two X in the second because, person or something like that. Because isn't isn't his forerunner count also as equally as spent on? Uh, like no, that. his global has less spent on because it's been out for less, and he focuses his forerunner more. Uh, but he his okay. forerunner count is the best account out of any version, which makes sense because it's forerunner. But he he has every hero in the game but Crodor. He doesn't have to. Oh, yeah, because he skipped the event. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> and it pisses him off. I talked to him about it. It's like the only interaction I've had. I was like, are are there any heroes you don't have? And he was like, I don't have Crodor. And I was like, brother, are you kidding me? And I might become him, not in terms of having everyone else, but I'm not going to get Crodor. <laughs> and it's going to crush me. Really? 
I I missed a couple events, like two. So well, you can miss three. You can, you can miss three. Well, everything on the calendar. Uh, if I get, I will be one off. So I have to hope there's one not shown yet, or I I don't get it. I missed a couple. Well, for sure, I, for sure you can miss three. I hope you didn't forget to claim one because someone in a saw it on Reddit that they said that they missed a claim on their rewards. So I was like, well, hopefully you don't miss the other two that you can miss. Yikes. That's brutal. Which what, what I don't what I don't get is you can't even pull the rare, but you can pull the epic. Yeah, I don't get that either. I was looking at it earlier and it's just like why? Why? Also my Dolores timing was off there, but it looks consistent, hopefully. <laughs> I'm too busy. I just make it to where I don't have to worry about yeah the shield. That's just, yeah. I mean, you always have to worry because autos in this game are trash. But um, hopefully you won't it's have to worry too much. You know. Yeah. Rick, I missed. Can't tell. I can't tell you how many times where I've I had a kill boss run where I set my phone down for one second just to do something, and I come back to see it, and then I'm like, oh, why does Wesley my oh, kill boss attack today? Please tell me. Okay, he's still attacking. Good. Uh, I'm going to save the alts roughly. <laughs> Fucking fit up. <laughs> he claims he's free to play. Oh, yeah. Venom's free to play. Um, I can back it up. If you've seen his account, you know he's free to play because it's ass. He's like the worst account in the game. Honestly, I think it's probably better to just not twin <laughs> not Zilla to alt by how this is going. Like, Setrim will not break. I can confirm, right? So, Setrim just nukes the shield on his own, and then Zillow 2 can clean up. Uh, it's not going to be 50k, but it'll be something. Like, this is not perfect, but you're hitting 40k, so. And it should be 100% consistent. I could test it after if you would like. Um, If you're okay with spending yeah, 200 gems. Like, it's What's like the one exception gems? is testing, you know? Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't really care. 200 gems is really nothing. Especially because you have five k. Well, I don't. I don't. I like to save my gems as much as I can. I get that now because now now that I have all the content beaten, I don't really need it for to summon too much anymore. It's really just I need to, to use it for stamina. Yeah, yeah. Gear is important for sure. Uh, at, at this point in my account, fifty two k basically. At forty two k, I would say fifty. Um. But yeah, that should hopefully be good. I mean, Silas does a lot. Setrum's for the shield. Uh, Setrum gear, not ideal. You could get him doing double, honestly. With a better Spirit Siphon, maybe. And Wait, no, we don't have Spirit Siphon on him. Maybe Spirit Siphon would have been better at base than the other one, but I think it's fine. I can always try I can always try putting Bloodbound on him or, or, or on Hex and then moving the Spirit Siphon over there. I think it's just better to have the base one on Setrum, potentially. I can't promise anything, but I think it's possible. Well, as soon as I get the Mithril, that's most likely going to mm -hmm. that Hex's one. I think just Setrum benefits so heavily from it, and I'm not sure why, but who knows. Damn, that was some weird timing. <laughs> but I think it's going okay so far. Although the timing's so off, <laughs> like Pyros ulted and then Dolor. Actually, no, it looks similar. I don't even remember. I was talking, so this this looks a bit wonky, but that might have just been because I was distracted. Yeah, I don't even know if the if it said auto saved. I don't even remember seeing it. It, it did. It did. It did. Okay. Ghost likes to look at the Silas and Reef skins, and Vierna default. You think is fine. You like the skeleton stuff. Still can't decide on getting Reef skin or not. Honestly, uh, since you're early game, uh, you get summons from it, and I think it's worth. If you have Reeve, I would get it. Um, if you don't have Reeve, it's up to you. Okay, so thirty-five for a skin is pretty high, though. Sorry, what? What about it? The skin? I was saying thirty-five for the skin and all that seems pretty high, though. Yeah, it's Vierna's was twenty. Yeah. So Vierna's was a better deal, but. 
I was a little surprised it was so high, but then again, in terms of gotcha games, uh, 35 is not that much for a skin and 40 pulls or something. Maybe it's 30. Yeah. Um, well, we hit almost the exact same number. So I, th I think you're good to go for like 42k autos and you know where to, where to head next, you know? Yeah. Oh, thank you. What if they bring Comet back with the skin? How would they even make Comet a skin? I think that, I, I think Comet will be the next val Halloween skin. I think that would be sick to just have like a skull face or something. Because he just, he feels like his face could be a skull. Mm. Right? Like, look at him. I, I can see it. I just like his mummy look so much. Yeah, the mummy vibe of Esoteris is great. Him and uh, Venoma are such a good pair in design. Dude, look at my look at my Esoteris. Like, that's why I chose the their color in your Discord because, like, I just have like the oh, most maybe. pulls and yeah, the most most pulls in that group. I mean, you got the important ones, except Comet now is more important. But uh, and yeah, Trust Comet's, is really good. Comet, I will, yeah, Comet is my most wanted mm -hmm. after Arrogant or or well, than Arrogance. Yeah. Excuse me. Arrogance should be more than comment in my in my opinion. You have Vierna, so I wanted comment for uh what? for gear rate six or gear rate four. You can do it with Vierna. The only issue is the top. I, I couldn't build her. I couldn't get her to the her execute. I couldn't get her the threshold. Oh, with it's the gear that I it's have. hard. But you need to combo her with greed. You need to com. Oh, you don't have anymore, so I can't show. But you need to. Yeah, I, you need to combo I, her with greed. You need a lord. You need um Dolores as well. Uh, but that makes the top a bit strained. If you had Gwendolyn, it would be easy. Gwendolyn's so good for that stage for for Valk. Yeah, and I just got Valk this weekend too. Liz, I think she was my last perfect pool timing. for my last summon. Actual perfect timing. Um, but yeah, I think Esoteris might be a the best faction in the game now. No, it's a top three. I feel like though. Um, yeah, I think so as well. I think it goes. It's between for me. It's between Infernal Star and Esso, but Nightmare is also in the conversation. The thing is, uh, Nightmare relaxed versatility because they're all fighters, so I would say it's like fourth. Um, but like this has Silas, Silas, Hex, Sargak, Raka. You know, you got. I mean, maybe the Star the Piercers only, isn't top three actually. The, the only thing with Piercers is just that there's too many bad heroes in there. Is yeah. what knocks it down for me. For me, Alora, Absin, Nyx, Kai, Razak, Pelagius fulfill the same role. Calypso is underrated, but she's not that amazing. The Sargak, Hex, yeah. and Silas are all top, top, top tiers. Uh, Idril yeah. is borderline required for content. Um, she, she, that's it's. I don't really like that about heroes where they're borderline. Like, you have to have this hero to. Yeah, I don't like. Like, I didn't like that. Where I had, I was struggling before I, I pulled Idril, you know, to get the advance in that gear raid. It's just I didn't like that aspect of mm -hmm. the design of gear raid three. Yeah, I get that with like the whole you need Lord things and yeah, I feel that. I think they need to stray away from that. You must love gear raid four and faction trials, huh? <laughs> Why do you say so? Those are the most egregious, egregious examples of needing specific heroes in the entire game. <laughs> Here at four, you need like three of four heroes, or you cannot do it. There's like a couple yeah, well, exceptions. You could do it with Demi and no comment or Val, uh, Valk, but it's gonna kill you. <laughs> You're gonna yeah. want to kill yourself. That's that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Um, you could do it with Twin Fiends too, technically. But really, you need Comet, you need Valk, or you need Vierna and a bunch of other stuff. But if you use Vierna, you yeah. need like a Constance or something. Yeah, I've been seeing too many comps beat it without eat, like with only not having both Comet or one of Comet or uh, Valk. Yeah, you you need one or the other more or less. I, we've heard of a fabled. A uh, Pyros guy who beat it with Pyros and neither of the necessary people. Uh, but that's the only one we've ever heard of. 
that doesn't require either a legendary lord to do like all the work or those two heroes I mentioned. Um, you could have honestly, you could have asked me for a takeover, and I think I could have done six for you. I gave up on it. I was like, I'm not, not frustrated with it. So I was like, I just needed a little bit better gear, maybe common or yeah, gear. And then when I, when I when I when I finally got uh Valk, I got her. With du I was put dust into her because that was all I had left, and I did mm -hmm. like two attempts. I was like, I'm not bothering it. I'm just gonna farm five. Actually, yeah, six is impossible. It is impossible for you right now. Um, but you would have been close. I mean, if you... I'm sure if someone could have gotten it, maybe, with a you know a big big try. But I was like, uh, I can just do it next time. You could... Because you have Constance, I think you could do it with better gear. But your artifacts are so good, I think you might have been able to. Uh, the thing is, no Legendary Lord here. But I think Aeon, Vierna, and Greed... In your best sets, uh, like Soulbound and maybe Ageless Wrath for her or something, um, you might have been able to clear the bottom barely. Uh, and then you would also put in Dolores, by the way, uh, to yeah. boost Vierna. And then on the top, because you have Constance, you could pair Constance and you could pair Valk together for the damage boost. Because generally it's hard to do that because you need Dolores or Constance for Valk um, in order to kill the units at the top. So you, you have the heroes for it, for sure. Um, just, I think you need to max kill your Valk. Obviously it's not going to be around for a little while. I don't know when it's coming back, but that's definitely something you could do. It, you just need this to be maxed and this to be maxed, and then you're good. Um... I, f I feel like the next iteration, do you think they'll might tweak it to where you have to, like, they'll remove a space up top or two so that Val can't reach those units whenever they're just waiting to sp uh, to move? Well, then it would make the stage hell, and I would probably kill myself. <laughs> I, oh, <geez. laughs> I, I don't think they, uh, I don't think they care too much about Val being good. I think they like when one unit is necessary, so people are more enticed to spend when they come around. Uh, okay. So I don't... I see them making it easier. I don't see them making it harder. But okay. I could be wrong. If they make it harder, I hope they just add another stage. Because that was my curiosity about it, about it being like a, a seven-day event every time it comes around so that they can make changes and to make it quote-unquote different So for challenging gameplay for in-game players is what mm -hmm. I, my thought process was for it. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely just they made it to have something hard for people to do and work towards. Yeah. Yeah. Here. I know you didn't ask for a gear cleanse, but I'm going to help you out a little bit for free. I, I hate seeing this. <laughs> it, it, it reminds me of me. I'm just going to clear like 20 pieces. Okay. Um, I hate how it doesn't show what's equipped or not. Um... Yeah, there's definitely some cute uh, quality of life that needs to be done with inventory stuff. Yeah. Sure. I, this is a great role, but that is that makes this garbage. Uh, like, you're missing 26% from that. Like, it's also good roles, but also, like, it's not good. <laughs> um, Rip Storyline Gear. Rip Storyline Gear Part 2. I mean... Could you find a use for this? Probably. Left side gear, I'm more uh, relaxed about when they're legendary pieces, because the base stats are not that important anyways. Yeah. Um, well, I'm just going to do like a check. Usually, if, if, if it was an actual gear cleanse, I would go more in depth, but I just, I'm just kind of going to scroll through this and see. So, um, do are you in the place where you have a lot of guardians? A lot of uh, guardian. No, I think I only have two. Maybe I could put together three sets of guardian. Okay, so I will keep some just normal HP, non relevant set stuff. Then, um, on my account, I would just get rid of you know like this sort of thing. I would just wipe it immediately on my account for you. I'll keep it just in case. Because if it rolls well, you could use this in, like, tank codex. It's specific, but it could could work. 
But as soon as you get like five, like maybe not five guardian sets, but as long as you have like a couple tank sets, you can you can wipe all this gear. Honestly, uh, it's not that important. And generally, stuff like this, which I feel like you'd never use, I'm just gonna get rid of. Cause I yeah, I haven't I haven't done, I haven't cleansed my gear in a while. Obviously, you can tell because I'm almost full. Yeah, and they keep shoving shoving gear up our like they keep shoving gear at us, and it's just like we have no space. Give us more space. Um, but there's no crew right here. Otherwise, I would say maybe for Abomination or Torda. Um, stuff like this. It just it feels not that great, honestly. So. I don't think you're gonna find a use for it. This, I mean, it could be a healer piece if you're missing, if you're going for stats over sets. This, I mean, you could, I could see. No, I can't see anyone using that or this. It's like, <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like if you're having specific defense or HP gear, you need like full relevant subs, or it's not good enough because, uh, you only need like two sets of those, no matter what, like. You don't even need sets, you just need the stats. Like, because where am I going to use this? Yeah. Like, I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be careful. Like, this I would keep. Because uh, this could be, like, an abomination piece, you know? Um, which I say a lot today. Um, but uh, attack speed, crew rate, attack bonus. Ideally, uh, for, like, gluttony, it would be crit damage. But I would still keep it. Something like this, which I think you've outgrown the mediocre set with one relevant substat. Um, so oh, I think, yeah. I, I think I, stuff like I, this I is complete it. garbage. Uh, like this, I think you're at the point where your healer gear is so good that any healer gear is probably trash, actually. <laughs> that isn't a relevant su stat. I mean, Not stat. Relevant set is what I'm trying to say. So something like that. This is perfect. I would I would lock this. Whether or not it's a relevant um, set, in case it rolls well, this is great for like a gone if you ever get one, you know? Like, just in case. And they keep coming out with new defense attackers, so I think it's more important to keep that. This is complete trash. Um, this is trash as well, because offensive, <laughs> offensive stat with non offensive stubs is terrible. This I would keep just in case. Uh, just in case it rolls well, because you don't know. Uh, this. I mean, it could be a tank piece. Uh, that's garbage. I would say that's probably garbage. I I don't like I don't like glacier pieces. <laughs> glacier pieces like hurt my brain when I go through them. Um, so I try for to while, skip them. For like, a while, most of my first ancients on my account were all glacier. Yeah, I feel for you, man. It's, it's the same for me. Uh, and they're all bad. <laughs> they're all bad. Uh, Mana Spring, you want to focus more uh, on healer stuff, just in case. Uh, it's very specific, but you want Mana Spring just in case on, like, cost generators. Gluttony, if you can find a really good Gluttony set. Um, I, I mean, this could be a good piece, you know? Like, I'll lock it just in case, um, if it rolls well. I don't know for what, but, like, it looks good. This, though, doesn't, because it's a non-relevant... Uh, that so who cares? Um, here, who cares? <laughs> here, there's no attack speed. I don't think it's worth it. This, who knows? I don't. Know, I'm trying to be careful because it's not a full gear, gear cleanse. I'm just trying to bean and wipe it, wipe the definitive trash stuff. You know, because if it was a full gear cleanse, I would slightly level things to see if it's actually worth keeping. Um, but. I'm probably going to go to sleep in a minute, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, it's getting um, pretty late for me as well. Yeah, definitely get some rest. Uh, you have a question in your chat. I'm oh, sorry. I'm not reading chat. Quaz here. Oh, shoot. Who am I talking to? Oh, it's it's Michael. Uh, He just he wanted to take over, so I'm, uh, he just wanted to be on, so why not? Yeah, I'm not reading chat. Sorry. <laughs> When when I'm talking to people, I just I can't multitask that much. Um, you just pull Luguru off of one ancient pull. I hope you eat shit and die. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm kidding. I love you, Blitz, but how dare you? You pulled like my most wanted normal normal ancient pull. Um, yeah, Vierna. 
Uh, one second. Yeah, it's been like a five hour stream and <laughs> pause here now. Um, I'm reading these all out of order. Uh, you have Twin Fiends, Zulu, Twin Vierna to do it for you. Ha are you able to beat six? I don't think you have the gear for it. No, no offense, of course, but I, I think you need better gear and artifacts, but I think you could do five. Um, I think I could beat five for you, honestly. <laughs> I I genuinely think I could get to five for you. <laughs> um, is Codex back today? It's back today. Uh, but it's just Conqueror right now. You both got Luger off of one Ancient. You're both banned, and I hope uh, I hope I pull him. Oh wait, we still have these. Um, as good as the rules are, that's not worth it. That's not worth be worth that's not worth no wait okay just all this stuff and then I'll, I'll clear a couple more spaces and then you'll have a bit of leg room and then you'll kind of have like a rough idea even though i'm not doing a good job of explaining this but i'll just clear some of this stuff i don't for this left side pieces are so important to just have um you have to really pair them with uh, the sets, so that's good, that's fine. I would just, I would roll these, and if they don't roll well, just sell them. Like, roll them up, like, to plus 8 uh, for this one, for example, and then I would roll this one to, like, plus 12. Or even just plus 8. And then if it's bad, you just sell it. Like, I cleared 100 spots just by clearing all my tank gear, which you have a lot of. So, honestly, I would just take, like, 10, 20 minutes, level all this stuff, I assume they're all decent subs because it's really easy to get subs for these and I would just sell it all off and that, that'll that be like a free 50 space for you um oof. yeah I rolled that earlier didn't I um I don't know I, I'm kind of tired <laughs> uh I would just do that <laughs> and then just look for look for pieces where the subsets don't really match or you could roll some stuff up this, like, I would roll this just in case, maybe, to, like, here. And if it doesn't roll well, just axe it. It's not worth it. But, like, this I wouldn't keep. You know, like... Uh, this, because it's... I, I mean, you could keep that if you want. Um, I don't think it makes a big difference. Purely because it's Infernal Roar and the main stat is going to be higher. Uh, I guess you could find someone for this. Uh, like, some sort of tank could use this. This is actually a decent yeah. tank piece. Um, but if it was like a normal stat thing, I would just look for the Cleptus or Guardian or something. Um, but because it's higher ma main, I would keep it. This is not worth it. Um, you have good enough Infernal Roar bangles where any bangle that's not on par, I would just sell. Like all of this stuff, I would just sell. Um, it's all about just really looking at your general gear, finding out what baseline you should be at for selling, like what what your average should be at and then it's just selling everything below that average and then if you're unsure just roll it if it rolls bad immediately ax it because you're at the point where low rolls is basically not worth it unless it's like something like invig or something or like yeah some sort of specific yeah. set for like healers healers don't need that many great substats compared to a dps so if it's like relevant enough you could keep that but like I mean, I guess you can find these for that. I'll keep it. It's, like, hyper-specific, but I don't want to, like, sell anything before you roll it that you could potentially use if it rolls gold, for example. That's what I'm preparing for by not selling some of these mediocre pieces is what if it rolls gold and it becomes good, you know? Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to sell the stuff that even if it rolls gold, it would be garbage. This is amazing. Yeah, I would yeah. keep this. So something very specific, I don't know if I'm supposed to leak for hyper-specific hyper guild v guild, but something MAD does, which they accidentally leak to some selective people, uh, is they will use, for example, on a Silas, they will use uh, an Infernal Roll War piece. First of all, I, I'm not saying you should ascend this, even if it rolls gold. Don't, <laughs> for where you are. But I'm just saying for hyper-specific high guild v guild, this would be an absolute perfect piece for Silas because he gets he needs the rage to keep ulting because that's the only time he does any significant damage in Guilty Guild. But he does a lot yeah. of it to the point where you don't actually need the uh, the benefit of having a good DPS piece for him. 
you're just trying just... to focus on getting him more alts. So people will actually build him more rage regen. Um, obviously keeping the substats relevant. You really need the attack speed here uh, to roll well. Because more attack speed equals more rage regen. Because every time he attacks, he gets more rage regen. Um, so this would be like a perfect for that hyper specific situation. On uh, like a Silas and Guild Eagle. Uh, like you probably will never ever use this piece. But just in the, in the case that you do. We have a thousand slots. One, one, one piece. Back. Well, the reason, the reason why I also like that piece because that to me is a perfect Artemis piece. That's a good. If it goes to Infernal Does Artemis Roar. benefit from Infernal Roar as well? From what I've Infernal seen, Roar. he could. I think it, it's possible. But I have no idea. But that is, I mean, that I is a good Artemis with piece. Them. Like, although I will say he doesn't need Rage Regen very much. Um. You're gonna use golden scarab on him anyways. Uh that is yeah. that is a good point. Great Artemis piece. This I mean, are you really gonna use this on anyone? <laughs> like let, let's just let's just <laughs> think. Who would you even use this on? Gluttony, sure it's extra HP and attack speed, but you want query on a gluttony piece generally. He doesn't need that much attack. He doesn't scale off attack, you don't even need attack, so that's like that's uh, out of the window. Honestly, Abomination, you need crit rate. It's garbage, in my opinion. I've never once to play Gluttony, so I, I don't really care for about Gluttony. <laughs> I would use Gluttony for stuff like... Do you have Gluttony? I know he's useful yeah, in, Void, in Void Riff. Yeah, Gluttony yeah, is really good for Void Riff, that specific phase. He also... He's shockingly good in just random stuff you would never think anyone would be good for. He's like he's really good in single target arena, although you have Valeria. He's really good in um, hyper specific like conquerors <laughs> codex sometimes. <laughs> like obviously you have Valkyria now and like all this stuff, so you're not gonna use him. But like it's just so funny that he actually does good damage there. You wouldn't think he would, but he does. He can tank in uh, other codex. This I will keep. This is not worth. This is garbage. Um. If it had attack speed instead of attack, I would keep this for a healer, but I don't think it's worth. You know, just stuff like this. Anyways, I'm probably gonna head head out now. Uh, what you could do to probably get rid of like a hundred slots is, first of all, level your tank stuff and sell all the garbage. That'll be like thirty to forty slots. Read. It'll take like ten twenty minutes. Just like listen to music or watch something, and then just like mindlessly do it because it's pretty self explanatory. You don't need full brain power. For it. I mean, that's what I was doing earlier on stream, which is clearing all mine, and I cleared a hundred spot slots. But that's because I had a lot. Um, and then I would do something like. You could just you could look like this, for example, these two, which you know are only going to be DPS pieces, and then you could sort by something like this. You know, what I mean, and then just kind of comb through it because this is garbage. This is garbage. Boop 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 boop. That's easy, right? And then you could just go down to like the stuff that's similar. And then you could just like comb through that, get rid of whatever in here that looks like trash, right? Like this. Mm. I mean, I guess you could. Can you? Nah, that's not worth it. <laughs> but like stuff like this, you know? I wouldn't keep this. I wouldn't keep this. I would, maybe that. Maybe I would keep that. But like this will just kind of help narrow your search down to the bad pieces by finding the bad kind of synergies. Or whatever, yeah, okay. or instead of like flat attack, you could look for like healing effect. You know, these, why would you use these, right? This is just something I like to do for mine, for like really quick. Obviously, for like longer gear cleanses, I, I would like go more in depth. But like even just now, going through this, there's not a lot of uses for these, you know? But I wouldn't do this for something like attack speed. Just in case it gives you like attack bonus, that could be a healer piece. Just in case. You you do still need to be conscious uh, about just like slight niche stuff. Um but at the end of the day, whatever you do keep, um if you roll it and it rolls bad, just get rid of it. <laughs> like uh, a lot of the stuff I'm not getting rid of is just if it didn't roll perfect, you would get rid of it, you know? So just keep that in yeah. mind as well. So you you have to like set aside an hour to do it. That's why I charge thirty dollars for full gear cleanses. Because it will take me an hour or two. <laughs> That's just how it is. Like, to to get your money's worth, I would have to spend a lot of time. You know, 
leveling, removing everything, you know, finding finding like specific things, making sure not to sell your important gear, stuff like that. Um, but yeah. I'll I'll log off now. So I could end stream. Well, thank you so much. We'll uh, we'll chat later about what else I need to take care of for you. Yeah, sounds good, man. Uh, thanks for coming cool. on. It was fun. I'm <laughs> just yeah, rambling at you <laughs> for for two hours or whatever. Um, uh, enjoy the guild bus. Uh, I know it's not that much better, but at least you have a direction and your silos now. You can you know can do one fifty mil on his own. It's ridiculous. I don't know why your silos does so much, but it does. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> like obviously it's a lot of things, but you know. Um, and I would, if you either get A5 Lust or you get Arrogance, I'm down to go in, like, you can count it as the same takeover, and I'll try to make a Nightmare Comp, and, like, maybe Pierce. It's hard to say if you would use Piercer or Infernal. I don't know, it, it's a it's a hard call there, but I do think it's worth using yeah. Lust and Arrogance if you pull him. Because, I mean... Arrogance alone will do 80 mil on like a mediocre set uh, if you have Lust, and then Lust will get 20% more damage, and it's just like, it's ridiculous. Um, cool. Yeah. All right, thank you, man. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. Thanks for coming on. See you. Thanks for having me. All right. Oof, now I can actually read, <laughs> read chat. Um, sorry about that. Um, Oh, do three for you? I could do five probably for you. Um Yeah, let me let me put the music back on. Sorry, it's gonna be kinda loud while, before I adjust the volume. Because whenever I have people um talking at the same time, I always put us at the same volume. I know other people have them louder, like I know fast makes us guess louder, which is good. But uh, you know, I'm just as important. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so thanks, Michael, for coming on. Um, I'll talk to you later about, uh, all that stuff, but, um, yeah. But also, hopefully people watching, you guys can go in and do that gear cleanse for you. Obviously, there's some more things you could take into account, but, like, it doesn't really matter. I think, I, I think that was the gist. Your arrow does bad damage. Yeah, you need um you need better better stats for yours, I think. Use perfect volume. All right, that's great. Yeah, cuz I just I I kept us about the same and then I realized at the highs it was getting too high, so I just lowered him slightly. Yeah, you're welcome, man. And all of that was less than 20 bucks. <laughs> I truly am the best content creator. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, I feel like I should start charging more for Guild Boss, but then again, I like Guild Boss, so I don't think I will. Um, because with Guild Boss, I'm just I'm worried it'll break, or um, I I don't increase it enough to justify charging more. You know. You know what I mean? Because I've had some Guild Boss takeovers that are successes, but not by much, and I feel guilty. <laughs> Even for just 15. Uh, and I still give direction, but, y you know, whatever. Uh, the way easiest way to, to cleanse is to click all the substats you want on gear. <laughs> Roll to the bottom and sell it all. Yeah. But also... Yeah, you could do that. It's just... Once again, you have to be very specific at certain points to fulfill a bunch of different heroes. Because what if... My my main worry with gear, gear cleansing too much, although it is good, is you'll never get some pieces back that you could use on like a new hero they're coming out. Like, for example, the Centaur Girl looks like she will be defense-based and do damage. Like, they're releasing a lot more heroes with more vi diversity... What if you need all these specific niches and then you don't have the gear and because you paid me for a cleanse, you no longer have the gear and then it's on me, right? So I, I want to like, if I ever do, I haven't done one yet because I do price them a bit higher so I don't have to do them very often. Uh, but yeah, um, I just don't want that on my conscience, you know, Void Drift and cleanse should be my most expensive. That's why they are. 
and also stage six of gear Raid four because uh as you've seen by my past take gear Raid four takeovers it's it takes me hours it's hard like frank if he if he cl cleans some stuff up i could do a six but it, that'll take me like two hours because it's so specific um yeah, Guild Boss is not 100% consistent when you ask for me, but I give you a baseline, I do all the stuff, so I I'm considering raising it to 20, just because I still do all the gearing, I do the setting, and then I tell you where to go, you know, it's like a mentorship, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you sold so much gear you probably should have rolled, so sure it was faster, but it, it wasn't the best. Damn, Snugs just sent pictures of him getting three ancients and fifty runs. I'm banning him now. Entire video of Gear 8 Four should cost more, not just the last stage. Well, I think one to three are so easy for me that I'm gonna leave them like that. Uh, generally, I do one to three on first try. Uh, depending on the account, obviously. Um, but like. I still reserve the right, if the account is so hard to be the stage, to say, hey, this is going to take me longer, it's going to be more. Because if someone's asking for even just an easy stage, but they have, like, epic only and terrible gear, I still can say, hey, it's going to be more, right? I, I haven't done that yet, but I still can if I need to. Because I sometimes I just don't have time. But I haven't done that yet. And this is all stuff to be worked out with beforehand, so. You regeared your heroes and got new record of 34k just off my autos? See, I'm the GOAT. I'm so good. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, congrats, man. That's that's really good. Especially because you're missing a lot of key guild bus heroes. You have Zilla too, I think. But, like, you, you don't have Silas. You don't have um a Nightmare Core. You don't have all this stuff. Actually, maybe you do have Nightmare. I don't remember what your team was. But you were missing a lot of key heroes, is what I'm trying to say. That would have made it higher. <laughs> You're going to bite my ears off if I say Gear 4 is so easy. It's a passive-aggressive way of saying you suck. Uh, I could do 3 with Epic only, is what, is what I'm trying to say. And you don't suck. It's just a learning curve. I've spent a lot of time with Gear 4. Like, just filming my video of Gear 4 Stage 5 using only three legendaries was brutal. Your auto broke twice. Oof. Yeah, your auto was inconsistent. Uh, I kind of regret doing that. But then again, the last Guild Boss takeover, I probably shouldn't admit this. I d you didn't charge. I didn't charge you for. So, it sucks to be you, boy. <laughs> if you don't pay, you're not getting six. You're not getting accept <laughs> like you're not getting perfect takeovers, man. <laughs> um but yeah, so what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I I love that happen because you've supported me a ton and also uh you're a mod, so it's like I'm paying you for your mod services. You know how that is. But yeah, I gotta do AJ's cleanse at some point, and I'm gonna do a video on that, but like, I'm dreading making it. Someone had to send me some video footage, that's why I haven't been doing a video lately, because I've been having something in the works, but I- it's not finishable. <laughs> yeah, I know you'll pay me in the future. It's just you you've moved into a new house, you mod for me and you you're always like around, you know? Like you're the person where in, in the Discord if I need a mod to do something for me, I just ping you and you do it. Like 
most of the mods are very hands off. So, uh, you know, I think it's worth. You got through stage five, geared four with average late game gear. No Vierna, no Artemis, no Valkyria. You have the most experienced geared for now. It took you two entire days, 20 hours. That sounds miserable. <laughs> I I can't do that. Blitz, I'm, I hate you for that. I, I'm muting you for an hour and then... Nah, I'm not going to. But I want to is the thing. Damn, Arku's really going to kill me, huh? I get serial killer vibes from him. Let's be real. Um, Here, let me... Uh, It's about to reset, so... I'm going to claim my guild boss and stuff and then probably move on. Um, hmm. Our guild is 30 now. Uh, I remember when I joined, we were all the way down around this area, like 80, but we were still around the same uh, guild, guild war wise. I think we were like ninth when I joined. Currently, we're like cruising around one to ten. Um, so that's fun. We 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 lost against um Immortal Dawn by four percent, by the way, <laughs> and I lost every single attack because uh. It took me too long to do my first fights, and uh, I lost all of them because they were all really hard. I really, really wanted to beat Snow, who's a mod in the Discord, also reset, um, and I couldn't. I just, I was, I was unable to. Here, gems. I will take it. Summon. Okay. Summon good. I don't need skill crystals. Stop. I have 22. I have nothing to use them with. I'm very disappointed <laughs> in how I, I pulled like five of those in the last like month. And I don't need any anymore. Also, where's my content drops for last month? I haven't had them yet. Oh my god, max, max friendship point. I can't even use all my energy half the time because I don't have, I don't have the energy. <laughs> I don't have the mental energy to do it every time. And I have so many pots now. So many for me at least. Uh, I'm like a zombie, man. <laughs> Arku doing dark is even more serial killer. Yeah, if Arku stops talking, then I, that might be a, a serial killer. Oh, Lauren, is this you? Are you Green Pepper? Because I I, tr I I try to keep a lot of friend slots open just so uh, if I ever need friend assist for guild boss, it's open. So I try not to friend very many people. I I probably have to clean, cleanse my friends list. He stopped playing, which really sucks. Nil stopped playing, which really sucks. I don't know who this guy is, so I guess we're removing him now. Rip, rip, Mimeo. <laughs> Give you the crystals? I wish I could. I wish I could. Okay, sure, I'll accept it. If I know you, I'll accept it, but otherwise I generally decline all my friends list. This one guy friended me, like, and every time I declined it, he kept friending me, and I got scared, so I blocked him. Um, and I, I've had two separate scammers trying to contact, so I've had to remove those. I still need to finish my gear for stuff. Oof. Did I, is this any of you guys? Because I don't know if I... If I should accept it. Sure, you can friend me. Just search up Destiny. Look for the Canadian that has this. And, uh... Just friend me and tell me that you're friending me and I'll accept it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is you, Misa. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I saw. No, you guys have to friend me. I'm not looking up your names. That's not happening. I'm not getting bullied around by you guys. No bully. Um, I need to get that done for the thing. Um, let me do Infernal Codex quickly and then I'll end stream. Because it is three for me. Um, okay, so this is the team that worked best for me before. Did I get any good new units? Question mark. No, I didn't because I never get any good things. Uh, constants might be better than something else, but. Where's my Valkyria, man? Where's my Ardeo, man? I'm doing all of this, by the way, purely for a single ancient. This is a, this is a fun little fact for you guys. This is a fun little fact. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I'm losing my mind, man. Here, we're going to put that on, and then we could put it over here. Go wowzers. That's pretty. That's pretty poggers. <laughs> Kill me. Um, I could max skill him, honestly, but do I even want to? No. I'm not going to use him. It's like the only place I use him for. Uh, and then arrogance will be better like this. Less attack, sure, but whatever. Million Skull, who cares? Volka will do a decent amount of damage, honestly. Uh, I guess we'll do this, then. Wowies. Wow! I don't know how good this is, but let's put it on anyways. Wow! Materials, alright. You added me, it's 9am, you've been at work all night? Go to sleep, man. Rate your Sulkidens build? Uh, I predict I will think it's terrible. Wait no, I I I greenlit your your Sulkadin's vi uh thing. There, one second. Boom. Okay, so we got Enki, A.K. Qua. We got materials. Who's good fellas? Oh, you're good fellas. All right. Oh, you want to fight my guild defense? It's not geared. Here, do you guys want to have uh? Do you guys want to have um? Can destined beat your guild be guild defend defense and I could actually I'm gonna bookmark this as a stream idea in the future, which is just gonna be I try to beat your guild be guild defenses and uh, talk to you about how um how you can make it better. I think that would be really helpful. Guild be guild versus destined. I think that could be a, a really good idea. There's a lot of things named Goodfellas in this world, but here, let, let me gear my defense properly for you guys. Um, my defense is not great, but it's okay. Um, wait, no, l let me do the codex first because I need the gear for that. And then after I'll do that and then you guys can fight me uh, and that should be fun. But for now, let's just go auto fight. Why not? They're geared now, so. Beat your guild v guild defense. Top 10 here. Sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fast but steal the idea. What's funny is we had the same idea and we just released one video at the same time that was similar. Neither of them got any views, so it didn't matter. <laughs> and yet, I just find it funny to reference that by saying he steals my content. Um, War Guides constantly says that I steal his content. Which is true, so... Uh, I stole his Torador guide. Allegedly. I didn't actually, it's just the same strategy. And mine has like 4,000 more views than his, and I rub it in all the time. It's so funny. A great video, yeah. Oh yeah, I could, I could stream it, and then cut it down for the video. Mm -hmm. you're on your phone and can't add add you what can you write your username with every 
it, it is cap sensitive, by the way. So you got to write it with uh, all the capitals in the right spot. But if you write your username, I'll add you. Unless you're, uh, if you're part of a uh, Asia servers, which I know you're not, but I'm just saying, if you're part of Asia servers, you can't add me. Um, S plus, I'm happy with that. Works for me. Um, capital D Blitz. What? Here we got 300 more. Now I can buy one ancient. Here, Aatrox does a bunch. Service is less than he did before, but that's just because he's not timed very well. And then everyone does some damage, whatever, who cares. Um, John Pookie, okay. So many people are adding me. Oh, yikes. Yeah, I'm going to have to remember you all so that when I cleanse my friends list, I don't remove you guys. <laughs> so if that happens, just DM me and I'll, I'll, I'll get you back in there. Thirteen percent. That that will be top ten percent by the uh the end of Conqueror. I am pretty confident about that. It's not an ideal score, but it's not bad. Um, I try to get to top ten percent in everything ideally. Um, here we're gonna go like that. We're gonna get absolutely nothing. It's a Nero, worse than nothing. And now we're gonna go over to this because, in my dreams, I pull a Reeve here in uh t less than 30 pulls so also i feel scammed this weekend a little bit on my summon so wow artist you're so bad like also i have to say something quickly if you're fusing for the fusion <clears throat> fuse these on a day that you're not summoning because when they get fused you can claim 50 gems. If you didn't know, every day it resets. Um, whenever you pull an epic or a legendary, you get 50 gems if you press the share button. Um, so if you space these out, uh, then you'll actually get the 50 gems. And it's like an extra 200 gems overall. Come on, man. <laughs> Where's my Reeve, man? Where's my Reeve? Give me the character I didn't actually ever want before, but now I want because I feel scammed. Oh! Okay, it was all worth it. 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 I love, I love Jorge. We got Jorge. We got Jorge, boys. Boys, we got Jorge. All is well in the world. We got my boy, Jorge. He's garbage, but I love him. And we got Jorge. Jorge has been reunited. Well, not reunited. He's been united with me. He smells really bad, but I love him. Jorge. We love you, Jorge. Come to Papa. Jorge. 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 I love you. <laughs> All my homies love Jorge. Exactly. You're not summoning for the next three weeks and you're going to wail a bit too and you'll have a lot of holes for me at the end of the month. Uh, that's good because I honestly, insider info, I would say for the anniversary. By insider info, I mean it's purely a hunch and I don't actually know if it's worth, but I assume the anniversary is going to be sick. Oh yeah, whoops. Hey, we got Blitz. Blitz is in here. Alright. Now let me uh, gear my defense. And then tell me how, how well you do against it. Because I have a sneaking suspicion none of you can beat my defense. <laughs> when it's properly geared. Um, Let's see. That's not bad. But I think what I do build is Hollow's gear. Generally. Yeah, more attack, more attack speed, etc, etc. And then I tend to build this on. Um, Baron gear, I'm going to swap. We're going to swap it on to probably Ola gear. Because I do use uh, Broke gear in my other defense. Um, Bastion ring is fine. Then we're going to go Hatsit. Hatsit, no curse. We want soul 
Do we want Soulbound or do we want this? I'll take... Oh. Hatsuk gear is always a mess. Um, let's do Soulbound. This could be a lot better. We need more attack on this, honestly, but it's fine. And then this is a bit of my secret sauce that generally you wouldn't know about. But I actually do this. <laughs> as crazy as that might seem. So that he doesn't die. So you you guys can't kill my wrath with the explodey guys. Or uh, the mages, sorry. Um, and then arrogance needs um, this. But what I actually generally do... Oh wait, my Silas gear is wrong. Okay, well, uh, I have the normal Silas, like the normal Gilby Gil gear on. Anniversary is in June, by the way. My friends list is not full. I have, I only have sixty out of a hundred. I think you're adding the wrong person. You gotta, you gotta add uh the Canadian that has the rose border on this. Um. And it, it is cap sensitive, I'm pretty sure. So you gotta search up destiny like that. Um But I do have open slots. Uh the reason why my BP on this team is so isn't isn't very high is just because Baron, Lily, and Wrath are not giving a lot of BP. And on this one we gotta gear it. Usually I just put Infernal Roar on him. Uh it's not the best set for Maul, but it's what I'm using. Because it's what I have. <laughs> my mall is a little worse for wear. Uh, my gear is really bad compared to what it should be. There's a heads up there. And Boreas got nerfed. So I actually... You guys might delete this team. Because he might not actually reach how he should. Um, so that won't be good if that happens. Here... Is it worth? Yeah, it is. And then I put this on. Here, let me max skill her. She's worth it. I only need two more. Whatever. And now, uh, yeah. You'll save for a month before the you know anniversary in whale. Why not just save until then? Yeah, you you got a house recently, man. <laughs> you should not be spending. Yeah, uh, green pepper. Um, it was not geared. Wait, my is my broke here geared pro properly? Um, one second, one second, one second, one second. He's not. He's not. So this is actually what I what I do. Okay, now it is geared properly. I think. Enjoy. There's one hero less left you actually want one, and that's Valk, so you got no need to summon right now. Yeah. That's fair. And imagine they come out with Magda soon. Then uh then you you'll be happy you saved. <laughs> Magda's good. She's bust she's broken though. Like not broken as in amazing. I mean she's fundamentally not correct. <laughs> but yeah, so go fight my defense and then see how see how well it well it does. Um, watch a Valk banner come next week and they make you spend. Uh, that failed. Um, it's fine. But yeah, if they do that, I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> uh, what's wrong with who? Oh. 
uh, Magda, so what she does is she knockbacks as part of her abilities. Um, and she will accidentally knock enemies behind the arena portal and they won't be able to be hit and then you'll lose. <laughs> or she'll, uh, she'll knock back and it's supposed to push them forward, but she'll actually clip them behind her and then they'll just go past her. It's really bad. Uh, but she's very, very strong. Yeah, you're 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 a degenerate, Qua. I get it. All right, what do I do now? How are there 20 people in here watching me ramble about literally nothing? Oh wait, I gotta fight you guys. What am I doing? I'll, I'll have like a more focused stream on this, but let's look. Okay, so this team, not good. <laughs> no offense. I mean, it's, I mean, it's not bad. It's just Claude is garbage here. Sorry, my language is very harsh. I don't mean it in a bad way. There's a couple ways you could do this. You could kill Regulus, and then you win. You could block, and then dog through, which is what I'm going to do. And it's just, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to be easy. It's going gonna, gonna to be easy. Let me, let me try a couple ways to beat this, actually. Here, let's just affiliate randomly. My VP is not maximized, by the way. Um... My BP is not as high as it should be. Yeah, so Claw is generally not a great Gilvy Gold unit, but honestly, I had a, I had too harsh of a reaction. This is not bad. Claw will do decent damage. Oh, he pulls them. Interesting. I forgot about that actually. <laughs> okay, I guess that my plan is all off, but like, I mean, whatever. <laughs> he just he keeps pulling them. What the hell, man? <laughs> They're just getting pulled. Can I just dog this? Is this possible? That's so funny. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> he pulled them in and he jeopardized everything. <laughs> oh, your team is not geared well. Oh, yeah, everyone gear your teams because whoever just added me, I will be beating you. Yeah, I just find that funny. He, he pulled them in. They didn't die because uh, apart from Claw, you have no physical damage or uh, piercing damage. Um, so you could just kind of overrun them. Or I, what I was going to do if Claw didn't pull them is I would have just stacked right here, gone through, and then killed him. Although you said yours is built tanky, so maybe that wouldn't have worked. Um, but yeah. And then... I suspect you could also fly over this. I don't know if Claw hits air, but if he doesn't hit air, I think I could just fly this. Um, let's look, let's look, let's look. Boom, and then we go like this. You can kill the Hatsit defense. Yep, yep. The spiders and uh, bombs does work. Uh, that's going to be the topic of my next video, I think, actually. I'm curious if I can do this with no baiting. I very strongly doubt it, but who knows? Oh, Pelagius is weird. I forgot about that. I know yours isn't. This defense isn't geared, but I just. I want it funny. <laughs> They're frozen, though. I mean. I, I mean, it's working. <laughs> I guess it's a good anti-flyer team. No, no, it's not. Uh, it's just because it's not defense. There's some other units that you could use instead. I just don't like the claw being in here. Like a rocket would be better, probably. But like, you know, that's specific. Whatever. It's 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 a team. It's a team. Here, I'll go back to you when you re-gear everything. I don't know if your other gear is gear team is geared right, but... Um...
Your BP isn't high enough to beat my team with axes. You beat like six teams. Uh, my team, uh, the Boreas one is now that he's nerfed, I think. Uh, cause he's kind of bad now. Um, but. Try yours? Okay. Where's Olga? There we go. Oh, you're 87. Yeah, you might actually be hard to beat. Nah, this is easy. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, l let me re-BP my, my guys a little bit. Because usually... Oh my god, my BP is so bad. Whoa! Oh no. It's fine. Uh, generally, my BP would be far better, by the way. Uh, it's just all the gears on my defense. And I'm not going to take it off so that you guys can keep trying. Uh, but usually my Silas would be like 95. Or so. Oh, you're in a fortress. I'm really bad at fortress teams. Oh, yikes. I'm not having... I I'm not, I'm not going to enjoy this. Usually, I just leave the good people in my guild to do this, so. so we're going to bomb, we're going to kill Vomit, and then we're just going to fly over. GG easy, most likely. Hard to say, but who knows. Um, First of all, I can beat yours if you... Yeah, I, I could tell you what to change. I'm sure yours is fine. Um, I hate Cyrus. He's such he's so ass, man. It just makes timing this so miserable, and I really do not like it. All we need, I I'm just testing because I I don't fight keep teams very often, so I will have to see if any of this stuff triggers. No way Comet's ult didn't trigger. He had his ult. Brother, nah, that's not real. Looks like we're double dogging at the beginning to bait. And then I'm going to do the bomb strat. And uh, hopefully I kill something. Uh, actually, wait. I got an idea. I did this to someone before and I'm curious if it does it again. Um, we're bringing the dummy mommies. Also, my BP is so criminally low for this. Generally, you would want something higher. Try your Pelagius team, but you won't get through it. Sure, I'll try it. And Guilty Gold is 3 attack as main stat better than crit damage? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Probably. Oh, wait, this is the wrong one. I'm gonna bomb this just quickly, because it, it is a covering copy of your keep team. Like, there is no difference. They're going to die to arrogance, I think. Boop. I just want to show you guys this, um, the bomb, the booms. Yeah, my team is very, very vulnerable to bombs. Uh, if you can get the bombs out, then, um, you will win very easily. Wow, my battle power is so bad. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, my my BP is 20 to 30k lower than it should be right now. So I, I think I'm BP checked, hard BP checked, because your Cyrus will just kill everything. Um, but later I could try your t your defense for sure. Um just the BP makes it impossible, man. There's like there there literally is nothing I could do there. Um Imagine trying to fight Tika. Oh, yikes. Uh, let's see. But yeah, so 30k BP is a big difference. And will make a world of change. If I were to do that. Um, let's just try the same thing I was trying earlier. Honestly. Do it with three units. Because you're so confident. I just. I want to beat it. But yeah, Misa, you're a cancer. <laughs> just straight up, you're cancer. Let's just let's just go with this. I mean, does it really matter? Oh, they're actually getting hit. Nice. I'm curious if they live here. Oh, he got pulled. Okay. <laughs> well, they're just going to sneak through casually. 
okay. You have like a hard pulling team. It's so weird. I put it into Mario and I'm <laughs> I still think I'll beat it. It's so funny. I'm fighting this really poorly, but Okay, only two people went through. That was like the possible worst. That was like the possible worst uh, way I could have attacked that. Sorry, I'm being mean because it's funny. But uh, honestly, let's do it with two. You want to get Sulkadins in somehow? I know a Sulkadins team you could use, but it's better for towers than it is for keeps. Um... So, yeah. Oh, damn. He's actually, they're actually getting kind of wrecked. Interesting. And is that GG? It depends on if Pelagos ults. There we go. <laughs> Don Fuki? Alright, I'll, I'll give it a go. But yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. I have like 30k less BP than general, generally. Uh, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. Claw and Pelagius, they just pull them in and then you can just go through them with block. And then your other team, let's see. Your other team's not bad. I, I want to see how close it is to Archer it. You... No, Mari, Mari has to be there or he'll lose to uh, air defense. Or air attack, I mean, sorry. Uh, Harz gives Vortex a pretty beefy shield. No, he dies. <laughs> nah, that's not Misa. That was, uh, that was Laurent. <laughs> I just, I felt like bullying Laurent real quick. Because I think it's funny. <laughs> Lawrence in here a lot. So I, I feel fine bullying him a little bit. I, I, I sent them into Boreas Assault. Whoops. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> this is such a bad attack. Um, But we're kind of cooking here, boys. <laughs> Brook here is no, like... I mean, like, does it doesn't even matter. Do I even need the rest of the team? Whatever. They just, they just toss him in. Toss him in the pot. It, you know, totally legitimate victory. He definitely was geared. I definitely geared right there. That de that de de definitely geared. That de 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 <laughs> What do you mean my bottom? <laughs> nah, Admiral Claw tanking won't do anything. I don't think. Here, let let's try Don Pookie, and then I'll do I'll do Qua, and then maybe Blitz if he wants to go. Interesting. Okay, this is... Uh, Boreas will instantly die. Uh, there's nothing saving Boreas. Um... Because, uh... Oh, I guess you got Cyrus there, but... Um... I guess that does something, but also, I could just do this. Oh, I guess he's getting his ult, but you get the idea. Oh? Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> uh, and now we just wait for this ult. And now we don't have a lot of damage left on this team. Because without Boreas, there's not a lot of damage. Um, and then we could, we could just kind of go like... I mean, I guess we'll build up a cost, because it's not a big deal. Although we have Elowin on this. You have Elowin on this, I mean. So... That is a bit worrying with Silasalt, because he will get it very fast, but, I mean, I'm trying to kill Reeve, and then maybe we could just, uh, we're free to dog it, probably, or go through that. 
Boom. And now you just go like that, and GG. The only hero I would recommend doing that with is either anything built really tanky, like Mari or Vortex or Gwendolyn. Uh, or, alternatively, Hex might work there, but he doesn't do reliable enough damage. Oh, you're in the main keep. Okay, never mind. That's my bad. Why is everyone in the main keep, man? Uh, okay. Here. This looks like cancer. <laughs> I know people who could beat this, because Reeve is not a great tank. But I don't feel like beating it, because, uh, that looks cancer. This also looks like cancer. Hmm. I got an idea. This is like the old meta, but I don't know if Boreas nerf will affect him. So this is good. This is this is going to suck. I hate you for making me go through this. I don't know why I'm bringing Necro Necromancers. My BP is not high enough for this. Go Boreas, Bait, Silas, Salt, and then use Flyers. Yeah. Um, one second, one second, one second. Ugh, I hate Cyrus. Cyrus is miserable to fight. Miserable to fight. I brought these guys to bait, and now I'm realizing I could just use these guys to bait. Um, why not? My only worries with this team, although you have Elowin, uh, is if I time it really well, I wonder if I could just bypass them because Boreas does like no damage now. Oh, my BP is way too low. Yeah, that, that checks out. But let's say hypothetically, if I had high BP... We would get kind of stuck. Okay. Hmm. I mean, if I had IBV, I could beat this, I think. But no way we get through the Pelagius team. I'll try this team in a second again. Um, Has anyone beat me yet? Like, which one of you have, uh, have beat me? Um... Oh, whoops. We're we're bullying uh green pepper again. Imagine this works. Okay. I see you. I sent those way too early. <laughs> Whoops. I'm so sorry. I'm just bullying you. <laughs> yeah. I keep I keep stopping to fight to bully you. I'm so sorry. Here, let's do Don Buki again. I hate keep. Why are you guys making me fight keep teams, man? I hate keep teams. But this. Ardea. Oh my god. I hate, I hate you for this, by the way. Let me try something really quick. I'm going to try one of two things. 
Let's just see. <laughs> Your defense isn't trash. I, I, I like what you're going for. You are just you just don't have the right units to do the thing you're doing. Because that is a meta way to set it. It's just you don't have the units to make it meta, you know? Oh, they're like perfectly enveloped. They're inside each other. Yeah, your defense is fine. It's just... I think Claw is more of a detriment than a... Than anything. Well, interesting. So, maybe if I time that better. Because if it kills Arrogance, then we should be good. Also, I'm supposed to be asleep now, by the way. I'm not supposed to be. It's not like I have a bedtime, but... Yours are in a little keep. Ugh. Why are all you guys cancer, by the way? I don't get it. Since when did you guys all collectively decide to have cancer defenses? Maybe I should call Stabby, and then we'll win all, all of these fights. Also, my BP is so low, man. It's so low. It's, it's so much lower than it's supposed to be. But I want to keep the defense geared. <laughs> You're... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You're going to lose because of your idea not doing enough damage because your Lily is healing her. She does more damage where she's not hit and she's so far back that she's not going to be hit. So you really, really need to make sure that she doesn't get many heals. Uh, that's really important. Uh, okay, that didn't do much. I mean, it used Lily's shield, I guess. Yours is in the normal well? Okay. Hayes, I hate you. <laughs> How dare you do this to me? I realize now that I would need healers for this. Also, Ardia does too much damage. Okay. That's all I need to know. Okay, so what's going to end up happening is you're going to find find someone with high BP. Uh, They're going to go, whoa, this is an easy defense. They're going to send axes and sins. And since you're in a keep, you're going to get high BP people. They're gonna send axes and sins, kill everything, and then you're gonna lie, you're gonna die, because your idea is not doing enough damage to counter it, because your Lily is healing her. Also, this is um, I mean, this is a decent defense for sure. Uh, Ardia does criminal amounts of damage, but the second you reach someone with like a hundred k plus on every hero, you're gonna lose. <laughs> That's it. Gilvigold is the only content for tryhards? Yeah. Yep. It's probably the most endgame stuff. You updated your Pelagius team? I just, I genuinely think you gotta remove Claw. I like the idea. The idea is cool. I, I really like the idea of a pull team, but... Um... My main issue with this, though, is you don't have enough damage. If you had Arrogance, it would be better, for example. Um... But you're just lacking damage, so... Although you're immune to the swarm, you don't have damage. So, what I'm just going to end up doing is killing it. Honestly, I could probably flyer it. Yeah, land and your teams are good. Uh, they're not like, they're not perfect, but they're they're good. And I don't really have anything to add. <laughs> Does this work? <laughs> this is so mean if it works. I don't think it will. Yeah, no, Pelagius is too much. Mari's gonna get her all, and yeah, we lost. Rip. Higher BP that will work. <laughs> um. Let's see how far these guys go. I mean, it's better. Well, it's not better, it's the same, I think. Your Pelagius is built quite a bit better than before, I will say. 
when we started. And at least it is fairly anti-flyer. Uh, the only thing is, if I had higher BP, you would lose. If I time if the timing was good, in between Mario ults, um, so I do think you need a ground DPS that hits air. Here, let's just let's see how far we can go with just um. Axes and sins, baby. I guess we'll bring like a healer. I don't know who to bring. Actually, no. Let's bring Necros. Because as you can see here, Pelagius doesn't really have enough damage. Although they are kind of sliding into Mari range, so that is an issue. But, I mean, I could keep stacking. So, he is doing good damage, but after this guy is dead, um, all I gotta do is time the alts. And then I get dog through. Or they'll die, because, yeah. But even if they were alive... Um, you could just dog through. Yeah, arrogance would be so good for you, man. I mean, it's not, it's not bad. I just, you don't have idea, basically, like this guy does. This freaking whale. <laughs> um, let's try materials and Enki. I'll do Enki first. Uh, you do not need to bomb this. There's so many ways I think I could beat this. But, um, here, I'll, I'll beat it in a earlier way. There's a lot of really good, if you get more Arbiters, there's a lot of really good, uh, er, Praetis seams, I can tell you. <laughs> Oof. Um. I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, the damage is lacking a little bit. I do like that you have Praetis, but I have to say Lust is not good in this team. Uh, straight up, Lust is one of the worst Gilby Guild units to have. I could use Mages, and it would one-tap her. Um, here, let me show you. Uh, something like this. Even if you had Lust VP, it would be the same story, but... Yeah, bombs. <laughs> bombs are just fun. I didn't need bombs. Um... Freitas is good, it's just... Uh, you need Arbiters to make them work properly. Um, like some, uh, Constance or Valkyria. But yeah, see, Lust gets one shot. And then the rest is just, you know, there's less, less to do. I, I will say, if you have better gear, you could do something. But, well, do you have Hatsit by any chance? Because I can cook for you if you have Hatsit. And then over here, um, there's a way you can make this better. Okay, so what what I'm thinking, this hmm, some good teams you could use these units for. I just, I'm not very well versed with Zilla 2 Twin Fiend teams. Oh, you have Hatsit? Okay, so you're gonna use the, uh, the same defense I'm using, okay? Right here. So you could use either Elo and Hollow or Lily as the healers. Lily is generally best. But you what you want to use is, uh, either Baron or Brokir. 
either Lily, uh, Car Carnelian is best, but I know you probably don't have her. Uh, Lily, so it goes Carnelian, Lily, and then Hollow and Elowen. Uh, you want to put Hatsu, honestly, the, when you get to higher level, it's better to swap Lily and Hatsu, face Lily up, but just leave it like this, and then that'll be a good team. Uh, Torador over Wrath, by the way, um, but I don't know if you have Torador. Yeah. I'm just trying to brainstorm a good way to format those. Because the placement is not ideal in this team, Qua. Uh, your second team, the other one. Um, where'd you go? Qua, well, where'd you go, man? Where, where'd you go? You, you left me, man. You left me, man. Uh, but yeah, so... Hollow just gets sniped, insta dies. The only reason why Vortex is kind of okay there is because you can build them really tanky. Hex is not really good enough. Uh, all that will happen is since these are all uh, magic damage dealers, Pharaohs will tank everything. Uh, and also, even if you're using a formation where you're using two ground units and you want them in the back, although personally I would prefer you build them out in the middle, uh, you want to have your tank up here so that your back unit doesn't get uh sniped by mages um but first of all i would say when v and azilla 2 are in a decent spot but here l let me show you an example of a of a team with similar units that you could do um here where is it no Where's the infernal teams on my? Where's where's the infernal teams, man? Ugh, I'm really leaking all my defense, my team's defenses. Huh? It looks like cultist teams are now somewhat a thing. Kind of cool. I'm looking for a reference, man. Where's the reference? Uh... Here, one second, one second. I'm trying to find it. Um, <laughs> I can't find it. whatever I don't know there's a way to make a decent infernal team but I don't remember it so I can't help you with that
Well, should we have good fellows and materials? Let's do materials first. Okay, here, interesting. My immediate thought is if I can get past Cyrus, then you lose. But, I mean, Maul and Boreas placements are good. And you're using Cyrus, who... By the way, Cyrus is bugged. I don't know how, but Cyrus is bugged in a way that makes it so that he does too much damage. Uh, so he will insta-kill anything, occasionally. I don't know how you build him to do that, or like... How you even make that happen, but I know that that does happen. Um, let's see. This might not work. Interesting. The little dude doesn't trigger. Weird. Okay. This is a little scuffed. I don't fully know what I'm doing. Is this mall geared? Doing less damage than I expected. Oh. Where is he gonna kill him? What? Oh no, Boreas isn't geared. Okay, well. This wouldn't work if he was. Yeah, that was my idea. Well, I don't know how he's bugged, so I can't say. I should ask, but then again, I'm lazy. Alright. Uh, my immediate thought here... Yeah, Cyrus is OP for Guildly Guild. Who is this, by the way? Oh, Materials. <laughs> I thought it was the other guy. I thought I was on Gu Goodfellas. But yeah, so Materials' is team. Uh, this is not good because my immediate thought is Hatsit cannot reach anything. Let me just show you why this doesn't work. So immediately what I can do is bait whenever. Who cares? It doesn't matter when I do it, because apart from alts, the, the DPS here is not very high. Um, what's funny is I actually made his hat sit better. In terms of uh, the artifact. <laughs> earlier. But I think what I could just do is, you know... Oh, Silas has his alt still. Uh, pretend that didn't happen. And I shouldn't have sent them anyways. But you could just do like this, I guess. And then as long as he's not ulting, warm it. Like, I know Hatsu did damage, but yeah, I messed that up. <laughs> Whoops. But yeah, the general principle applies. Also, I think I could just kill him because there's not enough consistent damage.
let's just look. So sins, axes, generally the wombo combo, and then you could just kind of go like that. And then, I don't know, the rest doesn't really matter. Who cares? Okay. Good enough. What do I do if a rock is tanky? Uh, you cry yourself to sleep because you didn't know she was tanky before, and she makes you lose. Tanky Araka is, is it, it's not really the meta, but Tanky Araka is a pretty popular thing right now. Boom. Slyla Assault. As you can see, uh, Hats at Alt didn't hit much. I know I lost because of it, the other one, but that's because my timing was impeccably terrible. <laughs> oh, whoops. Um, and now we just go like that. Boom. Trigger that. I don't know if he's geared properly, but whatever. Uh, and then we kill them pretty fast. And then the rest is pretty simple. Um, you know how it is. Boop! G-Day! G-Day! I mean, there is no perfect defense, but... I just like bullying people. Um, actually, is there anyone else I have to go through? I think it's just Goodfellas, I want to say. Olga's, yours is Cancer. Uki, yours is Cancer. And then the other guy, I forgot the name of, because I'm bad with names. Uh, yours is Cancer. And I refuse to try it on this BP. Uh, if I had higher BP, it, I would probably be able to. But here, honestly, I see what you're going for. And then you have the sisters, lol. Um. Okay, here's the issue I have with this team. I'm not sure if you're still in chat, but... Uh, the issue I have with this team is... I'm sure you know what I'm doing now. Uh, but... Although, Araka's kind of really good now for DPS. So it could be that this doesn't work. Um, and this actually is a really solid team. Um. But we trigger both the alts, you know how it goes. Um. But we wait. I waited too long, whoops. Fine though. Yeah, see, Araka does a lot of damage now that she didn't used to do, so this won't work very well. I mean, nah, it will work, it will work, it will work, it will work. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Well, Misa, you know, all I have to do is sick my guildmates on you, right? I'm like the worst guild v guild player in my guild. Like, all I have to do is call up Cashman, and he might beat you with one unit. <laughs> like, that's how ridiculous the power gap in my guild is between me and the people who actually know how to play. Um, well, I mean actually know how to play, as in uh, they spend more time than me. <laughs> I don't have enough time to be at that level, you know. Yeah, Silas with more rage. Yeah, as you can see, he does enough damage. I don't know if this is the Silas that's built with more rage, but as you can see, he does more than enough damage. So there, you do not need to build him with rage, with any like that level of attack. But Lego Flyers, even with fairly low BP, I do have to emphasize you can just steamroll people with BP. Um, uh, even with low BP, I still will win this. So. Oh, yikes. He sniped one. Maybe I won't, actually. Yeah, that's not good. 
Yeah. Never mind, I lost. But you get the idea. I could double flyer. Um, it would kill Araka. Potentially kill Silos, depending on Araka's stun RNG. Um, and then you would be able to go from there. And it wouldn't be too bad. Uh, I'm just gonna move on. I know I didn't win, but you kind of get the idea. Let's go boom. We go le boom, and then we have to clean up because uh, you actually have a, you have it set so that even after you bomb, it's very difficult to deal with. So it's not gonna be fun, but I will do my best. Yeah, that was a that was a solid defense. Um, obviously there's some counterplay, but. You, you'll probably get some solid wins in, in there. Boom. They big dead. And now we just need to watch Arrogant Salt. That's it. Doesn't really matter. Um, here's where it gets kind of tense, honestly. Um. Ah. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> uh, she needs to be behind the axis because now she's gonna take more damage. Oops. We triggered his pseudo unyielding, which is good for me, uh, of course. And now, since there's still no healer, we could kind of take our time. Uh, over here. I'm gonna go get that done. I will say this is a solid team, but as long as we're able to trigger his unyielding, which we are, then we will win. Uh, right now, probably. Oh no, we just steamroll through. Okay, good. Good to know. I was gonna do this, and then it would have killed Regulus, Arrogance, and then Hatsit right after. And then I would have had these guys to go through after to get the max uh, damage. Uh, as you can see. So, it is very, very bombable. Um, I will say. But it is set up quite nicely. Personally, I would... I don't know. I would just turn this into a Nightmare defense. They're a bit harder to deal with. Like, if Regulus was, um, for example, either Abomination, Torador, Wrath, or, uh... Well, you need Torador or Wrath. If you have Torador, you're golden. If you have Wrath, it's going to be a bit harder. But something like Wrath slash Torador, and then either a bomb or Abomination, Baron, or Brokir. Uh, but using Brokir here, so maybe Abomination or Baron. And then you're going to be good. Uh, but, yeah. Going to go to sleep, got work again in 10 hours, then off for 8 days. Damn. That's a lot of days off, man. Oh yeah, you have a uh, you have a new house, so I guess that makes sense. <laughs> okay, who else do I need to do? Green pepper, I did. Green pepper, your yours was solid. I don't know if you're still here, but yours was solid, except uh, claw was not it. Um, but then again, if you're missing the units, I say okay, just do your best. It's not a bad defense. It's just. Not the best. Pookies, yours is cancer. It is beatable, but it's cancer, and I don't want to try it. Good fellas, you just gotta try to make yours less vulnerable. Materials, I'm not sure if he's in here, but uh, my main takeaway was that second team I did uh, does need to be changed a little bit. Olga, I hope I I hope you feel bad about yourself for this. Genuinely. It's beatable, but Cyrus is so freaking strong. Although Comet's not the best. It's just still like... Uh, and then over here, it's just like... Uh, actually... Yeah, I don't like this one. I'm not doing this. I hate you for that. Ayo. And then who else was it? Oh yeah, Qua. Yours just needed a little bit of a change. 
Here, let's go beat up Mike for fun. <laughs> let's see. He's using Kai. I, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I feel bad. Took five days holidays, but works out for eight days. Noise. That's great. All right, well, that's about it for me. Hopefully, I can record some Guilty Guild tomorrow. I might record some more, like, tier list content or whatever, just because it's easier to make, and then I'll work on um, the Guilty Guild video. Hopefully, that'll be up. Just talking about the bombs, you know, how you go boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my... Wait, Ayo. <laughs> what am I doing? All right, well... I think it's about it for me. I gotta go get some rest. Or I'll probably play AFK Journey until I pass out. <laughs> I am a sicko. I know. Uh, but yeah. So, see you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, surprising amount of viewers this time for some reason. Despite potential blackouts. And it's been 7 hours. So, yikes. Uh, make sure to like the stream. Uh, please like the stream <laughs> i need it for my self-esteem like the stream need it for my self-esteem because if you don't do it i'll burst at the seam i don't know i'm bad at i'm bad at rhyming uh but yeah so i'm probably gonna head out now uh and hopefully get some gilby go content out for you guys haze it won't be as relevant because you know how to bomb already but you know uh, now I'll, I'll try to rope my guildmates into making some more high level stuff both defense and offense, probably mostly offense, because there's so many strategies. Swarm strategy, you got the tank strategy, you got uh, the bomb strategy, you got flyers, you have like all sorts of random stuff. I've seen people use freaking scourges. Scourges are ass, but these guys uh, right here, or I guess they're not, wait, no, not scourges. I've seen people use these guys who are not very good. And then I've seen people use Scourges, which are also garbage. But, like, they have a niche, you know? Uh, but I'm probably going to make one video for each style uh, or every strategy. Because there are just so many variations to go over and, like, things that it can become hard. But yeah. There's also Axes and Sins. And just, like, uh, there's the um, the Breaker Comps. What, what is it called? The Destroyers. The Destroyer strat is brutal. Um, you got the uh, the mages are kind of relevant. But they're more like supporting things to strategies. They don't have their own strategies for them. Uh, archers. I won't make a big whole video on it. But I will like talk about them briefly. I think that's kind of all the strategies honestly. Like Necros are kind of part of Swarm. Also, this guy is kind of bad, I've heard. He's not terrible, but... Uh...